I don't know how to do an intro for this, because we've done a lot of feigned optimism over the past, like, ten Marvel Disney TV shows. Why don't we just have a flat opening for this? <laughs> We're just like... Here we right, are, everybody. Yep, yep. it's us, Efap and friends, mm -hmm. and we're here to watch Star Wars: The Acolyte. Yes, I'm so excited. I almost feel I'm... like it's it's pointless in sort of looking back instead of just admitting that at this point it's a crapshoot. They've lost so much of the potential audience they could ever have had. They've decided to release a show that sounds so utterly fucking disinteresting that even if it were really good, as we have seen. That doesn't fucking work anyway. Uh, you had your chance to make the shows that needed to be good good, and you failed. So it's like, what is this then? It's like, well, it's just seeing what they're up to next in the Star Wars world. We're gonna have a little check it out, you know? Got some uh, potential good stuff in the form of maybe an actor that we like from the trailer. Promising. It looks... Are you not excited to see this era of Star Wars, The High Republic? Not really. <laughs> oh, is why? That a, wait, is that a show? That's the era, That's Rags, Oh, I that thought, okay. Set in. I thought it was like a it's, book or something. It, it, no, it was a like, series, so they did like a multimedia thing where they did books and comic Medley? books. All centered on the High Republic era, and literally nobody read it. it was oh, like that's the, the one like a hundred years before the prequels. Hundred, two hundred right? years before the prequels. So it's yes. not the old Republic. It's Disney's. It's the I High guess, Republic. Kind of like replacement for it because, because they were. They'll get to it eventually. Idea. Don't worry. They'll they'll get to the old Republic eventually. Once this doesn't work, I gotta keep they'll digging. be heading back. Yeah, yeah. yeah I feel Republic. like we've uh, we've burned through the prequels sort yeah. of, and we're still a little kind bit. of. There's a, there's a little bit of gas left in that tank, but I feel like, well, the the originals, well, think, um, well we used all of them. Uh, I think Obi-Wan Kenobi we... has proven to be incredibly consequential as a show. That was like the ceiling for how high it's ever going to get in terms of popularity, because it, it seems like well. at this point, no, nobody really has a favorable opinion of that show anymore. And it's kind of all been downhill in terms of writing since then pretty much everyone is looking at this assuming it's just going to be a massive shit show from everything we heard from the announcement to who's involved with production to the cast being announced and what they're talking about it has nothing to do with star wars and all has to do with everything else that they're bringing to the table i, I think that the show when it's all said and done after eight episodes, I think it's going to be worse than anybody actually predicted. I imagine it's going to follow the exact formula that all the other shows have, which is uh, not even necessarily starting out good, but always gets worse. It just always does. It gets okay. worse because the story happens. The last time you guys brought me through one of these, it was the worst TV show I've ever seen. So, Wait, Which one was which that one again? That? <laughs> that was Ahsoka. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't think I've seen a worse show. That was awful. Uh, a lot of people felt that it was fine. It wasn't. It was terrible. And it's the nice that it awful. stopped for now, but it that will return dirt. somehow. Second season will arrive eventually. I would be surprised if we don't come away with the conclusion that these uh, first two that they've released are better than Ahsoka, but there's no fucking way I would expect them to be better than Andor. And then no. if they're better no. than Boba Fett and Kenobi, that's not, that doesn't mean anything. Like yes, yeah, uh, there's one good one. The rest it, of them have been awful. It's a challenge to escape the abyss under the bottom of the barrel, like <laughs> not even to rise up from the bottom. It's yeah, can they like... crawl onto the scale? That's the question. <laughs> yeah, like the <laughs> the pungent swampy dirt that the barrel is sitting on top of and is kind of sinking into. I'm not even kidding though. It, it's really not hard to get onto the scale. Maybe they can pull it off. Well, you know, they like just the... need a few character. Do arcs, you remember um? You know the first scene in Ahsoka. The, the very like first few scenes there was like major issues yes. immediately with how oh yeah when they were and... attacking the ship yeah when they and then the robots and... blew themselves up and it created a massive like oh explosion gosh. that ahsoka had to run away from yeah that kind of writing where it doesn't even matter how it fits into the universe we haven't even talked about that it's just how bad it is in and of itself so i wonder if this will be able to just have people in a room and they talk and we're like whoa <laughs> like they did it revolutionary Excellent. as you can tell there's just no need to do like a history a preamble really it's because like at this point it's such a fucking tumbling mess but hey we've got um theo and ryan are both our star wars experts both very much uh, in love with the clone wars with a lot of the disney stuff you know ryan's a huge fan oh of, my uh... god <laughs> so... shut the fuck up <laughs> well uh, i've been hating the clone Wars since 2008 
And I'm glad that more people are coming around on uh, Dave Dave Filoni's agenda, which is just write the worst shit he can possibly write and still get applauded for it. I'm curious how many Ahsoka seasons it'll take before people give up on him outright. Give him three, maybe, and that'll be enough. It's like Zack Snyder I, with his fucking rebel moods. I don't want to linger on Ahsoka too much, but I'm still bewildered that people have any faith in him at all after he gets his show, his baby, like to do whatever he wants with, and that's what he put out. That's well, the best he could do. Yeah, that was putrid. That shit sucked. Zombie Stormtroopers, that was awesome. What do you mean? It, it well, also... I, I, I remember when they the stared at nothing for an hour? <laughs> that was fun. Very yeah. amusing. The Thrawn card. Thrawn playing an RTS <laughs> and so he's like being destroyed, and he's like, I can just re expand to a different uh, island. I will be fine. You know? <laughs> In the grand scheme of things, one might even call this first match with Tano a success. It's also important to keep in mind that Dave Filoni, for years now, has also been like supervising and helping out on other projects. He mm. consulted on Obi Wan Kenobi, which nobody oh. likes to actually talk about. Like at least the Filoni fans don't. He's had his hands in everything. He has been supervising and giving creative input on this show that we're about to watch too. He's the guy. He's, He's been the, the guy. guy. Yeah. What's his position right now? Creative, creative officer, something like that. Yeah. Ugh, yeah, and right. it's it's a role that like wasn't officially put out there for like like till like a year ago, but he's had it and been doing it for the past couple years. They just mm. never updated the website, so it's <laughs> like he's he's the guy. Um, so I hope all the Filoni fans are understand that he's involved with this. You guys excited to jump into Star Wars: The Acolyte, Season One, Episode One? Incredible. No. Yes, I am ready. Woo! All right. Here we Yo, go. The Star Wars paraphernalia. Star it's, Wars. So cringe. It, it's never yeah. been anything good. It's always been like. Uh, yeah, it's associated with negativity. It's so weird because <laughs> it is on the Andor episodes, isn't it? So, Everything, yeah. So it feels so. It's like, just don't have that. It's fine. There's a program where the Lucasfilm logo Ooh, ominous up. cello. Yeah. Uh, it's the time of his Jedi orders to have prepare prosper centuries without war. Okay. Any war, anywhere. A powerful it's the High few. Republic. Everything's fine. You know? But in the dark corners of the galaxy, a powerful few learn to use the Force in secret. One of them, alone assassin, risks discovery to seek revenge. I would have loved it if that was the voice in the episode. <laughs> hey, revenge. <laughs> Ever read by Jar Jar Binks? Fuck you. Ueda. This is weird. I wonder how Ueda? much of a place this will <laughs> feel like. Already, it doesn't feel like a place. Oh, do we know what the budget for the show was, by the way? $200 million, approximately. Jeez, uh... Where's your Jedi? Oh, an alien. oh wow, that's the alien. That's an alien. I like him. Yeah. <laughs> the question was... Learn more about his life. <laughs> the question is, <laughs> where's the Jedi? To? That way. Got it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> No, this is actually, a very inconspicuous outfit. We've actually got some Double aliens. I'm surprised. I like it. Well, that's why I, I asked about the budget, because we fucking better get aliens like that. If Oh, yeah. look at that guy. Oh, look at him. He looks all right. I want to know his he life. Good. We ain't getting it, no matter how much you ask. Master Indara. Yes, my child? It's I Trinity. That's outfit. Attack me. With all your strength. What the fuck? Why are you doing that? You did. Fuck off. This is a <laughs> random encounter in here. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's the appropriate response. Yeah. That guy's laugh was wild. <laughs> like, who the fuck are you? I have no quarrel with you. Attack me, Jedi. Oh my god, you're being cringe, leave. <laughs> Jedi do not attack the unarmed. Yes, you do. Ooh. Why did you do that to him? <laughs> Okay, force. Use the force. Stop her. She's a, she's yeah, abusing all her. of your she's friends. Beating people you up. Should, she's beating up innocent patrons. Her now. Use you the force. Stop her now. This you is like the Wookiee in the bar in the Boba Fett show. <laughs> oh, jeez. We're doing yeah, a big CGI. kung fu, I guess. <laughs> Oh, come on, dude. His, oh, really? his gun is stuck <laughs> in the holster. Uh, okay. Whoa. How uh, is she didn't, so strong? Is she didn't have this? Damn. Now you step in. You're a terrible Jedi, and I already don't like you for taking this long. Uh, she's doing the I'm too cool for this sort of thing. Like, disable her. So, okay. Oh, uh, oh, almost so close. <laughs> uh, she took her hood off. She's serious. Now. Yeah, that's like phase two. To disarm you or okay. Not. So you can use the force to stop it. So you just didn't. Why didn't you? <sighs> Who trained you? Boba Fett. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Literally, oh, okay, bye. Uh, Why did uh, you let that what happen? What is this? Why are you? <laughs> 
Oh, what? 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 I'm gonna oh, kill this random great. person. Just, yeah, what's the idea? Just use the fu Also, if you're killing her because you hate this woman, right, the Jedi... Oh, so you do give a shit, sort of. That didn't look great. Why can't yeah. you just... At what point are you gonna down. stop her? Yeah, like, you keep playing. Yeah, like, you do have a fucking lightsaber on yeah, your Yeah, Trinity's doing the, um, like, trying to be too cool, but she's actually, like, getting people hurt by doing that. Just do something. God, you look cringe. <laughs> she does. I'd like it the, if we the, spent a little bit less time on this. knife swinging noise. Yeah, this is getting boring. I, just, I don't even fully hate the choreography in isolation. It's just I don't I understand just, why anyone's using the weapons they use. You know what I mean? In a Star Wars universe. Yeah, that too. You, I'm here to kill you. Yeah, that's bad. Like, oh, no, was, Wait, okay, you have to. So okay, I guess well, that. Why didn't you use you. that this whole yeah, time? Why didn't you do that shit? <laughs> No, oh, oh, now. But, no okay. but then all the remnants, why that would they fall yeah, down? The, the yeah, why that, would all the fragments That should have splashed yeah. it with some molten metal there. Yeah. People say that with bullets all the time. This is a fight that you will not win. What, why are you holding up your knife as if that's going to do anything? <laughs> oh, she's dead. They didn't show that oh, for no, no. reason. Yep. Oh, no. She's dead. Don't dare throw your knife at that bartender. Oh, come on. Is that it? Why really? Are you... Oh, that really? Is it. that it? That Aww. is so shit. That is so shit. If only she'd stabbed her with a lightsaber, she'd be fine. What the fuck? That's so lame. We hadn't wow, just reintroduced really him as an element right before that happened as well. Maybe. Also, like, I don't care hugely, but what a waste. Yeah, what a fucking I... waste. Is she dead? Here? From this goober? This is, Every this bit of marketing in this show. One. Every bit of marketing in the show was about this fight between Carrie Ann Moss and her. And it's, that's it. She that's, it she, uh, sorry, but she messed me? around wow. for ages, and then she just gets killed by, like, some lame moves. Like, okay. This sucks. Ooh. God, and you leave we're the leaving lightsaber. the lightsaber, I guess. Okay. This isn't like Oh, but you take cool your stupid a... knife. <laughs> as You're like leaving the lightsaber. Show. This isn't that interesting. Do you know what I mean? She's got like a moral crusade clearly against Trinity, yep. but the way she beat her was by threatening an innocent person twice. Yeah, so this is like the this is the evil character. I'm sure she's probably fucking. You I'm know, sure she, she'll be good in the end. It'll be like it'll be like Reva, where backstory. we find she out is, yeah. her backstory. None and of like, it's her fault. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, and it'll be the her actions are not going to be explained by her backstory at all. <laughs> I don't care about you. I already know the thing the from leaks. the trailer, yeah, that they fucked up, but I'm willing to not mention any of it if... Uh, they but, fucked they, up they fucked something up. something in closed caption of the trailers they shouldn't have that ruined the spoiler for this uh, episode, but yeah. you'll find out Is soon Yoda gonna show up? <laughs> I'm not saying anything, okay? Sounds like we got a job. I don't care about your backstory. I don't either. <laughs> you threw that knife at that bartender. You were gonna kill him, and you yeah. didn't care. What I do with my days off is none of your business, fella. Ah, uh, no rest for the wicked. Oh, banter, banter. Oh boy, I love banter. Banter is great. Just don't Ooh. brag about it. Oh, look at them! Look at their hats and their outfits. Follow them! No, 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 cameraman! Follow them! <laughs> they probably are doing like a job. Shield generator repairs. Trade feds never use the shield. Trade Federation never use their shields. I'm not sure what that remark and, uh, means. Well, no, I thought the deflector shields on the Lucre Hulks were like in the Phantom Menace and stuff. Whatever. At, le at least they're showing that those boots in space are like magnetically locking onto something. At least. They're <laughs> yeah, like there's the bare minimum right there. <laughs> they're gonna use them to assassinate the. So clowns. the grease grubbers are disposable. Our cargo is not. Their voices are lame. I love the crazy voices in Phantom Menace. They were great. Well, the whole trilogy. These are just, these are just meh. We've got our little droid companion yep. who's supposed to be cute that's necessary in every yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. Everyone. show now. I suppose it would be hard for me to resist if I was writing this to have a Oh droid. no, fire in. Uh, that was a pressure valve. I got it. Space. I guess it's igniting the stuff coming out of the... Yeah, 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 but why is the wind like it, it looks it like doesn't... it's a fucking campfire? Oh, don't do this. Don't do the She's doing the flashbacks. flashbacks. PTSD feels weird. This looks like 
a fire that's just like running off the oxygen of space. You know what I mean? And a fire would look like a blowtorch. Yeah, not yeah, like yeah, yeah. A campfire. My name is Yord Fandar, Knight of the Jedi Order. Stop trying to make that a thing. It is crazy how that haircut ends up in everything of the uh, Star to Notice now because people make it compilations. Like alien. I like the aliens. That's yeah, the alien makeup is uh, a lot of aliens. Something, you know? Yeah. Yeah, she looks like a neat alien. And that guy looks great too. The Nemoidians. Ah. Sublevel. Bunk 23. Oh. <laughs> Wait, can you do that as a Jedi? That feels can a little just... bit ethically... I would have thought that... The cooperation in yeah. quotes in the subtitles. Surely the Trade Federation would be like, uh, so they just came on and took it, like, yeah. stole our thoughts, just FYI. <laughs> like, I feel like that's... No wonder, yeah. I'm telling you, man, the more that they tell me about the Jedi in these shows, the more I'm like, yeah, people believed Palpatine very easily. <laughs> They're like, it's all coming together. I mean, because you didn't talk to him for very wearing? long, you know? You finally passed your trials. You can tell by my... <laughs> Horrific costume. <laughs> yeah, that's the because that is the high republic. It actually style. looks terrible. It's distractingly bad. This is like the kind of thing that a cosplayer wouldn't wear because it's beneath them. This is like the styling for the high republic yeah. that they debuted in all those books and comics and everything. No one knows those books and comics. It, legitimately true. I guess he didn't know what that was, but she was clearly reaching for that. I guess he may have thought that was a pistol. So how long have you been a mechanic? A mechanic? I've never is heard that of that supposed before. to be mechanic. I've never heard of that. Star Wars mechanics are called mechanics. What? Mechanic. That's crazy. <laughs> I was trained to be a Jedi. When that didn't pan out, those skills aren't exactly uh, transferable. Why would the skills of learning to be a Jedi not be transferable to any other job? You'd think, you'd think maybe... that built-in telekinesis would just Yeah, be you'd think that useful. could apply to some jobs. You could, you could be a bartender and be like, yeah, my skills as a Jedi really come in handy. Every... You could be a professional gambler. It'd probably help. Yep. The Jedi taught me to psychically influence people to give me bigger tips. But I couldn't find any use for this in any way in my life. <laughs> you lost your entire family. Your mothers, your sister. This, this is, is her backstory, guys. She's, 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 she's being told her backstory. Right she's now. being told her backstory. Did, yeah. did, did you guys see that? You lost your entire family. Your mothers, your sister. Does she come from we, the uh, America Chavez planet? Bristol, oh, yeah, she's from that planet. It's it's an interconnected universe, the MCU and the Me. Disney CU. The suspect matched your description. 78 witnesses saw you do it. Oh, does she have a- she has a secret twin sister. Positive ID hey. from Bartender Man, just get him. Mm -hmm. He was willing to suck the mind flames out of the other guy, why didn't yeah, he Yeah, just suck him mind yeah. flames, that's right. Her. That's her! She killed the Jedi! Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. hey. Yeah, you okay. ruined his bar. <laughs> <laughs> I do I like that he, he included that. Well, all right, take her away. Now that you've been identified, a prison transport will take you back to course. Why, why aren't they doing mind okay. tricks on it? Like, can they not? I would have thought that would be the... Maybe it's she... weird when you do it to another force. It's Iron Man classic. Them. Well, I thought we've seen that before, haven't we? Like with so Kylo? What, I don't know her... They respect sequels. I don't know what her plan Wait, so what was her plan then? This is Disney, damn it. Nobody was going to... Like, just identify her? Told you it's a secret twin sister. I mean, I, I guess I don't hate the idea they wanted to speak to her before they did the positive ID, but, like, it would be faster. It was an old friend, right? It, so. Yeah, it's somebody that he knows from Jedi training yeah, sure. and all that shit, so... I would, like, hey, there's Coruscant. Look, look it's Cor Coruscant. Oh, look, it says Coruscant. One thing you can notice is that it does. it's not as built up as it is during the prequels. Uh, like, the city. Do you do you like that detail? Oh, it's time for training. <laughs> Wait, wait, well, that's, is bit, that a good yeah. detail? That's a bad detail, right? Because Coruscant's been on for many, 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 many thousands of years, but only in the last century they built it up. How do I, yeah, well, I don't know about I'm, that, I'm not, right? I, I'm not saying that it looks uh, like a million times bigger, but like okay. the skyline's just a little lower than it was in the prequels. All right. Think of diving into a great ocean. Give yourselves over to its weight. Holy like shit, they around expanded it. a little bit. Holy shit, they're doing it. And this is his just first English-speaking like role ever. I was about to say, why do you, you don't need to use the Force to open these doors, do you? Yeah, it's just technology. It just opens for you. It's automatic. Tell me, what comes into your mind? I see fire. Oh, God. I see fire? fire. <laughs> oh, no. It grows larger. Oh, no. It consumes anything that tries to stop it. Okay, you need to step outside. Yeah, yeah why don't you take a break? <laughs> look on his face. Uh, he's like, you will be a sin. Like a raging fire. <laughs> I see nothing but death. I see skulls everywhere <laughs> but that is our lesson for another day time for lunch 
yes really lunchtime like a training scene where they like expanded a little bit it was like fine. I, have been, I guess that was beginning to start to maybe one day approach a concept that could be interesting this uh is Ernesto Rowe who is like supposed to be the most prodigious incredible Jedi when she was young in the High Republic book she was a prodigy you know what I mean she could do anything at 15 years old she was like amazing so, she, so she's Padawan. like super powerful supposedly yes also she's played by Leslie Headland's real life wife that's how she got this role nepotism we have a suspect in custody an old Padawan of yours Osha Anaseo but hey you know maybe Osha. she's great Who there's knows? no Osha in Star Wars there's no rails anymore no <laughs> yes I'm a little confused as to why the story is progressing the way that it is it opens with getting rid of Carrie Ann Moss and then Weird. the villain gets found like in the next scene. So now everybody knows who did it. So there's Not no the villain. Because there's going to be a big twist, Fringy. It's going to blow your ah, mind. I see. Okay. But there was another. We've done secret siblings before. She saw us as her protectors. There must be some mistake. Maybe if we stopped going around mind controlling random people on a whim, <laughs> that, that probably would help our image as well. If it were to become public that a former Jedi killed one of our, our own. political enemies could use it against us. Discretion is important. Our justice swift. An example made. Wait, hang on. She said an example needs to be made. An example to well, who? We need to keep it an example of what if you're being secretive yeah. about it. Example to she... the Jedi? Of what happens if you turn against the Jedi? Yeah, that's what I mean. Like that's yeah. a really weird thing to say. Can't not get out. <laughs> Hey, hey robots. more droids. Yes. Let's get the robots. I'm surprised by the go. sheer quantity of robots and aliens we've seen so far. I will say. It's been the best thing about the show is some of the aliens look really neat. Are you in the bridge? Wait, oh, yeah, why is she... Out, this yeah. is the brig bridge. There is a direct line of sight to the fucking and she can use bridge from the... Oh my god, yeah. it's an alien. It's gonna come out of his Seaton. chest. Why is the, the first... cell on the bridge? I guess it's a really <laughs> small ship. I don't know. Because it's gonna enable her to do something daring... And amazing parasite used to subdue violent criminals okay what's with this guy's right. voice we're planning an escape you win oh no because they can hear us talking The the captain is there an escape to where we're traveling through hyperspace well you take the ship we're gonna take them out and use the escape pods wait it looks take, like it's all droids take out the is droids and a... use the escape pods why not take out the droids and take the ship i applaud everyone's enthusiasm here but that could kill us that was a weird line delivery Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, so like where are the Lobot. wait? Hang on. So there's no oh, there's no people on this really? ship. No, there's no people. Oh, we don't do now. people on the ship. Where's the really? where's the stupid hair man and the, oh, the oh, alien shit. girl? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's. Man, this insanely is, uh, dangerous. How this are you not dead? Gosh. Okay, Dude. so much just went wrong at once. <laughs> like, yeah. In terms of writing, holy fuck. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> It's charting a high. Oh what? my god! What? Man. Why would you ever do no. this? No, uh, too much so is wrong. Sad. They fucked up. I, there was too much wrong. Yeah, it's it's like hard just, to figure out where to begin. To the prisoners are stored robots. right next to the pilots. One of them could hack into it, and they didn't disable that or like remove that feature they, or put them somewhere else. They have how, a, how do people not escape from? They this? made them drop out. Did anyone ever make out it back to space, And they're in an asteroid field. There's so much wrong. The two prisoners out of the fucking like seven. Prison. Happened to be two of the most perfect people ever to break out of the fucking. Ugh. Wait, they asked her if she was in, but she wouldn't have done anything. They didn't need her for anything. Wait, they're leaving her behind oh, just gonna, because she didn't agree initially. They're gonna okay. Launch and hit an asteroid. Yeah, because she's like, I'm on the Jedi side. Well, get fucked then, I guess okay. they say. Oh, Who's gonna come? Oh, come, oh, come on, on, man! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> wait, go wait, pee. why isn't she, why isn't she yeah. just grabbing it? What the are force, they doing here? Unless you don't have the force. You Use the force, it's... Jedi drop out. No, they're Is not gonna, that... she's not gonna use wait, the force. What can happen? I... Of subversion, see. Like, okay, is this multiple, like, personality or something? It's not a twin, right? Oh, lucky. She can't use the force, so just wait, and it'll happen. <laughs> like, let, this is actually go. like a twin. Who knows, Springy? Okay, so my guess is now this whole is scene's a catastrophe. Multiple personalities. Maybe it is multiple personalities. Maybe it's activated by fire. This is oh. She's got to do the right thing. Uh, I like that. Uh, I mean, okay. I just, yeah, I, I would do it too. They oh, had a, a main lady character not strong enough to pick up a guy. I'm actually just surprised. Just pull him. No, just pull him. 
<laughs> well, what if it flies on like, you? Yeah, that might be a problem for you. Yeah, I'd be flipping out if I was him as well. <laughs> oh, 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 oh he's gonna, gonna leave her behind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lol. Get wrecked. Wow. Really? Okay. Well, the right wait, thing. there's clearly four escape ships. Only Why two have launched. Why don't you take control of the there's ship? There's two left. I do think it's interesting to have a ship that's floating, like, no, like under no power, and an escape pod launches, and it affects the trajectory of the ship. That is actually, that's like, an neat. interesting yeah, twist. Yeah. Did anyone see that? The, the, the way the ship was designed, it looked like there was two more escape ships, or am I crazy? Why it might be, but it doesn't look like they're hard? accessible to her. Why? It's not a big ship. At least it didn't look like it. I don't know. And presumably it would be worth looking right like this. Well, it's worth trying to pilot the ship so long. Really. This one. Yeah. Maybe she's not familiar with piloting she at all. Crash oh. position, I like that. At least she does yeah. all assume crash okay. position. Still, so that whole scene was a complete fucking disaster. Um, but really, like, the odds that they exited hyperspace in, like, reach of a planet, though, right? Yeah, that oh, yeah, was really that was low. seemingly like, random, and they hit asteroids. Like. The fact that you charted a hyperspace plot, or a hyperspace lane, through an asteroid field and through a planet yeah. doesn't seem to make any fucking yeah. sense. Like, oh, look, it's young Logan. Fenestra Rowe requests your presence at the detainment level. Why didn't she just contact you using the force in your mind? That's weird, or maybe that's right? just, that's a, that is a weird thing. This pastime encourages sentimentality and nostalgia, and both of these emotions can lead to- Oh god. By the book Jedi. If we don't meditate on the past, we're doomed to repeat it. So you knew the phrase and you still came to my fucking office with that <laughs> attitude? All right. <laughs> hey, look, all right? She's just She's a lander. She's landing. I yeah, the idea of like her just tapping into like the force to contact him. He could be he could be on the shitter, he could be yeah. jerking off. <laughs> this knows? is a breach of privacy. <laughs> it wasn't their idea. It was the Jedi killer. Wait, they've got these guys got already? They just got them. Th there is no sense of time we'll in any Star Wars show anymore. Okay, I have I'm gonna wait until the end then of the episode. I have so many questions. Planet and pick her up. Quiet your mind and tell me. Are you con mind controlling a prisoner? So you, je the Jedi are evil. I think that's the point of this show. It sounds like that's where we're going with it because that's why she killed Trinity, right? I'm getting a little bit bored of that angle of ah, uh, the Jedi. They were goobers. They didn't do anything right. <laughs> like they screwed up constantly. I remember Don't the original ever... trilogy when they were Guardians of Peace in the Galaxy, and that was nope. just nice. Mm. Yeah, can't do that. Permission to go to Kalak and bring Osha in myself. It is highly unlikely she survived. They made big old chungus mistakes. It's not that there isn't. Well, why an don't you go and to... check? If they could pick up all the prisoners in the escape pod, yeah, that's... just be at the planet and look. Just look. Go there. It's right there. Yeah, apparently it only takes 30 minutes to get anywhere in the Star Wars galaxy. What about the two people who came to collect her? They left on a different ship to go somewhere else? Last night a Jedi was murdered on Ueda. Master and Dara. Yeah, and remember, I think he said last night Jedi and Dara was murdered, too. The timeline so is that, like, fucking If it was confusing. last night, then she couldn't have been in well, range, right? But Unless why it wouldn't... was an insane coincidence that she was in range to do that last night and then get back out. Why weren't the no two Jedi with this her. ship? Yeah, it seems like they would Surely be with the ship. she's a Jedi assassin, as far as you know. from your seat? Like, the seatbelt broke and threw you... Oddly, like yeah. six feet, and you're okay. And you have and no you, injuries. No injuries. Mm. Well, like the the ship is broken open. I can believe she Rags, survived it, but she Rags the like force protected her. Injury. Yeah, it she made a force version bubble. of the Dead Space Three crash. I remember. Alrighty. Okay, I'm just gonna wall. I'm just gonna walk away and leave. I should look for supplies. Also, it's fucking cold. Holy point. shit, you are freezing. You need. Yeah. You are freezing. You are going to freeze to death in minutes. Karlak. Oh my god. I'm you, but Slenderman. darker. Slenderman. That would be actually interesting if a bunch of Jedi crashed on a fucking planet that had just predatory species that were way beyond them. Fucking horror movie, do it. Yeah, that could be this is a, be a Yeah, this is like kind of meta horror. Watching what's happening to Star Wars. I would say, compared to Ahsoka, the, there are mercifully way fewer just awkward pauses between sentences. Um, I would argue, yeah, the dialogue has been a lot more Normal, pragmatically created. Standard. Like, like it's just pushing the stor story normally forward. Pretty much. I thank you for choosing me for this mission. Wait, so he's here. Yeah, people are just... So he went from the ship where he captured so... his prisoner to Coruscant, where she was supposed to be going. I should have brought Ocean myself. I apologize for my error. And he's called on a different error. ship. Like, that he made a mistake that he I should don't... have stayed with her. And it's like, well, why, why, why didn't the fuck wouldn't you, know, you, you have done that? Why didn't you? If she's why allegedly have... a Jedi killer, That's why would I mean. you chuck mm -hmm. her into a little cage with the little and, shitty droids well, when she has you, telekinesis and, and, and force and you've powers? Got, and you've got the little Padawan just shit-talking this Jedi Knight as well right there. Good. 
Put your clothes on. Well, it's just like you you were there. Like and that doesn't mean so why did he make cold. this decision? Like we're both going he to the same there, place. And he went to the same place. <laughs> yeah, so why did he do that? How did also, he get there yes. before her on a different ship and then they collected the prisoners oh, and got them me. back? It's a force thing. It's my sister, it's not me. It's my sister. Because just... I have a secret to twin sister. Everything is so jobbled. Me. Hello, sister. Sister! I told you, I told you, see, I told you. It's just like obvious. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. That was the thing they accidentally spoiled in uh, in a trailer. Oh, that yeah. it was the sister? Yeah, which means yeah, the... they actually oh, put the wrong name on closed oh. captionings and spoiled it. Oh, well, no, because I knew that five minutes in. <laughs> yes. <I> mean, <laughs> ah, I see like that, fire. Like that... I see fire. It consumes anything that tries to stop it. Girl said the fire, fire destroys everything. Run. That's actually going to end up being their niece or something, that little girl of the Jedi Temple. Why not? Everyone knows everybody. I give you you. And you give me me. Why would they get the exact same haircut? I don't mind it if that's the it, intention, but why would they? They haven't They haven't seen each other in like 15 years. I guess maybe this is it. Oh, it's head. CGI. The tattoo on her was CGI. It didn't track her head right. Are you sure? That would be really weird. Well, the eyes definitely are. The, yeah, see, the tattoo is not really on her. You could see. You'll notice in the edit. There's, there's a zoom. Weird. People can decide. They're agreeing with me right now. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, it's so cold. I can't feel my extremities. Oh, it's rather chilly. No breath coming out of her... Uh... Boring. At least she does look shivery. Yeah, and this is the real world now. Yeah, not a vision. Okay, so she... Okay, they get credit for the last one. 16 years ago, I was posting... Yeah, I mean, this is how you do the exposition, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, this is... Ex yeah, they're talking about their backstory. This is oh, boring. boring. Yeah. The way that information's been revealed so far has been boring. Oh. It's not that it's necessarily massively dysfunctional, but it's very dull. She had a twin. I didn't know Osha was a twin. She had a twin. Why didn't you like, tell anybody you this? Save that reveal. Wouldn't you want to say that reveal for like an, a later episode that it was a twin the whole time? No, I think it was. I think it would be that they need to lure people in, grab them. Right? You got to give them something dramatic in the first episode to make them go ooh and keep watching. Oh wow, a twin. May. I saw her die. I don't understand. Like, even if she is dead, even, even if he saw her die, I feel like you should probably mention it. Especially if this history apparently would have given motivation for why she went yeah. after Trinity. And also, when you say you saw her die, like, what do you mean you saw her die? This is Star Wars, all right, man. Yeah. It's just yeah, right. They'll, really give you, they'll give you, what what do you mean? blunt exposition and then it'll get cut off by plot being like, sorry, we gotta do more. Like, was she pronounced dead at a hospital from a brain aneurysm or did she You, get, you get saw her go space? into a room and then the room exploded. Is that is that what you're okay, saying? Like, like, that'd be like Obi-Wan saying, two, remember? how could Darth Maul be back? I saw him die. I'm dying to Star Wars transitions. <laughs> yeah, all the wipes and everything, yeah. There's no way she could have survived this. Clearly someone's been here, Yord. Yeah, clearly like, someone's been here. It's a spaceship. Of course people have fucking been here, you <laughs> retard. I would also have happily concluded that someone could have survived the crash considering the ship's state. I'd be like, there's yeah, a lot of ways you could survive this. Yeah, it is definitely a potential. The way that they showed it was bad, but also you should be going to the Jedi because you will fucking die here if they don't find you. Yeah, this is oh, yeah. pretty dire. Oh yeah, there's, you, you are, may as well you go to be, them. I don't think the Jedi yeah. should just be out you should, here in the fucking bathrobes. Surely if you cooperate as well, you can say, look in my head, right? I didn't fucking do it. Yeah, yeah, I'd be like, no, yeah, look into my head. Like, I seriously didn't do it. It's my twin fucking sister. This is coming up to, like, the fugitive scene that they showed in the trailers. Put that gun down! Step away from the edge! I didn't do it! I didn't do anything! I don't care. We need to stop dressing and looking the same. <laughs> You know, <laughs> you, know, my hair. you know, I understand the mistake you're making. I look exactly like her. <laughs> but, you know, it's not my fault. I just really like the hairstyle. Master person. Wait, hang on. So I'm, get, I'm so fucked up by the chronology of this. Yeah. Like, didn't you just say she died 16 years ago officially? Does that mean they haven't seen each other for 16 years? Yeah, and they have the like exact same hair? Yep. What the fuck? Neither of them <laughs> yeah. decided anything about style, length, or how they wear it, or what they wear. Like it's also yeah. colored. Like the, it's colored red as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's uh, that's stupid. And that's only that way because they needed to trick us. Like even for a little. That's bit of time. not helping you. That if anything, that's no. Giving you that's a getting in the way. On your eyes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you turn that off, and you're gonna have that gray line yeah. on your eyes for about an hour. <laughs> Lightsabers are good for one thing in Star Wars, as <laughs> as fucking flashlights apparently. Yeah, because Ray used the, the flashlight. Like, the they are like catching her here. How did the time? Use the force and pull her. 
Yeah, just pull it. Step away from the edge. Please, soul. <laughs> Believe me. Okay, let okay. me read your mind. Don't be retarded. Let me, no, let, here, let me read your mind. I'll oh, believe come you on. if you... Oh, force, you force, force. Oh, my God. Stop! Also, I'm gonna be honest with you, he took a little long on that. Yeah, he mm. did. He just wanted to give her something to think about. Yeah, he's like, is this what you want? Hmm? Hmm? Pull it back. <laughs> yeah, just like, let her hover for what a while. Fuck? <laughs> let me read your mind and it'll prove your innocence. Oh, shit. Bro, she might have killed a, your best she other friends. She might have killed someone. Yeah, you need just, to read her mind to find just out. Just check it out, yeah. Okay, yeah, read her mind. I believe you. You don't have to. You could just confirm it. Why the fuck? Are, why, they've shown it twice. And they won't do it with the most important person in this plot. Stand down. Surely she'd understand being put in cuffs when she's under yeah. suspicion for assassinating Jedi. Yeah, like they don't put her in cuffs. Like that's that's not a bad is... thing. It's just a matter All of like, just want to be said careful. That she engineered the escape too. Oh shit. Jedi live in a dream. They believe everyone shares. Wait, what is this? A dream they believe everyone shares? If you attack a Jedi with a weapon, you will fail. Huh? What? No, she just killed one with no, a weapon. No, she killed her with a knife. <laughs> steel or laser are no threat to them. Steel killed well, Trinity. Steel. What do you a mean? Knife, no, a what? knife so, killed the lady. About? What? What are you talking about? An acolyte kills without a weapon. Oh, the title. An oh acolyte kills without a. What are you talking about? It but she used, used knives. She killed her with a knife. An acolyte. <laughs> Kills the dream. What is this oh, cringe? Why'd you do that? <laughs> wow. That oh, dear. Like, that another that pointless is... lightsaber ignition. Why yeah. <laughs> why would they say that steel doesn't kill Jedi? The audience, oh my god, Leslie. Gonna get yeah. room gotta get them credits. Like, literally all works. over the credits. I don't know. That's so funny. He's just standing there doing a little speech and then ignites it. Yeah. And he's gonna put it away straight away. Because he's not gonna use well, it. Well, then, he's, and also, an why is he like... saying things that aren't true? She killed her uh, with a knife. Steel. Yeah, but with a knife. And then also an weapon. acolyte kills without a weapon. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Also, like how this is an steel. How do they, no how do they write that? How do they I'm not, how do they do I don't it? find the how pitch do... for this show that interesting. No. Like I'm just I, what is the like with this episode? Well, it's that. It's right. Oh, it's twins, and one of them is a good guy, and well, one of them's a bad guy. Yeah, and then one of them is being oh. led by this mysterious, totally not Sith man to kill Jedi because they did something mean uh, sixteen years ago. Apparently, in the entire pitch that like they've been being like, hey, you know, the Jedi aren't necessarily all good. It's all in your perspective, all that bullshit. It's not like that's an edgy, crazy take. The prequels sure. were critical of the Jedi and how they kind of became too attached to being aligned with the government as opposed to listening to the will of the force and that's one of the reasons for their ultimate downfall like all this shit like that was done in the prequels and in other star wars things in the past so that's not something new or cool or edgy for this we've seen it before oh well, that's what we're saying i'm kind of bored of it like you know what you jedi you think you're so cool but actually i've got a history of where you've done something mean to me says the girl who brutally abuses many average bartenders threatens the lives of innocent people to kill a jedi i'm just like i i don't I yeah i just don't care i'm i've already checked out because i know you'll fuck it up if the rest um, of the show is the same level of quality as this one we're in for some fucking dire well this dire is probably the, one of the better episodes to be honest Rax. Yeah, <laughs> which is really yeah, awkward probably. when you think about the way that it all played out the opening fight scene scene seemed really odd well and, um like, i'm just i'm just shocked just, at this choice to have trinity for a scene that was retarded that's it. I She's guess I such thought a it big... would be shocking. Like, oh wow, so we got you. You thought that she was going to be in it for more, but she's not. That I'm is just, boring. Yeah. I'm so, so your expectation. It is. Yeah, you. She with her work in the Matrix and the you know choreography and the fight scenes and stuff. You, you could think... have had her for the whole season. Well, like, and why be do like, you Oh, at least you're doing have... something. Why do you think anybody would be excited that she was going to appear on the show? It's because I thought that she was going to be in it for a while. Not a scene. Yeah, and I'm not... A pretty bad scene as well. I don't well. need to like, see you doing slightly Matrix-adjacent choreography to then be like, all right, you can kill her now. That's cool. We did it. Yeah, like, like as if we wouldn't want to see her play a character. Yeah, yeah like, what, one of the only, like, a accomplished actors that's actually been cast in this thing, you would think that they could have a little more meat than that. Yeah. But that was all the marketing was also, about this fight scene, about this character, and you're, you're done in five minutes. Utterly disappointing death. It's like they both choreographed it. She looked at the innocent person, then she looks at the innocent person. It's like, I know, I will throw a knife. I'm pretty sure for you said, don't throw the knife at that guy. And then she's like, here I go, yeah. throwing the knife. And then she's like, I'll stop the knife. It's like, ah, but I threw a bonus knife. You couldn't have accounted.
accounted for that. It's like, oh. Yeah, as if, like, Jedi haven't accomplished insane feats before, like, I mean, dealing with two things at once. Yeah, that, that's what I, that's the impression I get from this scene, is the writer was like, ah, see? See? Two things at once? And you're like, what? What? You mean something well, that a she... Jedi would definitely be able to deal with? And this is all bearing in mind, why didn't she stop this earlier? She yeah. had a lot She was playing with her, her, which bugs the hell out yeah, of me. Yeah, annoying, because they needed because... a big actor. You can tell they're going for the stoic as well stereotype that they fucking plant on almost all Jedi characters. Um, if she was like, I don't buy it. I just to me it seemed too um, almost ego driven. Like, yeah, I don't need to put much effort Hello, into just backing you off completely. Look at how cool I am. Me. Despite the fact she's watching a bunch of people get attacked, the longer you leave this yeah, woman run around, yeah, the more innocent people get hurt. Yeah. It tells you about character. Remember when so Obi Wan chopped off. Zam's hand off? That was fun. <laughs> mm, yeah. That was yeah. fun. Good times. You tried to kill me, so I'm gonna. I think I am just like stunned by, I guess, like just a lot of the choices that were made for constructing this episode. Of uh, like immediately they figure out who did it. So it's not even like an investigation, and immediately it's revealed. It's like, oh, well, it's a twin, which I think the reason it took me a while to come around to that is because that's on its face just seems so silly to me. It's like, ah, yeah. yes, it's oh, a well, twin, and she looks just like you in terms of her style and everything, and she did it. It's why I didn't want to realize you. confirm it, because it's almost so funny. It's one of the most classic <laughs> writing twists it's that were comical. ever made. It's comical. If you do it, you have to do it really fucking well. There's so few examples where they do it well. This is kind of a joke. Like, she looks and sounds it, exactly like... like Thank you. Episode. Yeah, that's, that seems like a waste. Well, yeah, that, that's your big twist that you tried to hide for forever, and you reveal it twenty minutes into the first. I episode. think the problem is that um, it seems like Star Wars can't deal with like creating a mystery that okay. is just a, a small mystery in and of itself. It's now whatever the mystery will be, it will transition to a big world building lore thing, mm. rather than a mystery pertaining to characters or plot. It will now shift to like whatever a uh, group that the the bad guys are part of, and that'll be a mystery that will uh, it would deeper be, like, conspiracy. That's a galactic thing. scale plot. Yeah, because we can't just have a like a detective noir style sure. Star Wars that was story. The show. That's where, what I thought it was a, supposed to be. Like, hey, you know, there's someone someone murdered a Jedi here, and like, well, you know, there's not that many Jedi to investigate this sort of thing. So it looks like a young knight whoever you have to team up with this local detective guy and he doesn't really like jedi but maybe he'll warm up to you and you got to go around and question witnesses <laughs> I mean, and... on its face that's a more interesting idea because it means pairing up people who actually maybe disagree on their worldview and have a different temperament. That, yeah. that should actually be like the path for Star Wars forward, right? Just doing other kind of things we've seen in different genres in the Star Wars universe. Yeah. It has to be yeah. well written, has to be all that, but that's such an easy thing to do and make it maybe appealing to Star Wars fans. You saw, I mean, Andor did a similar thing. You had the heist, you know, for a couple episodes of that. You could do things like that in Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. Like you could have a procedural though, like Law and Order movie. style show in Star Wars. Dun, dun. Yeah, and then the, you yeah, show like what like, happens when the local government has to hire someone to prosecute a crime and oh well there's the jedi what what does the jedi say over local jurisdiction when it comes to planets that maybe have their own justice system and police and prisons and whatnot and do they get along do they butt heads what is the nature of you know who do, who prosecutes someone if they kill a jedi somewhere else and do they butt heads and how do they get to the like how how does detective work function in star wars with all the cool little gadgets you might be able to have and the clues and you know the expertise of the police and the cops and the detectives working together we're not going to yeah. get any of that it's just going to be it's going to be force woo and aren't you well, everything's amazing everything's got to be a big deal that's one of well, the problems so much fucking has. weight will be put on who i have started to lovingly call smilo ren from the trailer he's going to be like <laughs> yeah. he's going to be the guy with the, the the series when he shows up and does his stuff the series is going to love him it's going to be obsessed with him it'll, it'll it put always a lot is. of emphasis on it it'll it'll play like loud horns whenever he whips out the lightsaber yep. and do a big sweeping shot and every character will have a reaction and it will be cringe because and it won't be interesting who he is. It'll be boring, just like it always is. In this episode, like, all of current Star Wars suffers from this. The idea of time and how long are we traveling for and how long does it take to get from here to here to yeah, here. Yeah, I got all no of, clue. Yeah, the yeah, time this scale. Is, I have no this clue. This one is worse than anything else I think we've seen recently. Oh, Because yeah. just yeah. one episode, be... they're going from one side of the galaxy to the other in seemingly no time at all. Yeah, and, and we got too many that characters would instantly doing. Rule out what's her face, Osha. That would rule her out to be like, oh, a Jedi was killed here last night. 
that physically could not possibly have been you because you're over on this end of the galaxy or you're over here. And if you're together, that would be an insane coincidence. And of, that and of the course, like alternatively, well, how, how would surely that would be easily verifiable? It's like, hey, did like a drop ship leave this ship? Nah. About saying, this in... Hey, we're here to question a, a, a Tic Tac or whatever they're called. And they did some repair work and they used the space fire extinguisher. And you, you would have a record of them being on the ship, right? Oh, okay, you do? I All think. right. Well, it wasn't her. It must have been someone who just looks well, like her. What I find baffling is like, so this girl did all of this despite apparently having a whole other life here and she'd been accounted for. If only there was some way that could possibly explain this crazy thing. And no one felt the need to be like, well, she's got, a twin. she's got a twin that uh, she died, but if she was alive, it would actually explain a lot of this. <laughs> like, I have no fucking idea how that wasn't on her file in any way. Why was Well, so it's going to be some yeah. thing they did 16 yeah. years ago some, that was bad. Some cover up. Yeah. 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 Because the Jedi are bad, really, right? It's going to be so fucking boring, uh, depending it's on what happens. From there, like, there's, just some, it's never sorry. interestingly morally questionable. It's never like, oh, what. Do, what, <sighs> what tough choices do the Jedi well, think, have to make to keep justice you, in this big universe? And they're not going to do anything like that. It should It'll always be, be, or generally, it should be a matter of, like, conflicting ideas about interacting with the galaxy. Like, a way that the Jedi sort of make sense of their role and what they ought to be doing and how that may clash with other people's views of, like, justice and morality. But instead, it will probably be something dull and stupid. By the way, just the directed by Leslie Headland, created by Leslie Headland, written by executive producer. Yeah. But it's just like, okay, this is it's definitely enough. your show then. So to put in perspective, some people haven't seen some of the, the interviews and things. The reason she's been talking about like Frozen in association with this is because Leslie Headland herself had a falling out and was estranged with her real life sister. And so she wanted to tell a story about that because that, that's what Star Wars is now. It's a playground for people to put their lives front and center as opposed to telling a story in the universe. There are some leaks out there from people that have seen episode three and four that get insane. Uh, like insane levels of forces female, the forces lesbian. I'm still struggling to deal with the time limit, timeline of events at the sort of center of the episode around her whole like detainment and then subsequent escape, such that it leads to the Jedi gang arriving at Sol? her on, on the cliffs. Yes, Sol. They went out there to detain her. They put her on a droid ship flying her somewhere. Then mm. we cut back to the temple and they're back there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They had more important yeah. things to do. It almost feels like the ship sequence was part of just the two action scene so, mandate that okay. seems to exist. Consequently, they will not go back to Coruscant, because that's the only way I can explain this from a writer's point of view. Because if she had gone back to Coruscant in initially she anyway, met him anyway, yeah, and then they could yeah. do whatever plot they want. You could explain it either by they had an action scene just to pad the time, or they're not going to go back to Coruscant. Something will stop them. Mm. There must be gets, a, there must be a reason fun when it becomes that transparent, too. though. That's no, well, thing. that's how it, it works. We've we've talked about this in the forever. Whenever something weird happens, just think about what it can help facilitate. Every time. Because mm. we, yeah, because these shows are written horrifically, we're not thinking of, oh, there must be a reason behind this. No. We think, no. Oh, that's no, just, no, they no, just, no. oh, yeah, there's a reason for It'll this. be for some bullshit, pretty much. Yeah, it'll be for some bullshit. Not like an interesting, like, especially look back and realize, oh, so this was their writer's way of not trapping themselves in a particular, you know, plot or setting or, um, you know, environment where da 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 could or couldn't happen. So where's everyone sitting for episode one? Is it an inch above Ahsoka or like, where would you scale yes, it? I would put I it above it, but not that much so. above it. Like it's I said, maybe in the maybe barrel. just for superficial. <laughs> I I could see this and Ahsoka hanging out there, buddies. You know. Oh yeah, but at for least sure. this one was more interesting visually. <laughs> Less obnoxious pauses. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, which I, yeah. Yeah, it didn't waste yeah. my time. We saw some and cool I think aliens. A lot of the uh, mm -hmm. a lot of the dialogue was much more um normal, not interesting, but normal. Not like for just bad. Yeah. yeah. Bland, yeah. not pretentious. Rather than the conversations standard. being like really awkward, like in Ahsoka, where it didn't feel like I was watching two people interacting, this one feels more like, well, it's two people interacting, but in the most expeditious and like boring way possible of just relaying yeah. all of the information that they need to relay in the quickest way possible, and then plot happens. It's kind of tough for these Jedi shows because it's already been established that the Jedi are kind of bland, you know what I mean? It's their entire thing is they're kind of, there is no emotion, there is peace. So, like, the way they speak to each other is going to kind of seem like that sometimes. But you're right, for Ahsoka, it felt like Dave Filoni was adding five-second pauses yeah. to let the audience just, like, catch their breath and squeal over the fact that these two characters are speaking to each other. Well, you know... But I think that's just even... bad, right? 
fighting. Yeah, even even with have... that restriction for Jedi, you can always have a character who's just yeah, a bit I, like yeah. you know, like even Qui Gon. Qui-Gon. Was yeah. Neat to listen. Exactly. Yeah, and, and yeah, what about yeah. characters like Spock? You know, where he has mm. he does have expressions. He does raise his brow and he he considers things. And you know, because stoic doesn't mean boring. It just <laughs> doesn't mean overly expressive. It does, and there's, yeah. and there's yeah. just there's just multiple flavors. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. You can have people who just, it, it can come down to one person is a little bit more willing to make a joke every now and then, even as simple as that. Yeah, or they point yeah. things out that are just like interesting, amusing observations, or, they have or they're a, a little sarcastic. Interest, right? Maybe they're they a have little personalities. bit obsessive about something. Yeah. Maybe they're really obsessive about ships, or they're obsessive about lightsabers and how they work. Just because yeah. you're vo not volatile doesn't mean you maybe have to be boring. There's, uh, yeah. Maybe there's like one who's way more into reading like ancient Jedi texts and everything before they get destroyed. Well, and maybe um, there's just one, one who's a liar. More interested in physical training. Yeah, maybe somebody yeah. is, you know. Yeah. A bit of a you, fraud. I feel like the the two characters, I guess, that do have a little bit of maybe something to the, like. Not that I like it, but Yor seems like he's a dude who obviously struggled. Took him probably a long time to make night, based on what we'd heard before in that conversation. And it feels like he has something to prove, and he's viewed as kind of a fuck up. And then you've got that little apprentice Jackie who is wants to be like super by the book and probably thinks she's hot shit. And that's about the only differences, I guess. And we got some uh, with Soul. He's 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 got some guilt. Maybe we can do something with that. He is an actor, mm -hmm. you know. This <laughs> is his actor. first. This is his first role ever English speaking role. Yeah, he's not um, fluent, right? He's not fluent. I don't he believe he like, speaks like he's it. fluent. He sounds like he definitely has an accent from you know somewhere else. You could just sort of you can kind yeah. of tell. Which is fine. Well, I think it was that I mean, he learned English for this project, right? Or was he speaking yeah. it with a Oh, then tutor that's very that... impressive. Yeah, it is. I, and yeah. it's a shame yeah. that he'll probably be playing a, a shitty, terrible character that no one will remember ever. But we I mean, shall cross our fingers and some hope, hope that that's not the case. Maybe, yeah. yeah, if we can walk away from this show with really liking one <laughs> character, that will put it like leaps and bounds above yeah. pretty much every other show except Andor. If you put it into perspective, if every episode from two onwards was Andor quality, it still has that horrific start. At that so point, it'd be fucking it weird. Be... We'd be like, what's with that? That'd be so strange. <laughs> be like every other one was directed and written and created by someone else. Yeah. <laughs> would that be, would that be uh, what would do it? Well, all right. Episode one in the can. Thanks for checking this out, you wonderful people out there. Star Wars. Totally saved. Hooray! Anyway, bye. Yay. Bye. bye, everyone. Bye. I'm telling you, I didn't do anything. I don't care. <gasps> What'd you bring me? Hello, welcome Hi, everyone. Back We're away. back. Season one, we episode didn't quit. two. Oh, Intrepid my God. adventurers. Yeah, we were just um, having a little chat there about. Oh, you know, the show's bad. Yeah, <laughs> it really is bad. I'm, I'm surprised, yeah. but. I've heard that it was fine, but um, I was gonna say yeah, they were wrong. I feel like I'm not comfortable calling it meh. I think it's worse than that. It's just bad already. There's nothing for me to latch on to except for maybe the hope that we see some cool aliens. Because we talked about sometimes how they'll nail a first episode in the sense that they've got nothing to nail, so it's really hard to fuck up. But like they had a couple of things they needed to sort out in episode one there, and they fucked them up, which is what just bothers me in retrospect already. You need to iron out everyone's locations going from A to B. Just get that. That's that's. It's not even that hard. You can figure this out, and then they're like. No. Like, oh, okay, well. It communicates something about the priorities in the writing. If you don't even care that much to make it make sense where people are and how they get to where they're going at the right time, then that's already a big concern from like, a plot perspective. You know, another thing I was just thinking about is if her quarrel is with the Jedi being immoral to her X amount of time before she doesn't believe in them, the the uh, the evil twin, it would have been nice actually if a person nearly got hurt in the middle of their fight and she stopped it from happening and it even like impressed her. Trinity, like confused her. The only thing you get is that child who's hugging Beardy the bartender at the end, and you see her like have maybe some moment of sympathy yeah, or something. Yeah, I just it's at odds with it for now, and you'd be like, you haven't seen all the, the episodes yet, you can't judge. And it's like, well, it's just not putting me in a good position. We've seen and well, and I think I have a feeling that I'm gonna be referencing episode one as well as others when we find yeah. out her full story. I'm gonna say like, yeah, but yeah, remember like, when she blah blah blah. Take for example, to kill those people. Yeah. If uh, she tossed a bunch of those blades, Trinity deflected them. One of them hit like some 
structure, you know, like a chandelier, but whatever equivalent for this suitable in this bar. And it went to fall on someone and both of them instantly reacted to stop it from hitting someone and they both like looked at each other like, what the fuck? Yeah, if you had a, yeah, a fight where because of the fight, some accident happens and she goes out of her way, the assassin, to actually stop an innocent person from being yeah. hurt, even if it was at the cost of letting the Jedi go or whatever, that would be interesting. Would but be you interesting, just portrayed yeah. her as evil. Or even afterward, when she's picking up her stupid fucking... Japan knife. She Japan. like raises it up to like kill and threaten the bartender. And I'm like, why? Why are you a dick? The other characters uh Ryan had mentioned we have pieces of some of the other Jedi that could end up being something. And uh, our main character, I don't have much yet. She's just kind of like, ah, uh, what's happening? We kind of have two main characters, right? You've got Asha, who's the good twin. We didn't see too much of May, who's the bad twin, but like I think those are supposed to be the two main characters of the show. And I just um I fucking know. Smiler Ren's not gonna have fucking anything going on, is he? When we finally get him, he's gonna be like, "The Jedi are evil. We will destroy them." Watch, watch, watch me ignite my lightsaber pointlessly. <laughs> I learned this. I, mean, I learned this from Darth Maul. Leslie Heather would be like, "Well, that's what you do with Sith, isn't it?" He'd be like, "Yeah." Yeah, that's what you do. You have them ignite their lightsabers, and then when it cuts to credits, they put them away because they're not gonna use them because there's nobody around. And then he's like, "I was just making sure it's working." <laughs> that Smilo Ren was like a hundred meters away. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not like, like uh, I don't know why you ignite that lightsaber. It make much sense. What was he looking at? Was he just looking at the ocean? Yeah, like, yeah, that all this ocean. He saw a bird. He was but like, "Oh, my." Face. That's the same planet that Ahsoka fell in the ocean in the oh, world between God. worlds. So Probably. He was, nah, I don't fucking like don't that do that not rule out Ahsoka turning up in this via the world between worlds. Don't rule it out. Last night a Jedi was murdered on Ueda. Previously on the Acolyte. The suspect matched your description. We have no cameras anywhere, no records of travel, nothing that you would expect in an advanced sci-fi civilization. But we do don't remind me of this. The, the, like I said, the two perfect inmates to escape the situation. <laughs> not, however, well, if they that... had a Jedi on board. Just one. The Republic is just the most incompetent group ever. Oh, I don't know. What about the new, the new Wait, Republic? The, the right? new Republic is Ooh. also fucking retarded. Yeah, that is like God, the First yeah. Order retarded, the Final Order of super retarded. When your villains are such shit, when your villains are such shit, that's what you have to do. You have to like, make when, when you write stupider, villains yeah. as retarded as like Thrawn, you have to make the New Republic just that incompetent and blame bureaucracy or whatever to make it make any sense. Unsettling music, that's suitable. Here we are at place. Oh, Lega. Oh, Lega. oh look at that guy. Look at him. <laughs> he's look just, at him go. He's just dragging trash. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he could clearly see you when you did that. Like, if your goal wasn't to be seen, he could definitely see you. Also, the idea that you couldn't just why, go and throw that up while it was that, there anyway. Yeah, yeah you could just, just put it on straight on. away. <laughs> why would you? Why would you? purposefully what was the point a, of that a witness like that she would have been better oh, hidden she's... had she knocked on it and stood to its side and then dropped the thing on top of it when it came out why didn't they how did they not realize that she's this is cringe how come they can't I don't know. tell that? Yeah, they just walked past her, and she's okay. dressed like a cringe lord. I meant, like, the people who made the show. How could they not tell oh, that this I thought the Jedi cringy. would even notice, too. I well, thought Rise was just adding to it that it's cringe the, in the cringe universe and out. in and out of universe. It's still so funny how similar their hair is. That's stupid. <laughs> Are we about to have another lame action scene? Please don't. <laughs> Master Torben, we have unfinished business. So he's another one of the uh, the evilmans. Oh, why should you keep doing the cringe thing? He looks interesting. Yeah, he looks multiple ages at the same time. Yeah, he's the <laughs> oldest young person I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> he's a 50 year old teenager. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, is, is it like a force field? With a mm -hmm. literal force field. Okie dokie. Attack me with all your strength. Can he hear her? That's gonna hurt. <laughs> is he, wait, is he sleeping? Yeah. Dude? Oh, that looks really He awkward. looks like he's meditating. So he can, he knows she's there, right? <laughs> This is funny. This is the whole episode. I need some clown music. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> is this meant to be funny? Because it is. I don't. So yeah, I'm a little confused because surely Torben should be aware that she was there. Or I guess, is he, like I said, is he just so into it that is he couldn't feel any of that? hibernation? He's in a coma. That is, it's so oh, funny to be to like... Oh, we have to learn what the O means. What it's the twins. See, it's one the is good and yeah. one is blue and one is oh, yeah. yeah. right. right. one is good and one is the Vos. See, it was set up later. God, I'd kill for Palpatine to just kill everybody. and Just him, him in his house, in his apartment. He just unlimited powers everybody. Yeah. Ends into frame. With Walks into the room, electrifies all of them. Him playing burnout takedown or burn out revenge for the PS2. You could try repolarizing the power couplings. Thanks. You must be a pilot then. No, I'm a mech mech. mech Got why, it. why would you that. call it that? What is this? It's so a mechanic. Mech, mech for mechanic. Neck for what? Mech neck meh. What's this supposed well, to be? Maybe the other ones aren't mechanic. Mech. Yeah, just say mechanic. How could you call them pilots? If you drive the ship, you're a pilot, not a pie pry or a pie lie. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, like you there is some Star you Wars. My mind to find out the truth. I must protest over not restraining the prisoner. Just like Raz just said, you can find out. Yeah, like I think you have an argument that Force users are able to prevent people from going in their minds, but if she volunteers for it, yeah. she should be able to open her mind to it and prove that it wasn't her. May would not have the training to defeat a Jedi Master. Which I hasn't trained in six years. The twin sister, even if she was alive, wouldn't have the training to do this. Why would the good one have the training to do it? I think that's what Soul said as well. Yeah, like she hasn't been a Jedi Souls. in six years. But, yeah. but if you're unaccounted for for that long, you could have had the training, correct? Osha has a twin sister. She was presumed dead 16 years ago. He told her that she's presumed dead. He told his Padawan that he saw her die. So why wouldn't he tell the green lady, I saw her die, not she is presumed dead? Well, it's like you said, Rags, like, are we ever going to find out what I saw her die means? And is it going to be fucking vague? I swear to God it'll if It'll be vague. vague. Of course it'll be vague. She fell off a th small I cliff. <laughs> Would you like me to investigate or bring Osha back to Coruscant? Go investigate. Take Osha with you. There's the justification. They're not yep. going back to Coruscant. They're not They're going, going to Coruscant. There, there, there you go. go. Set a course for Olega. Osha is coming with us. I believe she can help. Is that, uh, I guess she could help, but they're just not putting so, much effort into ensuring she's on their team, you know? What yeah, if, she did. He's a part of this. She could she have been lying this whole back. time. She really could. Yeah. And to be honest with you, I would actually appreciate a bit more aggression from the other characters being like, you're clearly biased. You're, you're like treating her really well when she may have yeah, killed like Trinity. Is, especially his Padawan who Yo, literally Derek just Star like brought that up. This is what I mean. Like, I think it's a missed opportunity too because you could get some pretty decent conflict through that. Hello? Chimere? Go, go die. What, you want people with the name Chimere to die? Where have you been? Out there risking my life. Terrorizing innocent people. Yeah. <laughs> so did you kill the guy? I was this close and I couldn't land a single blow. Her plan seemed to fail at night time. She didn't just come back here. This seems to be her... Uh... Or did it take her all night to get back? Yeah, I guess this could be really far away from the temple. Find his weakness. He doesn't have one. He didn't really well, try anyway. very much, to be fair. She tried to punch him. She tried to stab him. What else is there? I need a weapon. I need you to make me a poison. Make me a poison? Oh, so you, oh fuck. You're terrible. Presumably he has to eat at some point, I guess. But... He eats the force, the... If you think a sleeping monk is tough, good luck defeating a Wookiee. So he's just okay with her murdering Jedi, then. I have two Jedi to kill after Torben, and I will kill one of them without a weapon. I will kill... How do you kill without a weapon? Surely whatever you kill them with becomes a weapon. Like, the whole monk thing it's... is the body is the weapon. And... Yeah. And if it's poison, that is a weapon. Like, if yeah. you, if you push them off a cliff you were the weapon right or somewhat like it, what does that mean yeah. it must just mean like with the force or like you know Mitch shoving somebody off weapon. and then yeah you can theorize it's <laughs> well, a weapon too yeah at that point like who cares like, you can't shoot them you gotta push them off a cliff yeah like, okay it's, it's dead just be more clear you want her to punch them to death <laughs> the jedi justify their galactic dominance in the name of peace and peace is a lie i know but it, it, peace does exist it happens they were guardians nope. of peace in the galaxy nope. and like every why jedi think peace nope. only thinks he's found the Sith line thingy, though, isn't it? But there's clearly peace. Yeah, like, that's your obvious. Opinion, that's your opinion, Rise. You'd be a Jedi, and they'd fuck you up. No, but it's like, it, it's like self-evidently true that peace exists. Like, I, <laughs> I don't even you know You call it peace. Yeah. I guess you could say, for a thousand years, the Sith had been plotting behind the scenes, like, ready to take over, and the Jedi thought the whole time they had nothing to fear. I'm very how curious how this is going to work. Poison color. Yeah, I do like the, the idea who... that he has his daily hamburger and she's going to poison it. It wouldn't bode well for either of us if you told him about this. It would be funny if she killed him with a poison and she's like, yeah, okay, fine, I used a weapon. He's like, no, no, that counts. What is that? Let's talk about your backstory. Oh, this is a pip droid. I'm trying to sink him to your ship so I can get some fuel levels. No, you do not get to sink yeah, your shit up wow. to our ship. What yeah. the fuck? What the what fuck? You, you can't even trust her I yet. I, you know, like, if this was like a joke where behind the scenes, after Every like Jedi left the room. She was like, "Oh my god, they're letting me do yeah. everything I want." Oh my god, this people <laughs> I, are retarded. I mean, what is that? And he doesn't even care about that. He's like, "No, I'm asking about your trashy tattoo." <laughs> <laughs> that is funny as fuck if they're like, how did you hook up a hacking device to their ships? Like, they just let me. Do you believe the maze behind the Indara's murder? It's the only way to explain all of this. It's not the Why don't you way. read my mind and find out? I'm giving you consent. I know you're not used to that, but I'm giving you consent <laughs> to read my mind. What happened that night wasn't your fault, so I've told you that. You did, and I have made peace. All right. I can tell uh, because I think, you know, I, I think I would have preferred it if he said I did and then was silent. I think I would have preferred that rather than yeah, but yeah, now no, we I know. made peace with it. Yeah, but now we know because he told us. That was a lesson you tried to teach me to accept what I'd lost. I ah, made peace. Nice. I know you did. You tried to teach me that. 
I wasn't like, oh, this is, we're getting into Ahsoka yeah, dialogue exactly. territory. Perhaps I wasn't a very good teacher. I'm telling you, yep. every time two characters meet, it's like, oh, this is like 90% chance backstory. Oh, exposition. man. Just any kind of wit in, in the way they speak or what we gain from how they speak, please. The tiniest bit of subtext. Give me something to find out or discover. Give me a reason to pay attention. Reach the Lega. It doesn't look like the city is very big either. Yeah, so it shouldn't have no. taken a whole night to yeah, walk no. back. This crime may be connected to another open investigation. This is Tatooine just but just like shitty blue instead of shitty brown. I can't believe it's a it's a new they've got money to spend, Rags. Uh, she Wait, wore it in so, a necklace. So she showed up right when they showed up outside. Before the gatekeeper droids failed, they caught this little scandal. Look at this fat fucking Jedi. <laughs> How are you so fat if you're a Jedi? Don't they have what, training? They... Like physical training? Yes. Do you remember me? Is she gonna trickle the poison from above him? Is it gonna go through <laughs> the force field? <laughs> I know why you took the Mirage Bell. You thought this life would give you the peace you seek. Dude, stop expositing, please. But your past still haunts you. Dude. Oh my god. Oh, dude, yeah, oof. But she can't speak to him because oh. he would have heard her before, right? Did you activate the security droid? She paid me to. She had a hood on, but it was her. You'd think these Jedi would want to take her in immediately, but I guess these guys outrank him, so. No, 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 no. See, she has a twin sister who was supposed to be dead. Ugh. You have to understand. So lame. I offer you a choice. Oh, this guy's taking like a vow of silence. Wait, so we can hear her then. Confess your crime to the Jedi Council or receive the forgiveness you seek. How do you get it into there? He's going to sit on it. He'll go up his bum. Well, yeah, so he was listening to her the whole time. I like so how those are the only he... two options that he has. Well, but so what why didn't he, he warn like, anybody? No, I'm going to alert the Jedi. Yeah, why? He would have heard it last time, right? Or was he actually asleep last time? Why didn't he why warn anybody? He... I think he heard. Why I think is he, he telling anybody? a vow of silence type thing? Yeah, but you can, yes, you can yeah. warn people in other ways than your yeah. voice. Okay, I guess oh. not. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, man? Who is I've this guy? I've been waiting for you. Another loser. No, you're not real. Uh, you're an apparition. Uh, she, she you're obviously, of, follow the no. apparition. Are you, you have anything to say? Why about wouldn't he have stopped it? Why wouldn't he have said, oi? Oh, was he going to kill himself? Why? The poison was unnecessary if he was just going to kill himself anyway. You know what I mean? Like, he could have just stabbed himself. We thought we were doing the right thing. Wow. This is so That's stupid. another. That's two out of the four Jedi targets uh, that were killed in a super boring uh, way. Uh, All she had like to do was say, kill it. yourself, and he did. Holy I shit. Boring. Right, right there. I mean, like, no you did this. You bamboozled us. You lied to us, and that'll create drama. That you would be hyper-retarded if they think she did it. But That's holding the murder weapon is probably not helpful. She's weirdly chill about this dead guy Yeah, here. you'd almost what call it suspicious. Didn't you just fucking yell something yeah. right now? The second, say, hey, the second she entered the room, she should have said there's a dead guy in here. Step away from the body. I know what this looks like. Oh, fuck off. Oh, fuck oh, if you know what it looks God. like, then why did you set yourself up to look as Dude. suspicious as possible? He was poisoned. How do you know? She didn't do it. What took you so long? What the fuck? My sights were on her the entire time. Oh, were, you just, just were you just watching. enjoying watching okay. them nearly kill her? Fuck, <laughs> what was that? Why did you why write did it you... like this? This master was dead when we arrived. Thank you, York. Why? I think that's supposed you... to be a character you... moment for those two. I think so. Yeah, like, like, I, come I, on, why? He just really? says what? Here's just what happened. Oh, so there were no signs of struggle. It took this poison willingly. How did you How the arrive fuck at you that know conclusion? That? <laughs> he can sense it through the force. This is Bunta from my home planet. Tell so us sure. more about your backstory. I just can't believe that the whole poison aspect was completely irrelevant. The guy just wanted to die anyway. The way he said, I've been waiting for you, May. She was there last night. You could have let yourself be killed. Is this the only apothecary in town? It is, but that's not our regular guy. Look, uh, this fat fuck is driving me crazy. It is. That is just. We secure the perimeter and I will confront this imposter. Why don't you just go in there and read his fucking mind? You've already done it twice in the first episode. To yeah, it's true. I don't see why they would just do that. Just read the minds of people. There's no mystery if you you can just read people's minds on a whim. Oh, we skip that. And she just talks to him. You don't need any of this. Neither plan is needed. Just mind read him. Hi, you are suspected yeah. in the poisoning of this person. We yeah. are going to mind read you. Why risk his escape too? I'm in. You did it for the number. There's no reason guy. to do this. This is going to take way longer as well. We will follow your plan, Padawan. It's a good one. No, it's retarded and you're stupid. Just mind read the guy and be done with it. This is a waste. And and for some reason, this was supposed to be a moment of like the younger girl outclasses the, the guy again. Are you ready? Also, now we're giving her a weapon. These fuckers. Yeah, she gets a gun. 
Uh, she's snickering like, oh, behind the that. scene. She's like, "Oh my god, they're giving me a gun!" Oh my god. Yord was. It looked like he just went to bat for her when she could have potentially killed that dude too without seeing it. But then he doesn't want to give her the weapon. So it's uh, it's tough for me to find out. Maybe like, he's, out what uh, he actually here's wants. this piece of cloth I'm gonna wear now. <laughs> now you look evil. <laughs> I, don't, I was about to say I guess that's better than not, like, but I don't even know. Why you dress differently though? Yeah, they can't. They can't yeah, know what she was dressed as. as, right? They said it looked like her, except she had a hood. That is what that little girl said. But, it's, well, I guess hood. it's like a video game. game right? Well, but hoods, yeah, hoods are on all kinds of things. I don't even know what color it was. Yeah. Too. This is so unnecessary. If it goes wrong, it's going to bug me. Completely different. And surely it will immediately be like, why are you acting weird? You're not acting the same. Does evil girl not know her twin is alive? What were we to make of all the forced communication seemingly that was going on, like on the snow planet and there in the temple? Yeah, whether that's yeah. like a vision from the force or whether that's an actual like communication from her, I don't know. Did the poison work? That's it. That's all we need. Let's pull her out. Wait. Wait for what? Isn't that all you need? You can move towards it while listening. Yeah, you, you can, can also you get can more from him just by legs. pulling it out of his head, man. You killed Torben without the poison. He will be so pleased. Go. Oh, okay. No, I used it. I just wanted to thank you. Yeah, see, and he'll be like, wait, that's not like you. Wait, you're <laughs> a twin. Whoa. whoa, 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 wait. Back away. That was just a waste of time. But now they're just going to do what they should have done in the first place. We know you supplied me with the poison that killed Master Tobin. We have your confession. You don't need a confession with the shit you guys have. If you cooperate, we will consider letting you go with a warning. You should. No, that's a lie. Why? Let you that's go with a warning? No God. way. You supplied Absolutely poison no way. to somebody. Well, not only that, but whatever information they get out of him right now, there's plenty more. You should be uh, jailed. In prison for yeah. many, many, Absolutely. many, many years. You gave her poison knowing what she was going to do with it. I mean, he's an, accom yeah. he's an accomplice to poisoning a Jedi Master, that's as far as we know. You're a direct accomplice to poisoning a Jedi, yes. Because may have a master. All I know is that she wants revenge on four Jedi. You have to take him in. You need to know yeah, the names definitely. of those four Jedi, you know, wherever she's gone ever, you need to know anything about it. I feel like that look between them indicates they know exactly who those four Jedi are. You well, know even I mean? still, or right? One of them, right? Uh, 100%. Could be the, yeah, yeah. Could be the last one. The idea that they'd let him go with the warning is insane. Which I don't understand the people guilty. who write this show. By the way, like, do you think um, that's another, another insane writing choice. So what can we expect? That that's going to have good consequences. So that character's going to be needed to do something later that requires yeah. him being free. May is going to kill him, and that's going to be like her dark side coming out. I think that she's going to kill the guy to keep him quiet or whatever. I will confront her. No. I must face her alone. No! <laughs> Why? You Why? Can, you can talk to her one-on-one, -on -one, but have everybody, you know, ready. Yeah, to make the arrest. Yeah. yeah. Or kill her. Probably Actually, fuck it. Her. Just arrest her. Chop off her hands and feet. She killed my family. Let it go. Yeah, just let it go. I couldn't save her when you were children. Let me try now. Arrest her, then try to save her morally. She wants to kill four Jedi. Exposition. Indara, Torben, Kelnaka, and you. She wants to kill you. I like how she had to specifically say she wants to kill you after saying she wants to kill four Jedi and included his name. Yeah. And then still <laughs> had to say she wants to kill you because the mouth breathing retards who like this show were like, oh, <laughs> wow. Just give him Smilo Ren. Know. Where is he? I think we have to wait a little bit longer before he shows up. Maybe Probably, episode yeah. four. That'll be like the halfway point big action. Wait, set are you piece. down on her level? Wait, yeah, that did not look like he was. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was not the not right angle. Up. It's me. She's approaching. Hey! All right, this could be something. Let's see what you got, writers. Go. You killed Indara. Yeah, you'd think that would be enough yeah, to she, just arrest her sucked, at this point. Though, so yeah. Was that like I have weapons? I'm Don't warning move. you. <laughs> oh, let me just Come use on, the force please. please. Yeah. Okay, I am very confused because is the idea that she's trying to actually kill him with her fists and feet? Yeah, she's trying to kick him to death. So why did she clearly used weapons on Trinity? You attack me without a weapon. She They're uses like, knives and poison. When she was talking to that guy that gave her the poison, she said, I will kill one of the four without using a weapon. Oh, that's okay. what she's trying. Maybe snatch his weapon from him. How does how does yeah. that work? That was that was I teleport behind you shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually hoping for a conversation. I didn't really yeah. care about a fight. Um, yeah, yeah, the but fight's gonna it be needs dumb. To be an action scene every episode, all right? Why are you going for weapons now? Well, that wouldn't even matter. She can just use the force. She can grab him from behind and get you. Oh, oh damn it! Your master has failed you. Tell me, who trained you? Just capture it, man. Reply, just use the force and stuff like that. Just use the you do, force. You, do, you can see that with your eyes. You don't yeah, use why like. Is he using <laughs> that? What's going on, Yod? He's always trying to find out who trained me. Oh wow! So she's just hacked into their communications. You can't trust her. It's just arrest it's her. So and annoying, then your mind. It's so annoying, dude. It's so annoying. 
now we've established you can actually control her fully with the force. So she's you're under arrest. And Just we're capture gonna, her for mind. Christ's sake. Capture He's it. even getting in her head. I see your master has taken great pains to hide his identity. Wow, he's way this more powerful sucks, than her. sucks, man. No way she can beat him. Well, and they've got more than one Jedi. <laughs> oh, so she kicked out of the force? Uh, oh, that bad. Your go to your sister. My sister is dead! Oh, she does think she's dead. Oh, she's alive. They both thought the other was dead. That's interesting. You lie! Oh, Lol. not the delivery. <laughs> hey guys, why don't you capture it? Oh. He speaks the truth. I'm on his team though, so I would back up his lie. So this. Yeah, that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> How was she gonna escape this? Oh, no, geez. just grab her. She's yeah, escaping. No way they capture it. No way in a million years. In the name of the galactic son of the Republic. No, something's gonna happen. You are under arrest. Why did they send a child to drive <laughs> <the> <laughs> I'm gonna kick up a dust cloud and it'll be like yeah. a smoke bomb. And smoke I'll bomb, yeah, magician shit. Just grab her with a force. Oh, Why are we you guys standing suck around? ass so much. Just grab her. Just grab her. Do you, you want her to take your hand? Is that what you want That's to do? That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, and there you go. This is actually the dumbest shit lame. ever. I do not lame, care about anything lame, that lame. Consequences? I can't what are those? Think. And so the then they're going to bump stuck. into each other, right? Like the sisters. Yeah, the sisters will have a little moment. I've lost visual. Oh, like, that's oh my it, goodness. Dude, that's How it the fuck from did that you lose visual? Do you not have infrared? They barely spoke, like man. And that's an opportunity to just waste it again. Well, let's monitor the perimeter and make sure there's no ships that leave. And we'll she call in some ran into that guy. <laughs> Let me that's randomly so ran into that oh, person. Oh, oh. <laughs> what the fuck was that editing? <laughs> you retard. Are you okay? Are you okay? She's going to punch him. Yeah, because you like her. She's great. I'm a good person. Fire, do fire, it. fire. Just That's not it. even aiming at her. Do you see it. the way Shoot it was her. like off -centered? Do it. She's evil. You know she's fire, a murderer. Fire, 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 you fire, know fire, she's fire. a murderer. You can stun it, right? It's a stun gun. It's a yeah. stun gun, yeah. A yeah, just of, oh, stun yeah, it. Do it. Stun her. Stun her. Do it. Stun her. Shoot her. Thank you. What? Oh. You miss? How do you miss uh, the. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, she... I thought they were actually gonna do <laughs> How do you miss wow. that? You miss! You miss! Dude! She intentionally missed like four feet. Wide. You reckon she it was intentional? You see her shift the blaster to the up to the left at the last second. But then why did she like, shoot again? Make it pretend she like she was trying to go, stop her. You're a a little on the hook I was gonna say that back. that will be remembered by the yeah. audience. We don't have time for talks, Master Vanestra. Our problem has changed. Would have been funny if she tried to miss, but the fucking you know circle got too big and so it just hit her anyway. We need to strategize. But we know where she's going next. We can strategize using the communication equipment that lets us talk across the galaxy we don't have to be face yeah, to face well here the thing rags it takes five minutes to go there and come back so whatever oh okay <laughs> yeah, yeah, as well. well we will see you soon Star Wars is a tiny tiny world i can't believe i like i hate everyone again it happened it's happening again i hate all of you the incompetence is frustrating oh, oh shit loser. hello and this happened while those who are up there were talking so that they can miss yeah. this isn't this right by the jedi temple that's yeah. where that fat guy is hanging out right yeah. what the fuck i can get us out of this city oh the see this is why he was let go. Then go where? Kofar, a relaxing forest retreat in the Outer Rim, where the Wookiee Jedi lives. He's giving her this information. Oh. Of course, because that's how it works. Can't have consequences if we've got plans for them in the future. Yeah, it because really he's is. not when under this... arrest right now. He just gets to roam free and walk yep. around. He's gone. Come on. Come on. When the story happens, it falls he's apart. He's gone. It just collapses. <laughs> they can't. They can't handle the slightest of pressure. Point oh. Just oh the slightest of pressure. Makes sense. Nothing makes God sense. Damn. Like, because they easily could have arrested him, and she would have had no idea, and still gone to the exactly. meeting later, and still could have confronted him. Well, and she could have killed she the two Jedi guarding him, and that could have actually meant something. Toma Mota on Punch. Hey, I'm Chewbacca's cousin. Oh, look at him go. I mean, I don't expect this to be handled <laughs> well at all, but with a Wookiee with the Force is kind of funny. It is yeah. fun, but it would be bad. I like. Well, he's been the most competent Force user yeah. so far. He instantly <laughs> he's already soared, soared the to the top hand. of the list. Maybe, I mean, he, he broke probably it. will end up being the best character in the show. If he has like five minutes of screen time. Of dialogue, yeah. Probably. Yes, yeah. that will help. The less dialogue, the better. <laughs> 
Well, well, another shit episode. I hate it. I hate everyone uh, involved. The acolyte sucks. I know it's two out of eight, yeah, but I oh, already yeah, can sucks. tell. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can you can it's totally good. tell. Episodes one and two were written by the same people. It has all the same sensibilities. They can't handle fucking anything. They're very obvious in terms of everything they're trying to achieve, and everyone's retarded. It's just like, yay, another one of these they shows. Can't, they can't handle plot, and they don't know how to write characters. Well, I was gonna say, in like, way approaching interesting characters are even worth fucking talking about. I don't even know that they know a lot of these decisions mean a shit ton for each of these characters. They, they don't even recognize it, right? Like how no, incompetent everyone is. It's like, well, I mean, yeah, that that's just got to happen so that the next episode can happen. This yeah. is writing, and the fact that you can tell they're like, what's important about Soul meeting her is that they fight. You get a cool kung fu fight, right? Like that's like their entire the attitude. They have to have an action scene every episode. Andor is the only one that doesn't do that. They could have talked while actioning. They don't realize that an action scene can build character at the same time. And it's not like she refuses to talk. She does talk. They just don't have interesting lines, and they have very few of them. Missed opportunities. So much you if could the do. The writers don't have anything to say. Well, the writers no The way the writers work is that they probably got fucking episode mandates of what uh, information they're allowed to reveal, but they can't think of any interesting ways to lead the audience into all kinds of directions until then. I just there's so much potential that's been wasted. So many different things they could have uh, spruced up, used more. I still can't get over Trinity having fucking, like, three minutes in this whole thing. That's insane. She might be in a flashback in a future episode, whatever, but I'm just yeah, saying. maybe. Every single person is retarded. Yes. Like, a every Jedi, Asha, May, everyone makes decisions that make no rational sense. Given what we know, right? Given everything that we know, none of their decisions actually make any sense. They only I make think sense when you view it backwards from the right it trying yeah. to make their story happen. Why is everyone retarded? Oh, so that they could have this thing. I think have, one of the big ones so the plot can go forward. that um, I think the average person might have just, like, was sort of just been like, eh, it doesn't really matter, but they find her accomplice providing her with the weaponry to kill Jedi Masters, and they go, if you just tell us what a vague plan is, we'll let you go. Like, what? That's absolutely nuts to me. They should As have captured to, him. If you and... cooperate, your punishment will be less severe, but it will be severe. Should have arrested him immediately and done a full yeah. interrogation. Tell us everything about this woman, everything she's ever told you, and maybe you'll be in, like, a, you know, lower level security prison. But absolutely instead, nuts. They've and he's free. Go free. So yeah. they Not only gets to go free, but gets to, to fucking happen. give her information that leads her to an ex-target. Like, nice. Within sight, of uh, two distracted Jedi because they look away for one second and that allows them to link back up and escape and they're like, ah if yes, we did our job of writing. When you rewatch that scene. You just that, that guy to go on his lunch break. That's pretty much all. They show you, it's not even like an interpretation thing. They show you if the fat guy and the other person just glanced. They would have right seen there. him fighting and they, they would have seen the two of them and then gotten them. Peripheral vision, yeah, honestly. you'd think. And I'm not even so sure why, motion. I don't even know why like the writers would care because they just have her win anyway. That's what I mean. I would have thought the scene would be that he's in his shop, those two are guarding it, and she just assassinates them She's, both. And she sneaks in there or something. Or she could at least sneak in from the back. Like, maybe they're standing out in the front. Set like, off some kind of smoke right. bomb and take him and out. Then, and then they... you would explain, it's like, no, you, you have to understand, you have to write it different. The events as they played out don't allow this to happen. You have it's to do something It's two birds of one different. stone. If they had had it so that they said, you two Jedi, lock him down, because we're arresting him, but we just gotta do this mission. Then she goes in to kill him because he's betrayed her, quote unquote, puts a knife to his throat and he says, wait, 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 I know where, you know, blah, blah, blah is. If you get me out of here, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll take you to him. That would have made way more sense. But oh well. I think that when it's all said and done, we are going to have a new king or queen of the worst Star Wars show we've ever seen. You really think? You really think this one will, uh... I don't think we'll reach those steps. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. This you is don't take think over so? Obi-Wan Kenobi? I think it ruined I, That's part of characters. the thing. This uh, show doesn't really have the capacity to upset me in the way that Obi-Wan Kenobi can because I don't care about this era of Star Wars. Don't give a shit. Oh yeah, this yeah. they made they invented all this shit. They're ruining their own stuff. Well, yeah, hundred percent. I I don't necessarily mean like it's gonna piss off so many people in terms of characters they love or like whatever. I more mean at the baseline level of like the worst actual no shit show. In terms of writing production, I wonder. You want to call it. I think this might be it. I wonder if it's even possible for any show to reach the depths of they had a fight and then he just left Darth Vader there, even though he had concluded that his <laughs> friend was dead. He left Darth Vader to continue menacing the galaxy for another ten years. Then again, I mean, there's a lot about this that is like, yeah, I mean, it's just totally subpar. In fact, I don't like saying that. That that implies that it's of higher quality than it is. It's just bad. It's bad. I this think is this a... is more cringe than anything. Yeah. Um, like it has yeah. a very Cringe. It's got a very cringe aura. I think it really is that I just find the idea, like the pitch for this show, really um 
lame. Pointless. I, I, yeah, kind of like they said, we need a show in this era to like legitimize this era as part of Star Wars. Come up with something. Well, we're a fourth of the way through. We're two out of eight finished. What is this show saying? What is it trying to uh, say? It's saying that the Jedi... They're not, not as, as cool as you, as you think, think you there. Are. It's kind of crazy that the, the budget for this, eight 30-minute on average episodes, so we might end up getting like some 25-minute episodes longer down the line. Eight 30-minute episodes is $180 million. How's the Dragon Season 1 was about $20 million per episode, and those for 10 episodes that were an hour plus length. And that shit looked like Phenomenal. incredibly good. There was definitely something wrong with the way that they do it, because basically it was Mando Season 1 and 2. That's it in terms of impressive production values ever even, since even then. those were hit or miss sometimes as well that's true i just don't think the people at the people that are working at disney so marvel and lucasfilm was really what we're talking about the people that are working there i don't think they understand how to make episodic well really movies no. in general but episodic television they don't get it hbo has been making that shit for two decades at a pretty high level doesn't mean everything they make is going to be solid but people understand what it takes people probably understand how to build sets so they can reuse them season to season and like are more efficient that way that's my guess the problem that they seem to have and i've noticed it with a lot of um a lot of bad shows seems to have this problem there can never just be an episode that's pretty straightforward that doesn't have anything too crazy going on but it's laying all of the necessary groundwork for subsequent episodes yeah just a um, it's like executed something foundation. Something big of, has to happen yeah. every episode. And you can see it in a lot of the Disney Star Wars shows and the Marvel shows and a lot of bad shows. Really, Halo has this problem too. Something really big and dramatic has to happen really frequently rather than the much more steady building of tension and drama that you will see in a normal good television show like Breaking Bad, for instance. Think about how far the story's already come in a sense. It's already yeah, been we've, we've had so much information. Of, we've already established what's twins and they've met, and everybody knows who's who, what they've done, and what their history is. Yeah, and we're all waiting and, and for them to give us the fucking history that they're drip-feeding in a very boring way. It was 16 mm, years well, ago, yeah, your whole family died. Episode, right? It was a fiery Either forest that, thing. Or... The Jedi made a, mis a mistake or a decision that they regret and feel guilty for. I'm just like, yeah, 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 yeah. How yeah. long are you going to fucking stretch this out until we get yeah. that one scene where Soul explains everything and he's like we failed we we fucked up we did a thing and you know what in a sense she deserves to kill us <laughs> and i'll be like i'm bored i'm still thinking of that campfire in space from last episode <laughs> that she uses by shooting essentially co2 like a fire extinguisher into uh. in the fucking vacuum of space yeah well bad show but bad show. you know what uh, episode uh, three and praise. four and five and six and seven they may be the good ones right? yeah <laughs> we're just right, getting guys? all the bad stuff out of the way they're yeah. just this is like no way home where they have to ritually sacrifice like the plot and dr strange in order to get like something neat later on it's gonna be great that's what they're yeah. doing here. smilo yeah, ren is gonna be the here. best i can't wait for him to tell us like stories about how he's perfectly motivated personally and ideologically to have a really great uh, sort of role in this story. I can't wait for the scene from the trailer where we see, what is it, like 15 lightsabers light up against him. That's going to be so Yo. fucking cool. It's going to be real hype. I hope the Wookiee's okay. Yeah, So we'll far see. he's the strongest he's character. Okay. So yeah. far he's the strongest character. Yeah, they've character. done, in, they've done impeccable work with dialogue. him. Yeah, so far he's they've done He's had no dialogue work. and he's the only person to use the force in a way that's logical and effective and makes sense. Yeah. He's taken one well, major action, which is someone tried to kill him and he stopped them. So right, really he's force, a 10 out of 10 character. Hopefully he doesn't get dragged down beneath the waves by the rest of the mm. characters. How are you going to kill that motherfucker without a weapon? Uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and why is that even? Why is it even a necessity? To I don't an know. Athlete? Like what a retarded thing. As like, he ignites his fucking lightsaber, lightsaber. Yeah. Remember, he said he's a weapon. He said the, the acolyte kills the dream. Like, <laughs> save the dream. Bye. See you. Goodbye, yeah. everyone. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, she's alive. You liar! Ah, my eye! What'd you bring me? Omnigogs! Ah! A little late for Lenny. Welcome, everyone. Star ah. Wars Acolyte Episode 3, the famous Lord. one. Or the infamous one, I should say. In mere moments, hours 
I've seen everyone sharing their opinions about this. This is the apocalypse for Star Wars now. They've done it. This is it. Again? Yeah. <laughs> it's like the Dang. fifth one, but yeah. nevertheless effective because there's always some other element, some other place to fuck everything up. And we're going like to find out what that is Shady today. Sands, everyone there was like, oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, it's funny you say that in Fallout Season 2. Who knows what they'll fucking nuke next? One thing we've learned, I suppose, with Disney Star Wars is that just when you think they've hit rock bottom, it can always get worse. Oh, yeah. There's uh, always something we, else. I'm reminded of that one ability Unicron had that I can't remember the name <laughs> of from the tournament where it was like recursive Armageddon stuff. That sounds about right for Star Wars right about now. You just spawn Armageddon's at will, why not? Yeah, it's just constantly going back and forth through different apocalypses. It would be even funnier if that was their intended goal, as in, like, they went right in this, like, should we throw an Armageddon episode in? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Who've we got? And it's like, yeah. we haven't fucked up Yoda yet. Ooh, <laughs> let's do that. Ooh, exciting. What a tantalizing prospect. That would be What great. if we made Yoda a cuck? Ooh. <laughs> to be honest, they would probably be like, well, he kind of is in the original trilogy. If you just, and you're just like, oh, God. <laughs> We're just expanding the character in a logical way that makes sense. Yeah, if you just look him through the lens of Yoda... Lens. I like how the response to how bad all of this shit is, all the Disney Star Wars stuff, is always for them to try to tear down the original trilogy or whatever. Yep, it made. We saw that. We saw in the first couple episodes, like you, you guys are pretending like you're Star Wars fans, but you seem to actually hate all of it. Um, <laughs> before Disney took over, that that's weird. That's weird. They're the same people who fucking hated Rise of Skywalker when it came out. They were like, "Hey, you ruined TLJ." It's like, whoa, 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 Star Wars fan, hold on there. You're supposed to like all of this shit, okay? We've heard a lot about this episode like two weeks before the series came out. We heard, you know, episode one and two, they're shit, but three is really where it, it gets as bad as you can imagine. So with all the freaking stuff flying around on social media, I'm looking forward to actually seeing this thing and understanding what the context is. And, you know, it's maybe... It's going to be fascinating uh, to find out what the fuck, what will happen to this episode that set the internet on fire, at least somewhat. Maybe we'll like it. Maybe uh, we'll like it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, uh, yeah. Are you folks ready to begin this adventure? Yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah, go. I'm ready. Woohoo! I love Star Wars. Oh, thank it's goodness, awesome. it's a longer episode. Oh, that was bad, actually. <laughs> oh, it is oh, longer. Oh no, it's 42 minutes. Ugh. Hey, look, it's still not as long as a Halo episode. <laughs> so that's nice. <laughs> oh messy. yay! Face the past, Master Torben. Oh no, old man Youngman. Forgive me. Finally, we can discover. Master Torben's guilt. Was this thing that he picked up like CGI? Because it looked like it didn't quite track on his hand right. Perhaps. Well, that would be really awkward if that was the case. Of all the things is CGI, <laughs> a little bottle of green poison. <laughs> just the, the fucking special effects guys like, we can't make it green, okay? We tried. We just can't. <laughs> Man, I sure hope she didn't miss on purpose. That would she be did. Really yeah, Everything that she does afterward is a little bit on you. <laughs> I wonder if that'll be acknowledged. Probably not. No. Oh, by the time we get to the end, I'm sure uh, Osha will be like, you know, maybe the maybe the Jedi kind of uh, kind of deserved to be. We're gonna have to find out what they did. And fighting. then all the writers pat themselves on the back, like, what? The, look at this brilliant idea we had. What if the Jedi suck? It's what a great idea. Was, they do not have the teeth to manifest anything that could be bad enough for the Jedi to have done to justify the things we've seen. Like a guy killing himself over it? No, I don't buy that either. Well, just lots of things like threatening to kill innocent people in order to distract the Jedi so that she can kill her. That's pretty bad. Oh, how pleasant. It's so idyllic and beautiful. Yeah. She had the same hair back then, too. <laughs> In Her episode hair is not three, changed. we're doing the flashback episode in episode three. Are we going to get the full story now? I don't think so. Sure, it'll be yeah. tragic. I think we will, actually. I think we are going to really? get the full story now that they're doing it, yeah. How oh, much of this episode is going to be flashbacks, you think? Well, I guess it's the whole thing, yeah. Holy shit. Oh, would you the literally just. Ripping the wings off of butterflies. That yeah, the standard. Yeah, like, torturing like animals. Outfit. Come on now. The Bunta tree's so beautiful, but Osha, it's dangerous. You're so beautiful. Acting. That's the poison Ooh. they used in the last episode, right? The tree. Bunta? Really? This is Bunta from my home planet. The Bunta tree's so beautiful. The character just declared well, it was from her home planet, and now we've seen it. And they're like, ah, yes, set up a payoff. Stop! We already felt like it was not subtle at all already, and then they did it even worse. Well, you were oh, doing that subtle? earlier. Theo, they had evil music behind it the second time, so that's how you know it was Ah, bad. right. You wear something different to help other people maybe distinguish the two of you? No. Do you have any semblance of individuality? At this point, it's probably the, the, the like... fucking culture they're a part of forced this on them. I give you you, I give you you, and you give me me. 
And you give me me. Oh, this is the secret handshake thing, yeah. Yeah, the thing they, the vision that they did in the first episode. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? I feel like they would have seen her. Oh my god, Oh, Saul, how what did you, you sneak up without them seeing you? That's really weird wow. that they would Use invisible you. spells. It's oh. a forest with a lot of empty space. A lot of empty space, but oh well. It's the willow forest. He's a Jedi. He, uh, he's in the sneaky trees. like that. Serene music playing. Here's the scenery. The Great Wall. Wow. That's a that's big fucking wall. Big. Yeah, that's really fucking... Holy oh. shit. Wow. That's a feat of engineering. Look at the... See the red they... and the blue moon in the background? Yeah, in the background, the acolyte logo uh, Oh, red for, logo for bad thing. and blue for every good. Every place and then... yeah. looks oh. like it's 80% yeah, this... similar to every other place. This, this place immediately reminds me of the place we were in last episode. Yep. Mm -hmm. They don't have to build too many sets, all right? It's like every single set that they have is just a city with, like, a bazaar where people are selling stuff in, like, yeah. huts. That's this is Star Wars. There's this never, like, an actual do scene. something. Oh, shit. Yeah. Let them have some spice creams. Mama! How come Mama. the streets aren't fucking paved? How come people aren't don't, don't have, like, gadgets and doodads and knickknacks? And everything's just, like, this slightly futuristic D&D &D generic place. Go. Meet me in the common room for your training session. Why'd you say it like that? And give us that look. Any sign of the visiting Jedi? None. Scouts think they've moved their ship inland. Any sign of the visiting Jedi? I told you this planet would be safe haven for our coven. Are they... Oh, even <laughs> her ears for the exposition. Spicy. So the Jedi are on the planet looking for them right now. I feel like, like you guys are fucked. They just show up and... Yeah, they just show up and be like... Well, they've no, got ships. The Can't they not fly and just spot your giant fortress eventually? I've always deferred to you when raising the twins. If you're too lenient, a firm hand is required. Oh, this dialogue just, yeah. is so Expositing transparent. The... So, um, we're doing a rewatch of House of the Dragon to get ready for the second <laughs> season. And it's amazing. We were watching some <laughs> episodes last night. So going from House of the Dragon to this, it's like day and night. All living things are connected by the same thread. Oh shit. Oh god, here we go. Oh, here we go. A thread woven through all of existence. It's a thread, okay. Okay, now work with that idea. What do you mean by it's a thread? Okay. Say so now you try, aren't you? Some call it a force. I claim to use it. Claim? They do. The thread is not a power you wield. You just did it. Well, you, well, you did it's it. clearly a power you fruit. wield. Like. You just did it with the fruit. Pull the thread. Change everything. Pull the thread. What does that everything. mean? This just sounds like what semantics. It ties you to your destiny. What does that mean? For fuck's sake. It ties you to your destiny. And to others, apparently. And, like the force connects us, binds us. It's like, this is just what we Remember call the force. We are. But we're good. We're, we're, we know are you acting best. or doing I something? Just, I'm, I'm amazed that she said, like, some will call it a force and use it like a weapon. They'll claim that. Then she does that. How is this not using it as a weapon? Oh, wait. is it, This is all chicks in here. There's no dudes. This is a lesbian coven of witches, which I suppose makes you wonder how they have children. Are there any other children? <laughs> No. Oh, you're fighting silly girls. Stop being silly. This is like so over the top, like retarded. <laughs> Your enemies will not warn you before they attack you. Oh my goodness. Um, you could have hit their okay. head on the back of the stairs there. Yeah, that was, uh, been very bad. Remember, Dangerous not a there. weapon. Um, not not a force, not a weapon. And Somebody needs to call Child Protective Services or some shit. Wait, wait that looks like walking. a choking motion. What's she doing there? Look proud of herself either way. Excellent, mate. Was it excellent? I don't- what was that? Oh, see, Osha's the nice one. May's the more powerful one, maybe. Freaking. I mean, her force didn't seem that good when she was fighting Trinity. It, it was, like, okay. It was well, fine. I mean, it was pretty- it was really basic kind of stuff. Yeah. But she picks was, up the knives. It was really just basic stuff. all around. There's nothing clever or interesting about it that would lead me to and believe when she that fought been Soul, her whole life. she like didn't stand a chance. Yeah, Soul outclassed her easily on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing that I see leads me to believe that this is something they've trained for their whole life. What is troubling you, Osha? She's nervous about tonight. Oh, look, the next scene is like, yeah. "What is wrong with you? I am <laughs> nervous. Explain to me why you were nervous." Well, you see, it all began. <laughs> She's scared. Let your sister answer. I don't want to do. This. The ascension. Are you What's nervous that? about ascension? I do not want to do ascension. But that's how we become witches. I don't know if I want to be a witch. Ascension is when we become witches. Like, I don't know if I want to be a witch. Come <laughs> what on. What do you think they're trying to get across with this? I don't know. I really what could tell. possibly be happening? Of course you want that. No, 
You want that. Go. Just in case there's an omniscient camera recording this, <laughs> let's explain it so that yeah. whoever's watching can understand what's going on. I don't know. This is the most clever shit I've ever seen. I, you guys, this is peak Star right, no, Wars. Right are we going to have, have a conversation about like why you don't want to be a witch? or The thread tied you together before you were born. Tell her you love her. The thread tied you together before you. I thought it tied all of us. I guess they're included. Yes, in you that. did say that. Is it tied more because they're twins? Maybe. Well, are, are Maybe they, they trying to explain why they had those force visions? You know, like in episode one and episode two. Because they're each other's destinies. Oh. Well, isn't the obvious follow-up to Osha to be like, why don't you want to be a witch? And now we're going off on this random bullshit tangent. It's like, no, 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 tell me. Why Why do you not want to be a witch? What is it about it that you don't want? What would you like to do instead? You think you want something different than life in this coven, but that is because you are young. Wait, what? That is some, you, that is some you, cultist we dialogue know right there. You're just a young retard. You're gonna <laughs> you, be a you don't know better, retard. You, you oh, will, though. The galaxy is not a place that welcomes women like us. Witches who have the abilities we do. It's not a place that welcomes women like us. What are the I witches? Mean, it really? certainly welcomes pe like Jedi who use the Force. So yeah, I, they like them a lot. Is the thing that they're describing actually the Force, or is it some new twist on the Force that they want to? I, I mean, from what we've show. seen, so it looks there, like the Force. there has been like in fan universe content for decades. There's been different groups of force users that of course. call it something different and interpret it a different way and stuff like that, whether it's the death of Miri witches, whether it's the Falanasi. So it's not really a new concept, but... Mm. What are you trying? Stop! Don't look! Then why are you doing it here, you fucking retard? <laughs> yeah, what else are you gonna look at? It's not like there's a TV on or something. I share everything with you and you hide things from me. I share everything with you. And you hide things from me or run off alone? I do yeah, not look. like the duo thing. I want to do everything together all the time. But why? Because we're not the same. Of course we are. No, it feels that way because we're the only children here. They are the only That's children. Fucking, why would it oh. feel that way even? You have a whole planet. Well, they're not allowed outside the walls, apparently. Don't you wonder what could be out there? Everything I need is here. Oh, okay. That was, yeah, I mean, yeah, this is the right. typical, you know, child. I think there's more to life it's than this. It's the moon up there. Know, one, is, one is blue and one is red, like yeah. the logo for the show. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's right. They've been... It's all it's all really very simplistic cute. in that way, right? Like the one of them yearns for something more, the other one wants to conform to this Who culture. Built this? Did the witches build this? It was obvious shit. Oh, this is so lame. Interpretive dance. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 They're really into this. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. <laughs> I don't. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know that when they were doing this, they're like, "Hopefully, it looks great when it's finished." Oh, this looks oh, like they were mistaken because that was really weird. <laughs> why, why are they dancing in front of the bottomless pit? This why looks do like trailer shot of forever. Why do they have a bottomless pit? Mom, well, don't you? Mom, how come they think? <laughs> I, how does, why does the galaxy think we're a bunch of fucking freak weirdos? Do like they do when you buy why a house. One of the features is a bottomless, dug out pit. bottomless <laughs> pit. And how did they get out of the pit after they dug it? Big up, stupid. We were hunted, persecuted, forced into hiding, all because some would consider our power dark, unnatural. Dude, are you? Kidding? Position again. Here we go. We were on the brink of extinction. We were blessed with a miracle. Dude, exposition is oh, so we bad. Of course. Well, you know, if you had some dudes around, you wouldn't have to worry about extinction so much. She might as well just be recording the Coven and you as like you know a video <laughs> the series. The Coven and you. Oh, th th <laughs> this reminds. Yeah. Uh, uh, as part of our ritual, the... we must re-explain our history. I know you all know. I know you all know. But <laughs> we got, we got <laughs> I, to. I just. Remember the ceremony under the eye of Aldani. Come, claim your destiny. She said you could like make your choices, but then it's also everyone's destiny to be doing these things. How do you uh, how do you reconcile that? Give me something interesting. Well, remember the one girl said she doesn't want to be one, but they never addressed it. You can't separate the moons yourself from the thread. To, the moons are about to come together. That must Ooh. be like the timing of this shit. <laughs> Oh my god. See, if I were part of this, I'd be like, oh, are we, are we a cult? We're a cult. We're a weird cult, aren't we? Oh no. <laughs> what the fuck is I just, I, just miss <laughs> I just miss Andor, you know? I'm sorry, but like... <laughs> I miss so Andor a lot. These are the people that hate the Jedi. The Jedi are a lot less weird than you guys. The Jedi accomplished still really weird. Protect the secrets of our coven and continue our legacy. I'm so. like... 
eight or whatever. I don't know if I should be making promises of this magnitude. What is she? What is that? Using the force to give her the the swirly tattoo? It's the yeah. thread, you motherfucker. Oh, her tattoo. I'm sorry. But the other one's gonna <laughs> run away. She's gonna get her tattoo. Do I get yeah, that to choose? one? Was How come CG? mine can't be in the middle like yours? You yeah. Bitch? Why is it so off center? Why'd you do that? Why are you shit at this? Where's hers? I mean, I don't even know if I'd want it in the middle. She should get to choose. Yeah. Can you put it on, like, somewhere else? I... Yeah, she seems totally into this. Yeah. <laughs> Two? Does that count when you're like, I do? Is, is that consent? Yeah. <laughs> Does that yeah. count? They've sliced the platform. They will be here any moment. They've sliced They've the what? platform. The platform? Oh, lol, Wait, they have bows. They, they mean, do they mean slice like computer hack? Oh, yeah, Slicing okay. is a term by the Star Wars universe. Whatever they've done, they've been spotted, so. Oh, are they here? Why do you have bows? Why do you have bows in Star Wars? <laughs> they also look too high-tech for trying well, yeah, to be low-tech bows, you know what I mean? I had some glowing lights on them. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's our lads. Look, Trinity's back. Is Look, we cool? got more yeah. carry-on Look, he's moss. got his hair. <laughs> ah, oh, he looks yeah, actually his age now. <laughs> he looks normal now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so was it just him in makeup to make him look like an old man? Exactly. They, didn't, they, didn't, re really... they didn't recast him even though he had one line. Just recast him, make an older guy. <laughs> this is Tommen from Game of Thrones. It is, yeah. yeah. I am Master Indara, and these are my colleagues. All right, Jedi, what have you got? Colleagues? Yeah, that does feel weird, actually, colleagues. You're trespassing. We thought this planet was uninhabited. Way to de-escalate. Yeah. Yeah. The all-knowing Jedi were ignorant of their surroundings. That's Dude, just a lie. Way to de-escalate. Calm down. I don't even know what the value of lying there was on Trinity's part. Yeah. We mean you and your coven no harm. And yet here you are, unannounced, armed. Yeah, we thought this planet was uninhabited, but we brought four Jedi to stalk yeah. these children. <laughs> That's, nobody's believing that. <laughs> we are concerned. That you are training children. Concerned that you're training children. For you like, to who's... leave. When do we want it? Now. The Republic lost. Brendok is not a part of the Republic. There are no children here. Why would you lie? Just say that we're not part of the Republic. I'm we're actually, not yeah, I'm not clear on what, why lying about that either. Be but like, also, not allowed to train children. Does, does do they mean specifically train them in the ways in of the, the force? magic, Ma magic force? Come out. We won't hurt you. Why would they let them out if they were going to go to the effort and saying they don't even exist? This is not good for you. You lied to them. Well, everyone's yeah. lying to each other and everyone can tell each other's lying. It's really, like, not good. Knowing nothing else, I would trust the Jedi more than I trust these witches right no, now. No, same so far, yeah. But, like, we just need more information. My name is Saul. May we meet your sister. So they know she has okay. a sister already. We're just giving up the ghost. So okay, <laughs> just points. This definitely feels like the writer just gave up on trying to actually have the scene play out in the way that it should. They're just like, oh, no, let's died? just get back at the way we want oh, to no. go. Where is their father? They have no father. No. You see that shit? They have Wait. no father. I've heard that so one. He died. The marking. It wasn't there this morning. You're spying on us. They want to take our children. It wasn't? Why would you say that? That just confirms you were spying on them, dude. <laughs> the Jedi do not take children. Hold your tongue or I cut it out for you. You literally do take children, don't you? It's complicated. Do they get permission? Usually, this is not something the six films really address properly. I would say this is not gonna be... something they want to. Yeah. Yeah. That's always, like, people have always, like, jokingly been like, yeah, the Jedi just weren't on abducting kids and training them without anyone's consent. But it's got more of a meme than anything else. Well, and I think that if anyone actually saw a scene where they just come in, kill everyone, and take the kids, like, that would, that wouldn't be accepted by Star Wars fans, I don't think. Would you like to be tested and see if you could become one? Yes. Fine, go with them. Uh, hello? What? What the fuck? If you want your Padawan returned to his right mind... I suggest you all leave. Um, I will cut your head off. Why I will it, just it, cut it, your head what? off. You, you could attack them now, and you'd, you'd have every yeah, right. Like you. We don't even know what they're doing to him. You cannot deny that Jedi have the right to test potential Padawans. With your permission, of course. With your permission? Wait, it's so just don't give right, them it. It's not a right, then. Then it's not a right. Oh, is that a, yeah, well, how does the right work if it's with your permission? It requires someone's it, permission. It's the right to ask. And they're not yeah. part of the Republic. <laughs> well, in that case, just refuse. They need your permission. <laughs> 
Also, what the fuck was that? I'm. This scene I mean, is this so scene is, fucked it absolutely up. Absolutely confused me. Like, what is going on? So Trinity makes it clear we're here by right to ask you to trade your kids, and then she's clearly anti Jedi, anti even revealing the kids exist. Yet she's now agreed to have them tested. The scouts will bring Osha to your camp at midday. Both girls. Why? Why would yeah? Why would you agree to that? Also, just casually like, torturing one of the Jedi there. I guess maybe in theory they feel like if they denied them that they would come back like and force like maybe if they just say hey we don't want to go with you even after testing they'd feel like they come back and force I don't know. So I just don't really understand how is it going to be better for them to submit them to t testing. One drop of Jedi blood and the Republic would destroy us. There are only four Jedi. Who would miss them? Rest of the Jedi. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Why, are, is, why is one of your advisors a retard? What the fuck? Osha wants to do it. Osha is a child. Oh, but she yeah. can agree but to join the crazy. Yeah, yeah, she's old enough to join <laughs> you guys, but not them. I did not bring the girls into this world so we could lose them to a bunch of deranged monks. It is not your decision. <laughs> That's funny. Deranged monk. <laughs> We're not deranged. Look at us. You guys are deranged. <laughs> yeah. I carried them. I created them. Oh. Oh my God! There oh. it is, bro. This is immaculate force, force yeah, conception the... before Anakin. Before Anakin, before Anakin, two kids as well. Fuck that shit, dude. Who is this hoe? <laughs> Who's the old man? If they pass, the girls leave. So was the permission thing a lie then? Can you not deny them? Even it if they pass like the test. The Aren't they too like old for this? Threat somehow. Aren't they both way too old for this? Even older than the Anakin, The fucking Republic right? felt that Anakin was way too old for uh, Star Up becoming a Jedi. I don't know what they will ask you. Whatever's in your heart, you must say the opposite. Well, this is the High Republic. This is back in the good old days. This is the Deacon fucking Weed Republic. Old They're old too high oh, to Oh, but don't you know, shit. this is gonna explain why Anakin was too old because of what happened here. No one's taking me. The Jedi are bad. The Jedi are good. Oh. Why do you Looks think they're incredible. bad? Why do you think they're good? Why do you think the Jedi are good? This isn't about good or bad. This is about power. This is about power and who is allowed to use it. So are the Ooh. Jedi bad or not then? Who are the Jedi? What I'm confused about is she's not making a good effort to explain to Osha why she shouldn't choose the Jedi. Right now you want to be a Jedi, but as you grow, what you want, it changes, it shifts. How does what she's saying here be reconciled with, yeah, you know, what you might want changes. Anyway, do you want to join this group for the rest of your life unto death? Also, we're, you're surrounded by all these people. There's a chant, there's a ceremony. We dressed you up. Well, no they, peer pressure or anything. They have a strong the aversion to the Jedi. They were hiding from them. Can you tell us why? Yeah, tell us mm. about why you have the perspectives you have. Those silly fucking bows. Because now they've gone to a point That's... where they're submitting their kids to testing from the Jedi. It's like, you guys that... look like you're ready to kill them at one point. Guys, listen, that's going to be the flashback flashback in episode six. You just got to wait for the whole thing. Ugh. I sure hope there isn't another flashback episode. <laughs> it's weird seeing people using bows in a spaceship in like the same... Like, shot, also, you know? what a stupid like, plan. Like a These kids are often shit at lying consistently. You're gonna try and get them to lie to mind readers. You have to lie. Promise me. I promise. Uh, did you break the 180 degree rule there? Or? That looked a bit confusing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was... It, it's well, luckily, they, they look distinctly different, so, you know. <laughs> it's also like... I. I'm usually pretty pretty forgiving when it comes to like, child actors and stuff, but having just so much of both of them... Uh, it's like bad. together is, is distracting for this episode. I'm not impressed with the child acting. Hi. Are, are you a dog? I should have sensed you, but I guess we're done with that. That was quick. Well, that, that you could have done something there. Ow, what are you doing? I was just taking a blood sample. Midichlorians. Uh, how? How? How about fucking telling her you're gonna do that? <laughs> yeah, like, you know when a kid gets shots? Well, I mean, did the Coven people know that? Because coming back to that, be like, they took my blood. He'd be like, what? <laughs> a mountain. Correct. That was an a Wow. <laughs> oh my god. You can't write anything better than that? Did someone tell you to fail this test? Like, we're sorry, you're clearly force sensitive, but you're too retarded to be a but, Jedi. I'm sorry. Yeah. I know she's a kid, but like, come on. <laughs> like I wasn't. Wait a minute. I, was <laughs> I I know that was not the thing I said it was though. Oh shoot! I just revealed I was lying. Oh no! Now we can move on to the next thing that happens. Yep. I was younger than you are. 
when the Jedi tested me. The idea, right, with getting them young is that they don't form emotional bonds with a bunch of family members that you have to tear them from. Isn't that the idea? Which, if you yeah. contextualize that, it sounds a bit creepy, but oh, yeah, yeah. that's the idea. Yeah, <laughs> but Which they did, a, I mean, they did a decent job of in the prequels explaining that, and you kind of see with Anakin why. I found out there were many other children like me. There are other children there? Okay, see, this is getting weird in terms of like, so their parents haven't told them anything outside of their little fortress about like the world. Like, they don't think other children exist? Or... They're not clearly the good guys here at all. The coven seem like a fucking weird-ass psycho cult. Yeah. I want to be a Jedi. Then you must have the courage to tell the truth. The Jedi aren't coming off great necessarily either, which I think is the point of this. I yeah, but I'm just like, the I don't care, get me off this planet. Is how crap the dialogue people. was. Like, it, it made them look stupid and crazy, which is, yeah. I honestly think the Jedi are doing fine. Like, they showed up and immediately got threatened and insulted like three or four times in a row, and then one of their people got tortured. They needed to explain better what the fuck's going on, you know? Yeah, like, what, why... We need a better idea of why the Coven is so opposed to the Jedi. Yeah, we got nothing really on that, really. Like, we can guess and we can theorize, but we need to know why. This is what I mean, I don't buy it. The fact that they're chill enough to let their kids alone on the ship with the Jedi, surrounded by Jedi, but simultaneously, like, the Jedi are the worst. They teach the wrong things and we need to stay away from them. So, like, what's... Jedi that are well known to be able to, like, know when people are lying or not. Yeah, they seriously missed a chunk of this episode explaining almost everything. I told the truth. It was the right thing to do. If only things were so simple, Osha. Have you been lying to us our entire lives? Man used his Jedi mind tricks on her. No, he didn't. Well, I guess he wouldn't his know. His mind tricks told her to say that. <laughs> it's just funny, right? It's like, use the mind trick. No, he didn't. I I want my own life. I don't want to be a witch. What's wrong with you? Oh my god. This is a perfect response to someone not wanting to be a witch. Can you stop being a violent psycho? Bye. Destiny is not decided for you by an anonymous force. It's decided by something. Well, it's, it's decided, decided by, by the thread. thread. I mean, if yeah. we want to get, like, a, is this destination or predestination? Like, at this point, we're splitting hairs. We're splitting threads, if yeah, you she will. Said you get to make a choice, Osha. Oh. Used the word destiny several times earlier. Yeah, yeah. The thread ties you to your destiny. But what the fuck? You well, have to pull I... on the thread if you want to change your destiny, but then it's not even your destiny then, is oh. it? I'll never see you again. You won't. Thank God, if I never get to see you again, I'm fucking- Oh man, great, I'm gonna go see the Jedi. Fear should not make this decision, Osha. You should. I'm scared of you. I, but Fia shouldn't make this decision. It's like, well, what are you not telling me? There are, they said there are thousands of other children like us. Well, How they, come you've been lying to me They seem very life? friendly, very nice, that they want to help me out. They want to take me to other parts of the universe. Tell me why I shouldn't. How could it even be that you grew up to want to be a Jedi in this community, by the way? I don't even How know. They why would they tell her about it? Yeah. Individuality I, from you. I think it, anyone, it could have given a like bounty hunters that came and she would have wanted to leave because she just wants out. You know, that's what it feels like. I must discuss the situation with everyone here, but we will consider your wish when we do so. Which tells you a lot about We yeah, will consider this. your wish mm -hmm. when we discuss it. So they, there's a chance that they say, even though you want to go, we're not going to let you go. We're going to keep you here against your will. That's the other thing about the whole that like, you get to choose. You shouldn't let the force decide. It's like, no, you should let me decide at this point. The culture that you've been born into will decide. How is this better than the Jedi? I don't know. They have interpretive dance. Oh, look, Pokemon. They do have a bottomless pit. No yeah, all three evolutions, Rags, you're right. Yeah, that's right, yeah. She's leaving them. Yeah, the I would take them. Those are pretty great. Those look pretty cool. I'd take them. What a, what a fine, happy time, and nothing will go Did wrong before her... the end of the episode. Why is that the paper that... Why would you make... Pa what? Why is it a triangle? Uh-oh. You can't stop me. Yes, I can. How? I'll kill you. What? <laughs> What, what the, the fuck? fuck? What? That's, what the? F I'll that's kill not you. <laughs> Wait, what's bitch. she doing? Is she? What? Is she locking her in the room? What the fuck? Why yeah, does it why lock on it... the outside? Because that's how they keep them there. Maybe. Yeah, the that's children. how they trap the children. You're <laughs> gonna burn the door? But you this... have all these lights. You have so many lights. That is that's a weird fake light fire. source. Okay. Wow, that was isn't really this all flammable. stone? What's what? What is setting on fire? It's, that's stone. What? The that fuck? is some good fire. Okay, what you know fuck? what? Actually, that's consistent. If you can set fires in space, you can definitely set stone on fire. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. yeah. Why not just walk? She actually oh, tried. Yeah. Like, just mechanic. to be clear, she's actually trying to kill her. It this seems is... like it, which is crazy. Like, what is? Well, I guess what? we were this introduced is to her tearing the wings off of a fucking butterfly. So. But how is this going to be the Jedi's fault? What does then? that have to? 
How is that? I would love to know how this is like the Jedi. How is this happening? The Jedi's fault. <laughs> what? Reminder, what? That, reminder that Torben is going to kill himself over what happens here. He killed himself over a little girl <laughs> set of fire. <laughs> like we'll know this more. More will have something you else. You know, if I had never come there, she never would have set that fire. Well, it could be something else then. Maybe the Jedi. Yeah, maybe they maybe else that cover up or something. Which is screaming. What the fuck is going on up there? Mm. What is going on? Is May the one who is, is killing everybody, or? Oh, what oh the whole the facility fuck? is getting destroyed. How Almost. did you bump into what? each other? What, what is the happening? Fuck is going I'm What's so lost. What is going on? <laughs> Wait, is May destroying the entire yeah. facility? The Master Sepatur? Oh, hey, Sol. And how did he get Why here? are you here? <laughs> What's going on? When and why? Where's Mama? Mama's dead. What has happening? Oh, what they're all dead. Look. Oh, look at all the dead people. What the f Why? Wow. What have you done? What have you done? What have you done? Wait. What have you the killed all of them? What the, what the, the fuck, fuck is, is happening? <laughs> wow, you didn't use the force to you save him, huh? Yeah, that would have been. The force is pretty good. Good, good thing they that. haven't shown us him doing that at all in this show before. Jesus yeah, Christ. <laughs> They were all dead. How did this happen? <laughs> what? Why are they all dead? I don't see what. What? She set a fire that caused like a chain reaction. They were all in that one little no... room. Think... Did they she just die in explosion? explosion? What the Poison? fuck, man? Mama! Mama! Yeah, she's dead too. I'm not. I'm not seeing any blood. I couldn't see any like lightsaber effects. It, they look just like asleep. Yeah, they look, look like they fell asleep. Fires. Look at these shitty little fires. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. What the hell? Yeah. We are definitely getting a uh, second right. flashback episode for sure. What happened? There's a whole gap what? here we yeah. haven't been shown. There's this. We're gonna see the other side of it. Later. Yeah, we'll, oh, we'll, it's we'll, the smiley guy. We've seen Osha's has... side. We haven't seen May's side of it. Yeah. Yeah. God, can you imagine if the next episode is just all flashbacks from May's <laughs> perspective? Oh, Fuck. Man. She's got sleep apnea. <laughs> Torben's got his scar. Oh shit, he does. So that means, yeah, the Jedi did something. Yep. Okay. Yeah, they're not. That would explain why he's there. They ain't telling did us what it is yet, though. Attack the Jedi? Is that what the Council decided? They were going to go and try and attack so the Jedi? So if they find out about them creating children with the Force or something, they probably would try to stop them, right? That Confront them, at least. a little bit fucked up. May started a fire. It destroyed everything. So he's saying May started a fire. That's got to be the lie. How? That's the lie, yeah, that's probably. Gotta... I'm fully convinced that is dis uh, misdirection for the audience. Yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. got to be a lie. Yeah, and he wouldn't feel so much guilt, right? Yeah. Like he said in the first couple episodes, if that's all that happened. I'm guessing the Jedi met with them, and the conversation happened, it got out of hand, and then everyone killed each other. But the Jedi somehow didn't take any casualties, except May one looking scar. really fucking boring so far. You're a trainer, it's my puddle. <laughs> Oh, Man, we gained like nothing for what was 40 fucking for minutes. Me. Yeah. You're going to be okay. Oh, shit. No one's gonna be okay. <laughs> no, you're not. This is all. Everything's going horribly, horribly wrong. You'll never feel like this, okay? You'll never feel like this again. <laughs> and yet, they will but... continue to release episodes making us feel like this again. Oh, it's the nice tree. No, it's not. It's the evil tree. Oh, it is evil. And cause... then there's May. Yeah, evil twin. We survived. Somehow. Somehow. Fall in. Destroy the tree. That's Destroy what I the say, tree. Like, if, if fucking Darth Maul, I always go back to that. When they bring Darth Maul back to life after fucking getting cut in half and falling, like, Darth Maul can survive that. Anyone can survive literally anything in Star Wars. Pretty much. Palpatine, kind of. The double disintegration, I don't think that'll ever be beaten. This is weird music to play for the credits. I feel like it's a bit of a tonal. Yeah, it's like oh, whimsical. It's like, well, what so, just happened? The sounds like whimsical at all, but uh, okay. Didn't her entire family just die in ambiguous <laughs> circumstances. Well, oh, maybe the, the, maybe the movie knows that it's like celebratory think, of all the witches are dead. Thank God. I think Riot might actually be fully spot on. The next two episodes will push the plot forward, and then we'll get episode six as the reverse yeah. flashback. I think so. I think you're right. Yeah, be that. right. Oh my Man, God. This really annoys me with how it was written. Oh yeah. Say. Before even getting into what they've now decided to tell us is true just the way that they gave us the information was so awful it seems like it's written by people who have no appreciation for writing as a craft and i don't mean that just because it's bad it's because there's a severe disinterest in making things 
fit together yeah. of, of like telling a story even or seizing opportunities to make it a little bit more interesting yeah. than presenting it in the most plain way possible characters explaining exactly what they mean and how they feel because that's what we need to achieve in this scene to get everybody caught up a lot of that was just confusing to me that whole conversation between the jedi and those witches was like what was that yeah like every back and forth should have like a reasonable normal person would think that's the wrong thing to say in this situation and when every exchange is like that it, it, it means you have bad writers and it's a problem in hollywood in general i think it's why we're getting so much shit now but a lot of these writers rooms are full of people one that don't know anything about the project they're working on which and if they you're proudly a great, writer, you're a great writer you can learn that and, but specifically leslie headland said she wanted to go out of her way to find marginalized writers and marginalized voices that didn't have a lot of experience when you do that when you start limiting yourself to who can be in the writer's room exclusively based on race or gender or sexuality which is what they're doing you're not going to get the best possible crew in there. Well, especially when you grab people who are like, yeah, I've never even seen Star War. I, I, I don't really know much about it. Specifically as well, using the Jedi meeting up scene for the first time, it feels about three quarters of that scene is spent just doing shit that doesn't matter, establishing whether or not each side has information, and they don't do it in an interesting way. What I guess I'm getting at is, imagine we'd started with, let's be just, let's just be clear, we know you've been running from us, we know you have children, you know what we do when it comes to incredible children with incredible talents that require direction, they require training, whatever words you need to try and match that, and then they can be like, we appreciate the Jedi's position, but um, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, you just broke in here. Just trying to, like, establish a, a baseline, how the both sides feel about the situation, yeah, and then... tell me why the Jedi don't like this. Tell me what they believe will be the result if they allow this to continue. Surely there's protocol by now with dealing with but these like, people. She said, like, it's a really important thing she said when she said we're not part of the Republic. So they're not bound by Republic laws, and if you're operating outside of the Republic... Yeah, we need to account like, for this. That's gotta have a lot of stuff. Like, this is important. You throw these words out oh, there, it's just, but they does mean, she mean Does she mean that they are not actually part of it? Like, they don't belong to it, or that they don't feel that they belong to it, but they're on a planet that's actually, like, part of the jurisdiction of the Republic? It's a thing that basically all the bad Star Wars shows do, which is that they rely on vagueness to essentially get away with doing whatever they want when it comes yeah. to writing, like, when it comes to plot, oh, world I think it's, building, it's like it excuses them from doing harder work as well. You don't have to lay out a bunch of, you know, like laying out a whole set of background information. Take, for example, in probably the Wilder House of the Dragon, George would have been like, I got to figure out whose parents exist and then where their parents are, where their parents were, where their parents were, make sure I know how that line continues just so that when I have this one line in this one scene, you know, it matches the right family name. And this is not me saying he's like the best writer ever. Of course, we have our criticisms of him, but comparing to this where it's just like, we're going to avoid saying anything too definitive that relates too far outside of our story because we don't have to deal with repercussions for it. That is the Dave Filoni approach to storytelling, period. So I guess it's not surprising that's just what Lucasfilm is now in general. But like this situation that they were in with four sensitive children and a family that doesn't want them to be taken away, that should have be commonplace, right? They should be dealing with these types of things all the time. The Jedi have been around for thousands of years. I can't imagine yeah, that every protocol. time they go to a family like that, that they're going to be okay with their kids leaving. This shouldn't come off as some like yeah. crazy situation where you need to go to this next level level of breaking in there and all the shit. They should be used to dealing with situations like it. Earlier in the episode, they make it sound like they're on the run, and then you add that whole, like, the universe doesn't like women like us or whatever. It's like, the, the, this, this, this vague implication is like, do the, have the Jedi hunted you? And like, if that's true, then why wouldn't you immediately be like, get the fuck out of here, we will kill you. Remember they were like, we know the Jedi have landed, but, you know, hopefully we'll be safe here or whatever. It's like, it's just inevitable that they're gonna find you. But they keep not telling me that part of the history. What did the Jedi do to you? Be clear please. Let's run with the theory that the Jedi hunted them down and actually killed them for practicing the Force in a way that they consider a perversion or a disgusting, like, uh, alternate, like, essentially like the Sith. They're like, this is, this is absolutely wrong. And then they escaped, at least this lot, and they found a planet, and they've made their own little settlement, and now the Jedi have found them again. Their reactions don't match that, that history, you know what I mean? They should be terrified slash aggressive, but they're only, like, halfway there. It's weird. Yeah. yeah, because that's really beneficial for making the plot play out the way that they want it to. Because, like, if, if in a Episode six, the Jedi just cut down everyone there. Um, you know what I mean? Like, we're going to be I in just serious don't trouble. They would do well, that if we were to look at this as the first of two episodes. That's going to be the backstory episode. What you have here is, from the show's perspective, essentially the best case that they could argue for the witches, and like a middling case for the Jedi. Which means that the next episode is probably going to be like arguing a really bad case for the Jedi. You know what I mean? It's set yeah, up this... in a way for the Jedi to essentially fail because that's what they want for the story. It's, it's worth pointing out this is probably the pro Jedi flag. 
flashback. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. They're, they're, you would be like, yes, we made the case for them. See how nice Soul is? What a good lad. And then the next episode will be them doing something that ruins everything. And well, then dude, um, about it. It'll be like, Jedi, the, you're pretty shit, aren't you? What's funny is there's like potential to do something interesting. Maybe Osha's version is May talks to uh, Vel, Vel Daka, the uh, Wookiee. Oh, Kel something. Kel Baka. Let's just um, call him Kel Baka. It would be a fun opportunity to, to see her watching her interact with him and it's positive and then in uh, May's version it's a negative one right like he's aggressive or something you know like we've talked about this before in other stories you could play with the nar narrator I'm actually now starting to think because I keep seeing it the lady with the horns uh, what if she's uh, Smiler Ren <laughs> I could believe why, that why not I think, not? Uh, I think that's it? a good guess actually sure. oh, I don't yeah. think it'll be the main lady characters. my guess is it's not the main lady if it was going to be anybody it'll no be, no I yeah. think we saw her dead right but I, I, didn't, well, I don't remember seeing horn lady anywhere even if we didn't see either of them she was presented as I guess the more hostile yeah. of the two towards the Jedi so again another example of how awful the dialogue is right when when May and Osha meet up on the on the bridge that is broken between them <laughs> <laughs> just kill me uh, but there's so many things May should be saying in that scene they both seem to think they're each responsible for something even though May tried to burn her sister to death yeah there's I mean so it should much... be pretty obvious to May that Osha how could she be responsible you locked her in a room and set her on fire well, wait wait what so I, I think when she says like what have you done it's related to if you had just lied to the Jedi they wouldn't have come and killed everybody if but you had just my... done this I wouldn't be forced to have done this yeah I yeah and, and i the way they're getting to it i know yeah. that when we look back on this episode one because what's going to happen right is at some point osha and, and may are going to meet up when they're adults and then osha's going to be like you you bitch you killed you killed everybody you fucked up you burned down my whole place the jedi told me what you did and then she'll be like oh did they is that what they told you? Do you even know Jedi what happened? Lie. And then they we get the yeah, flashback or whatever, so, and it's like, it, it turns out, they're just gonna they, have a big argument and everyone kills each other. They're gonna have to work really hard to get me to believe that Jedi would just go in there and kill everybody to get the kids. And it's something that May should have fucking no told way. her on that bridge. She'd have been like, the Jedi just killed everyone. That's what she would say. Yeah. Remember, one of the first lines we heard from May when Indara said the Jedi don't harm unarmed yeah. people or whatever, she said, yes, you do. So, like, yeah. it has to set up that's that it. obviously the Jedi did something fucked up, and that's why a motherfucker There's wants no... to kill himself. It's gotta be some misunderstanding, or one of the witches gets, like, too crazy or whatever, and then a fight breaks out, and so they defend yeah. themselves. But all the all the witches were, like, in a, like, a dead pile. They were in just, like, one group together. I'm trying to figure out, like, when we reach the end, what were the overarching goals of the writers and I guess Lucasfilm in general when it came to making this show and like what you meant to take away from it because it can't actually be well, you know, the Jedi are pretty shit. That seems like something that they... You know what I mean? Like, how are they going to resolve this storyline? What's it about? What are you meant to learn and take away from it? I guess I find it difficult to believe that they would actually come to the conclusion that the Jedi were just bad. Especially considering how much Disney Star Wars is, like, excessively relying on having Jedi in their media to the exclusion of any other parts of the Star Wars world that they could explore. That they would actually just wholesale come to the conclusion that the Jedi are bad and that May was good. I'm almost um, certain that they'll, the, the show will be like, hey, she, she did some bad things but let's not pretend it wasn't for some reason like the jedi really did fuck up there's been some people i've seen reactions and say this episode destroys the force forever when it comes to the thread stuff throughout the past several decades before disney took over there was a lot of different you know little cults or sects of people that viewed the force in a different way and referred to it as something else and maybe use some different aspects of it that feels to me like what this is with the thread every one of these people is going to feel like their version is the true way to follow it yeah i, but, I can almost dismiss these people as crazy cultists who have no idea what they're talking about. Now they're all um, dead. <laughs> so I mean, the bigger off. thing to me is the uh, Anakin shit, or the Force conception shit. If we are to believe that it was Palpatine slash Palpatine and other entities desperately trying to create the greatest, yeah, Plagueis, Force sort of entity throughout history, and through the Force manipulating it, they do create a form of life, but they had to be incredibly powerful. They only could pull it off once. I would call that not, not as controlled as they probably would like, right? It wasn't in a lab where they could actually it, test on this correct. subject. Correct. And the way the Plagueis novel went into great detail on this entire thing, and it's very interesting because Plagueis is obsessed with midichlorians and, the, and life and things like that, not only becoming immortal, but also being able to create and end life at will. So he's been doing like tons of experimentations over his entire life. Obviously, then Palpatine comes along as well. And as they're doing these things, they're trying to mani manipulate midichlorians. You almost get the sense that the way Anakin was created was not necessarily like intentional by them, but it was the force responding 
to what they were doing, what they were doing, like these kind of very dark manipulations. It was the force responding to that and creating Anakin in kind. And that's why we talk about the chosen one, to be the one to put an end to that, to bring balance to the force after these very dark manipulations. To even say that they intentionally created Anakin like that really isn't yeah, yeah. the well, intention so that's, of the story. That it's so told. casually said in this episode that they created two force-sensitive human beings. There's a reason why you can't just establish that as true. It kind of fucks with how everything works in this universe. There's so much storytelling styles to do with cloning force users. You can't, you, like, it uproots everything. It's like, oh, these guys figured it out in this settlement. They could have just been fucking producing shit tons of force users infinitely if they wanted to. It's like, oh, okay. Guys, what if uh, May and Asha are a dyad uh, that was created by them? Why not? Yeah, sure, why not? They might as well be. Kind they probably are. It. Well, I know how to make our OC special. That has That's what's written all over this. One of my favorite lines, it stuck with me for ages, as you can tell, I kept asking about it, is like, you can't deny the right we have to, you know, address and test potential Padawans. So there's like dot, dot, dot. With permission. With your permission. Yeah. <laughs> like, with your permission, of course. You just be yeah, like, well, at that really point, right. yeah, and, and, and you don't need a right if you're just going to ask permission. You uh, can't deny the right I have to have sex with you <laughs> as long as you give your consent. <laughs> it's so <laughs> fucking strange, about. and it makes the Jedi look stupid. But, of course, like I think this is this is just the beginning, man. The episode where we find out what the Jedi did to these people is going to be so much worse. I just don't imagine so they'll flaccid. handle it well. It needs to be so huge, and it can't be. They don't have the the guts. It doesn't make sense. There would be protocol for this. They would they would send people who are diplomatic. They would probably do things akin to like the concept of a dowry, where it's like we're going to take this person, but we're going to give you like money and stuff in exchange for it. A lot of places that it might not even be an issue because being a Jedi is an incredibly prestigious thing. And for a lot yeah. of these people, being a Jedi means you get you go to Coruscant, you travel a galaxy, you have prestige. You you don't have to worry about food and housing. For a lot of like backwater tribes and small towns and rural areas that's like one of the best things that could ever happen is like oh shit our kid is going to be like completely yeah. taken care of and do great things across the galaxy and like this is what's best for our kid obviously i mean i don't know how deep they want to get into this concept of oh you're never allowed to visit your parents or whatever again i don't know how like they're they're, they're going to treat that because it's kind of the, the whole no attachments thing has just been, it, it's stupid. It's fucking stupid. The whole no attachment thing to it, it is obviously the, the Jedi do have attachments to a lot of different things, to each other, right? And that seems to be fine. The people are fine with that. The problem is when you allow your attachment to someone to override the thing that you're actually supposed to do. To influence like your decisions, right. um, which is, a you know, obviously requires a lot of like in-depth discussion and nuance surrounding it yeah well, yeah th th this is what i mean there's interesting things to explore a lot of people keep doing the um almost the cope of well the prequels have already done all this so how are you saying it doesn't fit and it's like the prequels did not assess the jedi as a, a force that arrive on a planet and kill everybody and steal children this is what i mean like i was always on board with the clone wars um tv show live action i know the the, the meme of like they already had one it was animated i'm just saying like the exploring more so the things you haven't explored yet yeah like not wars. just obi-wan anakin clone wars made by a fucking yeah. retard like Dave Filoni, uh, but an actual story surrounding all of the politics and all of the decision making and a lot of the upper level decisions and all of the things that are going on during the Clone Wars. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with that. I'm annoyed by how there are a lot of really good stories you can tell that analyze and critique the Jedi, mm -hmm. but like, we're never going to get them. Oh. That's the annoying thing. This is not going to be it. It's going to, whatever it is, it's going to be really stupid. It's not going to be when, like a meaningful exploration of uh, the ideology of the Jedi and how it potentially clashes with other people's worldview and like how well does the Jedi deal with more complex, difficult situations. I highly doubt we're going to get it with this show. Oh, fuck no. The well, last and, time and Star Wars not. was willing to do anything like that was the KOTOR games, so... And then you see yeah, the actors they bring in who get to do fuck all, and you see the money they spend, which goes nowhere, and you're like... Ugh. All this on the episode six. stories imaginable. You know how it goes. It's KOTOR raises the interesting question of if people keep falling to the dark side, is there something wrong with the teachings? Is there something wrong with the teachers? Is there why are they why are they choosing the dark side over us? Yes. What is it about oh God, this I would dark kill. side that lures people into it? live action mainline thing that's well written that explores the dark side as people who have an interesting point of view as opposed to strictly about power something more philosophical behind it right yeah like, like maybe it's well, it's, it's more volatile this, but natural path episode uh, she said that it's not about good or evil it's about power our and who's said. allowed to wield Boring. it was the words yeah. that she said this isn't about good or bad this is about power and who is allowed to use it. Which are and not women. Well, she yeah, she also said the scared of us. 
the 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 words she used claim in regards to how the Jedi teach this sort of shit, and it's just like, how dare you My... tickle at the the concept that there's so much more here without actually having the balls to go further? What is her position on the Jedi's teachings? Tell me. My guess as to what she's meaning is that they feel like their interpretation of the thread that they can pull and alter the thread, but ultimately they're kind of like guided by this destiny where the Jedi are like too actively using the force to do whatever they want to do if but that the force makes guides sense them like <laughs> at this entire well, yeah I understand. Well, yeah that's, that's well, it should be and where's that's the, where it should be but you where can even the... argue that during the prequels and that's one of qui-gon's problems with the council that's why he doesn't get along with the council qui-gon feels like the jedi have gotten very detached from listening to the will of the force and allowing it to guide them and rather letting a lot of other things including galactic politics determine what their actions are so that is actually like an interesting thing to get into if they yeah, didn't just we don't, deliver one line and go away we don't hear rational dissenting voices you never hear the why should we listen to the force just because the force wants it quote unquote what does that even mean is it even good are the force's ideas good or bad and when it comes to the coven stuff and it comes to the jedi talking with them the way that where, where's the jedi that says yeah we wield the force to protect peace in the galaxy and we've kept things stable for thousands and thousands of years like why don't you want that and then we'd hear her come back and they'd, yeah. they'd like well, discuss think, um, it you need a you need a fucking dinner I scene come you have everyone's 40 minutes a dinner like, now 40 fucking minutes what, to what use. do the witches do what do they actually do like what's their job like what what do they spend their day doing they weave thread yeah <laughs> And this is the perfect. You know, it's like the you Jedi stuff. actually go out and do stuff. What do they mm -hmm. do? What What is well, it that they do? Are there more the of them outside that, of this fortress? Well, the story that they've created here I thought it was is the last of perfect them. for allowing Jedi to speak to people who either misunderstand the Jedi or understand them and disagree with them. And from like a narrative perspective, because we're an audience watching this, it's an excellent way for you to have exposition that isn't exposition. We can learn about people's point of view, and it isn't just people telling people things they already know. It's actually in like a, a basically like a debate format over what will essentially be the fates of these two twins. Well, the more well, they don't use that, picture the more a... frustrated I am. By Jedi should have been in the in missed potential. Well, the Jedi should have been in the entire episode basically. Agreed. Like it starts with the Jedi landing. And it starts with, oh, the Jedi are talking to Manosha, and then the psychopath witches are talking to Manosha, and then the Jedi, and then the witches, and they go back and forth, and they're kind of like a give and take, a push and pull, and maybe distrust develops, and there's some kind of third party, or somebody's there, or there's a misunderstanding, that, and it's a tragedy. And you don't have to paint either side as being fully good or fully bad, but two respectable, different you know, opinions on the force and the power and what it is and the philosophy of what is or isn't acceptable. And May makes her choice, Osha makes her choice, and they then they split. But we didn't get anything like that. Yeah, like, uh, imagine they, because I completely agree, they should have been here from the beginning. First scene could have been them arriving and they're alerted in the little forest after their stupidly overt scene of, you're nice to the animals, but she's not as nice to the animals. Uh, Which is weird because uh, it was Osha who's the one who was like, Am I going to get a lightsaber too? He's like, hmm. All Imagine right. I, Soul was, was like meant? meditating, and then one of these sister people, which is maybe even Spiked Horn Lady, or maybe someone younger, sort of like scoffs at it as I thought. I was like, look at this fucking idiot thinking, thinking they know about the Force. And then you could have Torbin, right? Because he's a Padawan, so less, arguably less, uh, let's say, wise. You, they could have a back and forth. It's like, you think you. Think you like have a lock on of, of this this whole thing is like well you guys don't you just pretend to and have them explore their actual like both of them being brought up in the respective cultures and how they're clashing and well and what they've been taught about each other you know well consider who would you send on these kinds of missions you'd probably send to the same people over and over who can act as diplomats who can be yeah. charismatic who can do negotiations so let's say soul was that person soul would then be able to engage in a dialogue with these coven people to say we go all around the galaxy and we find groups of people who have their own take on the Force. You are not, in that regard, special. There's many more kinds of people like you, and this is a group and they think this. This is a group and they think that. Your group thinks this. And so he says, look, there's all of these different perspectives. It's not just us versus you. We're a way that is allowing all of this stuff to be unified together into one cohesive and productive force for the, you know, for good in the galaxy. And he's got this perspective of the galaxy is better if we can do this unification instead of this 
random disparate groups who don't understand the Force and don't have the wisdom to be able to handle it, like a bunch of wizards without a Hogwarts or whatever it is. I feel like we're writing a pretty good show here. Well, I, uh, yeah, um, yeah. Well, that's it's it's just it's another Star Wars show, and we you know off the top of our heads come up with ideas, uh, and a lot of this just seems intuitive. Like, well, you don't also, have to think very it, long. It would give you an excuse to care more about these Jedi Masters as well, because Trinity and Soul can share their stories. They can be like, look, stop looking at us like we're crazy sentinel monsters that have come here to capture you. We would just like you. We've lived this life, and we can tell you what it means. And then you can make your choice. You know, give them a... Not in the fucking Rebel Moon style, where they'll sit around a table and explain their backstories one by one, but more so, you know, someone asks. And then they're like, yeah, I came I came from planet blah blah blah, and when they came... Can't Jedi link minds? So a Jedi could be like, hey, Osha, like, I'll show you my experiences. I could just show you what it's like. And the Padawan could do this. He could say, look... I remember when I was here in, in your position, and I was a bit nervous, you know, and my parents were kind of hesitant on it. You know, now they're super proud of me, and I do all these good things, and I can just, like, link my mind with you Vulcan style, and we could use the Force, and you could, like, well, experience some part of, like, what I've gone through, and I'll be, like, proof to you that this is great. Correct me if I'm wrong, Ryan, but is that Disney lore, the mind-reading thing? Why is the Force connecting us? I mean, um, we've already committed to it for this show, so... Well, I know, because well, you can detect feelings. I knew that. Yeah, yeah, you can certainly... So, in the past, decades and decades of Star Wars history, it's not as precise as, like, mind-reading, but you can definitely get a sense, and you you can kind of... General like, what feelings. Luke Skywalker would do it would question people, and he would kind of, like, let their thoughts kind of, like, rise to the surface. And it's not like a word-for-word, word, I know exactly what you're thinking, but he certainly understands mm -hmm. the feelings and the, the gist of what people are, well, like are when thinking or lying about or whatever. The most specific Vader gets from Luke in Return of the Jedi is sister, right? He gets a general sense that that's what Luke is thinking about. But they've yeah, gotten yeah. it now so that people can just straight up read minds and see images. And and, and a lot of that's going to depend too, similar to what we saw with Watto or in Jabba's palace. There's different people, there's different species that yeah. make it more difficult for Jedi to have that type of effect or to even get any sense. There's like this consistent effort to denigrate the mysticism of the Force and turn it more into like a really generic superpower kind of thing. And anything that attaches it to some sort of wider philosophical framework or set of concepts that come together even very loosely and in a Instead very Instead of a field way, of like, study that people yeah. know. Almost like it would you get this in Pathfinder and Dungeons and Dragons, you get it in like Harry Potter. You get it in all sorts of things. You get it in Dune and all sorts of stuff. When you have like a magic system, people learn that shit. And so they discover the rules about it. There are ways of teaching it. There's a way of investigating it. It has it, it. It essentially becomes, ironically enough, not magic, and it kind of turns into a separate supernatural science in quotes. And so this idea that it's very wibbly wobbly, it can do whatever. These sorts of things kind of phase out of the general perception of these studies as time goes on, and it becomes just general knowledge that yeah. This is just a force that exists in the world. You can study it. You can learn about it. It's predictable to a degree, and you can increase your power and knowledge in it. And you can go to these places of learning in schools where they devote themselves to its study. Or you can fucking make people with it, I guess, on this weird planet. Who knows? I guess just, there's some just elements for that. factory style. Get them out there. Multiply. Get your get your team going, because uh, you're dwindling in numbers. In fact, you're all gone now. <laughs> Except maybe Smilo Ren, who, as we know from the trailer, is going to take on, what, like 20 Jedi at once at some point? That's going to make I a lot of sense. I think that's next episode. Jesus. That would be my guess. Usually the halfway point, there'll be some big crazy action scene. So if you guys had a bet right now, if it's just one of the people we've seen on screen, who is Smilo Ren? Horn Lady is what my best guess. Yeah, lady. I agree. I agree. Horn Lady. Yeah, obviously we were thinking a lot about the guy in the apothecary last episode because he was like... I can buy that too. interesting things that he knew, but and he also was able to overpower May and, you know, just kind of the way he was acting a little bit that they conveniently didn't decide to read his mind, all that shit. And I, I think, I think like, they would be proud of themselves too because they would be like, look, he seemed like a weak little cuck man, but now he's actually the main villain. Oh, isn't that crazy? Like, now that we know May is alive, I, like, all you see are these witches in a fucking pile. I think that any of them could still potentially be alive and just knocked out. I wouldn't put it past them to have 
what is it, Anasea, the lead black lady, whatever her name is. Yeah, it I could be I, her, would, yeah. I wouldn't be shocked if it was her either. I think the only thing that I think my brain is connecting that's not really worth connecting is, oh, she wears a mask to hide the fact that she's got horns or something. It's, it's the like, horn lady. I, I, but... I think it's the horn lady. They tried to show her to be a bit more hardline and aggressive, so maybe that's being channeled into, like, revenge. Like, she also, seems like she'd want to take revenge or whatever. What you're pointing out there is genuinely where we should draw theories from because they're not subtle in this. They don't know how to be. They also very specifically want to subvert expectations. They, they've come out and said that, so I guess we'll see. We, well, the we funny thing be, is, we could be all... reading into what we're supposed to, or we could be. They're maybe they're just intentionally trying to not let us know. No, I, I agree with you. They're not subtle with distractions either. Like the stone room setting on fire was just to give us for a few episodes the belief that May set everything on fire. I Though, think that Master Torben feels bad now because he actually set sixteen little tiny fires all around <laughs> um, that resulted in the death of twenty people. 16 people. Well, is it going to be or is it going to be that like people. when their misunderstanding happens he ignites his lightsaber and it hits like I don't know some fuel line that yeah, detonates yeah. a big reactor. It'll be something like that probably. I think they're going with a misunderstanding because there's no way that Someone will do something it might even be like a Disney mandate to be like you can't show the Jedi as psychopathic murderers. You just we're not going to let you do that in this show. We have a vested interest in the Jedi being kind of cool. Well, but at that point Torben shouldn't have killed himself. Yeah, they, they, they should just be... can't make the situation messy enough to justify that. Maybe there's a misunderstanding about the misunderstanding. It's layers. We got to do layers. That's all you have to do. The misunderstanding has a misunderstanding. I suppose uh, speculation right. is kind of pointless because we don't know what the fuck they're going to get up to. We'll just have to wait until next time. I'm reminded of Arcane, I guess, because it's in all of the <laughs> you know marketing right now. But I'm reminded of Jace and all of the pretty inarguably bad shit he ends up doing in the pursuit of doing the right thing. That's the sort of thing they seem to be trying to angle for. But I don't believe in. Disney Star Wars to have We any know teeth, nothing so. about Torben. Nothing. Yeah. I say that as if we know so much about Soul, but really we don't. He's just guilty. He's sad. He's guilty. That is his and character. Friendly. Because, you know, to make fun of him and summarize him would be like, yeah, he feels bad about some history that happened. It's like, but there isn't anything else. What else is there? It's the actor. It's the only thing you've got mm -hmm. to actually feel like there's more happening. And it would be like, you're only three episodes in. It's like, that's fucking 40, 40, 40. You could do a lot with that, or 40, 30, 40, whatever. Three episodes it's a movie. a short amount of time. Yep. It, that, that's a fucking movie right there. Mm -hmm. It's so painful. And it, and it only cost them, uh, what, $70 million so far? <laughs> uh, all right, that's it. Acolyte episode three. It was awful. Bye. Acolyte episode three. <laughs> yeah, horse shit, bye terrible bye. garbage. See bye. everybody. Bye. Hope bye -bye. you got enjoyment when we didn't. I think they probably did. Just a little bit. We're going to kill ourselves like Master Torben when it's all Woo! done. We're going to take CGI poison. Green poison for and everybody. And then we're going to be like, oh, wait, this isn't real. I don't actually die. I guess we're not going to find anything. Uh, how are we going to get out of here? We'll dig our way out. Come on, now dig up, stupid. What'd you bring me? Hello, everybody. Welcome to EFAP Episode TV Acolyte 4. Yeah. Oh, what can you say, right? It's like post-apocalypse now. We're trudging through the wastelands because that explosion in the prior episode that everyone has uh, recovered from, everyone's like, what could Ford do to ever compete? But I guess we're here to find out today. As we've said so many times, it can't possibly get worse, <laughs> right? There is no I'm way. Just, um, yeah, I'm just kind of in the mood of just, just give it to me. I just find it interesting how the show is continually kicking up a stink at this point, like every <laughs> episode, every week. <laughs> it's just got if, people upset. If the landscape of media releases was a room, every time you go in, you you just you like you go, and you're like, what, is, what does that smell? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you do a little spray. It's actually, it's actually that Family Guy joke. It's except Peter Griffin is the acolyte, and the other guy is you. You smell fart, and acolyte says it was you that farted. Ha. <laughs> ah. It was you. <laughs> uh, it was you. <laughs> On that note, I don't know what would be a better way to begin. When do you think Smilo Ren is going to show up in like the opening Star Wars thing? You know, like the flash of all the characters. When do you think? Oh, this Smiler show. Renan? It'll be this show. Had he already, I wouldn't have been surprised. Like I haven't, just, I just haven't been watching those. I don't think I've noticed him yet. I'm excited for him to yeah. join the the hallowed halls of the Star Wars. Yeah. The hallowed halls of the Sig. 
He's in good company. Do you remember that, Ryan? There was a sink at one point in the opening. Yes, there was. A sink? Yeah, it's on yeah, screen right now. There was Jedi a sink. Jedi are good. They actually put that in the previous Leon. That's we so never funny. understood it. We've referenced it many times. The sink just turned up, and we were like, why the fuck is there a sink? It's comment, a hidden secret co message. Comment in our web zone to tell us why there was a sink. <laughs> Call for a relaxing forest retreat. Oh god, this story is so wank, isn't it? And what I mean by that, of course, isn't just the way they tell it, but what it is. A relaxing forest <laughs> retreat. Are you, you mean like a just a forest? Come on, Smiler Ren. Oh, nope, Come on. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. No, 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 yet. Oh, not yet. Maybe we. Are, no, I will actually gone. start rooting for the return of the sink. <laughs> it's so funny how they just the start sink? every show by just flash banging you with brand iconography. <laughs> yeah, it's the great. Sink is right, my right. character. Remember all these things we ruined? Here like, you go. I love when they replaced the DreamWorks one with just "Hey, look, boss baby." Yeah, well, isn't it funny? You can trace it all back to Marvel started off with the comics flipping by, which is so yeah. to me so much more genuine as to why you have a thing oh, like yeah. that. Oh, hopefully that this entire true. episode's a POV of Kelnaka or whatever. Well, finally we get some Kelnaka content, yeah. Uh, it'd be good if it was a final episode for, for this Wookiee, just seeing him go about his daily life. Meeting his friends and maybe playing poker. Like, how oh, does, does he jerk he off with those claws? Oh, look, he's fingers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he has the force. You're joking it looks like me. It looks like the thread, right? <laughs> like the, the tattoo that they had? I was actually no, about to say, was that drawn by fucking one of the kids or something when they were kids? The, the, the May? Or... The old grass stew. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> I love grass stew. Like... I love my nice grass souffle. souffle. Oh, what? That's I'll... already it. Okay. That's it. Do you, do you guys yeah. grill your grass or do you like. Uh, do <laughs> I wasn't you, even a scene. Like, I was just. It? I tend to boil it. Keep each movement tight, yet subtle. What does that mean? You say tight and subtle. Diminish areas of vulnerability. How do I do that? Can you explain to me how that's done? So they're back on Coruscant now. Asha's back on Coruscant. Maximize your defenses without need to strike. Finally. How do I do that? I thought that Soul was in a rush to get to the next place. I know he got told to come back, but like, come back and... Even yeah, now they're doing training? Do some training. How in any way would this help? I feel like this is just choreography. It's like the Black Widows in so Black Widow. They just like do these weird dance routines. Why are they training with sticks, by the way? Isn't that going to get them a wrong sense of balance for the well, weapons? There's, well, they're weight, sword like yeah. weapons. A lot of the training regiments would be like with real weapons, and then they would kind of, you perfect those, and you move to practicing with a saber and stuff like that. Thank you for helping me find my sister, prove my innocence, clear my name. Dude, yeah. they're doing it again. They're telling us things we already know. And thanks to you, I've seen her with my own eyes, even if I failed to stop her. That are over about the characters. We already know all of this, that how you feel about these things, so oh I'm- Oh god. It's a little bit weird to be super appreciative to Jackie specifically. Don't tell me you'll miss me. <laughs> well, because make sure you never up. change your haircut, ever, so there's no confusion. <laughs> yeah. And don't gain weight or lose weight. You care about me. You mourn the years lost between the two of you. Someone must find me before she does any more harm. Are they supposed to be, like, coding this as, like, <laughs> like they've got something going on? Surely not. They they barely even spoke. Next time I'm on Coruscant, though, I'll look you up. And we'll go to a cantina and trade stories about Master Soul. They seem to be close now. Her years at the Have Jedi Temple over? taking instruction yeah. is just <laughs> not going to be a part of the show, perhaps. Unless it'll be another flashback for later. In which case, we'll probably not learn anything new, but we will be reminded of things we were mildly told before. It would just be really funny if they were like, you know, it's crazy, it's been years since uh, Master Torben died. And we're like, wait, what? <laughs> like, that that it, it, it feels like a significant amount of time has passed, like, for them to have that conversation on Coruscant. I don't even think we achieved anything with that one, but they really wanted us to know that those two have, I guess, developed a I mean, strong friendship. it was just... I'm leaving. Okay, let me recap the story yeah. so far. Which is like, your story is like fucking an hour and a half. We haven't forgotten. So the most of it was flashback. They brought out these three big black bins and then took the things from those bins and <laughs> put them to their bags and then took those bags and they're going to take them out with them. Why not just fill up the Dude. the bags from the ship? Why did you bring the black boxes out? They Why can't the fuck help would themselves. You do that? Like, do you understand how there's no logic in anything that anybody does? I wouldn't just take off if I were you. I know bounty hunters won't set foot in these forests. Well, right, and speaking of, he just said, don't walk off alone. This place is dangerous. There are bounty hunters who wouldn't even come here. It's like, what do you mean? Surely she's coming with you. You went in there and risked your life for my master? No, I risked my life to help you. Does he know where the Wookiee guy is, like on the that's planet? What, they know that's he what is. he said. That's what he said, yeah. You found Kelnaka. So he knows exactly where he is on this uncharted planet. Kofar is massively uncharted. How?
How does he even know where he is? <laughs> Your sister being alive doesn't change anything. There's three hours of sunlight left. Hold up, if there's three hours of sunlight, then why not just stay in orbit until morning and, and then the, land? Yeah, exactly. And then you have a whole day to do wiki stuff. See, see what wiki I mean? Stuff. It happened again, where everyone's doing something <laughs> stupid. Who made this bridge? <laughs> Joe oh, Wookie. Kelnaka. Yeah, um, it's like yin and yang. Well, but like, you know, yeah. like he said, you know, way don't go, just don't just go off as if she was going to just leave without him or something when... There he is. There he is. <laughs> like it's just fun. funny. It's funny. <laughs> How did they make <laughs> this him. mistake? There is skill there. Yes. Someone has trained her. I haven't got the exact numbers, but I'm pretty sure Kiadi Mundi should be negative 30 to 40 years old right now. Yeah, Kiadi Mundi was not born at this time <laughs> period yet, but he looks like a middle aged man right here. Yeah, he this looks pretty Kiyadi old. Kiadi Mundi <laughs> Sr. This is his father. Unfortunately, he's credited the properly. An apprentice who doesn't know their master. Could this be a splinter order? Was the conversation, well, Yoda would be too obvious, so let's pick someone who wouldn't be obvious, like someone who shouldn't even be alive. She killed two Jedi Masters. <laughs> they put their name or, in their or, the, <laughs> or the person, like video or, game. The, or the person who very famously said in episode one, It was a Sith Lord. Impossible. The Sith have been extinct for a millennium. What a what a blunder. Yeah. <laughs> you think a Jedi taught her? Even a hologram can tell me that. Or an intentional, like, put him in there to cover up, like, make him be part of the cover-up, even when he's on the Jedi Council years later. We must alert the High Council. The High Council would be obliged to inform the Senate. A scandal like this would inspire fear and mistrust. Wait, is the High Council... Would that be Yoda? They, yeah, they'd that be, would be they mean the Jedi, Jedi Council. Council right? Why, why yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah. wouldn't they... I thought she was, like, one of the most powerful people. Isn't she on the High Council? We don't know. Apparently not. Master Holden, extract Kalnaka from his post on Kofar and intercept me. Because huh. they'd be required to inform the Senate. This bitch is all about making Why? sure the Jedi don't look bad. Why didn't you tell me there was a chance this poor girl survived? If I thought there was, of course I would have. But she fell into a pit in a Disney production. The nature of this procedure, like like the way they usually run this, I don't understand why they do it this way. It's just more complicated and probably will have worse results. Like we can't let this get out. It's what? like, bro, everyone knows. Your personal connection with her and her sister is not a benefit here. Two Jedi Masters have died. Several randoms from the planets that they're involved in? No. Yeah. I fear May is only a small part of her master's larger plan. You know what, when the Jedi Masters actually do find out who are on the council, will they not be like, oh, this was sabotage and mutiny, essentially? She made the call that they shouldn't know, and that the Yeah, Senate which is fucked up. Know. And she's done this officially in the buildings they operate in. Mm-hmm. But what were they doing yeah. there with Kiari Mundi? In kind front of, of other people. Going, like, hmm, yeah, looking what's a bit up? shifty. If she resists arrest and Holden neutralizes her... It won't come to that. Then the whole master will truly be lost to us. Yeah, j just want to make sure you realize that this character is Kiari Mundi. Like, let's just <laughs> if it does show a couple random that? shots of him. She will not surrender without getting something in return. Do we have something she wants? Yeah, Soul should guess. say... You should send me to do it, because I can just stun lock her with the Force. Well, I mean, <laughs> at, the, at this point, it's getting pretty embarrassing, right? They should have defeated her several times. They're not allowed to, though. How do you kill a Jedi without a weapon? It has to be some sort of test, right? Hey, look, they're explaining mm. it. No, she's not going to say anything. I'm just curious how you're going to do it this time. You, you failed so much. <laughs> I killed Indara, and I killed Torben. You didn't kill Torben. You have to kill the Wookiee without a weapon. Oh, that's a real place. It makes me wonder if, like, they went to, like, an actual hillside and just walked around. Because I know Disney won't go to a forest, just a normal forest, so... Can't believe my sister's Jedi scum. I can't believe my sister's Jedi out. scum. It's like, yeah, yeah, you couldn't, you couldn't, we couldn't do anything better than that. She seemed really fond of that one Jedi master. What was his name again? Soul? Dude, are you serious? Hey, Doesn't how much they like, don't really talk like people. You? The people who write this are bizarre aliens. They don't understand how people converse. The inquisitiveness oh, back. of the human mind. It's the writing equivalent of the bored teenager at, like, the supermarket, you know. Yeah, well, I would do that if I had the tools pit, but I don't have those, all right? I'm so tired of these cute little fucking droids or animals that they have to give to all these fucking people for companions. Well, no, they never really amount to much, do they? Other than, you are my little droid. Say hi to the audience. They, they become an important plot element for one single scene that lets them, like, escape or something. And other than that, they're useless. They, they just want to sell toys. You want me to rejoin the Jedi? Not officially. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that's funny. You want me to rejoin the Jedi? No. 
<laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's fine. Also, what the fuck? She said goodbye to Jackie, but not to Soul. She said she'd caused him enough trouble, as if uh-huh. goodbye is more trouble. <laughs> what about the other one? Um, Yord. Isn't the Yord Horde. Didn't she used to be friends with him or whatever? Seems like it, yeah. If you come, they will allow us both to go. Why are you wearing gloves? We're just re- we're doing we're just carrying on the plot line. It, like we're getting the band back together to go and hunt down May again. It's like that's what we were doing. It's like the, the group only disbanded like five minutes ago. Uh, yeah, this is yeah, what I mean. It's yeah, like this is all just you're de- delaying. This is just like, taking oh, forever. She said there is still good in her. The part of her that loves you. She's a murderer. How oh, does that work she... from a Jedi perspective? There is good in her in that she loves you in her attachment to you. But Osha just said, "Oh, she's a murderer. You can't be easy on her." But like, bitch, you let her go. Yeah. So you, it was yeah. you didn't. You didn't shoot her. You let her live. Or it is that she just missed? Like, did she actually just missed? <laughs> Point blank. Range. She didn't miss. It was intentional. It was intentional. <laughs> sure. No. If she said in this episode, "I can't believe I missed," I guess you still would believe it, right? Oh, hi. What's we the got point of the gloves? Uh, Why do people wear gloves? What? It is an article of clothing. Why do you wear clothes? Obviously, because there's no social stigma against exposing one's bare hands. It's obvious that my hands are cold. Why can't you infer that? Why do I see the question in chat? I get the impression a lot of these Jedi aren't gonna like make it to the end of the season. <laughs> We're gonna oh, look crash at this. or something. There's a space gopher. No, no, no. It'll be that when they fight Smilo Ren, he'll kill all of the no name oh, characters. Right. <laughs> What wow, the why? fuck? Why would you do that? Rude. Was that water or was that like acid? Are we really <laughs> spending runtime on this? Yes, the episode is really long. You see, oh wait, no, we're nearly halfway through. What's that? That's Basil. It's Basil. Brazil? Is he or they with us? It's so obviously he or coded they. to like insert non binary esque <laughs> type of language into this shit. He or they. It would be prompted for he or she. That's what everyone always says about a creature that can't tell the gender of. That's You're either one. a man or a they. <laughs> you can't be a she. Uh, what an incredibly based move from Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Man, nothing's happened. Nothing they has just happened. landed. Nothing has happened, but it's very expensive. Nothing. It's like a million oh, dollars. Oh, like two minutes. Hold on. This... Big and hairy. There is no way they're setting this shit up for we them to like be there at the same time as the other people, right? Yeah. Be- because they, th- you have to imagine that guy who could be Smile or Ren and May went there immediately after their last place. You're gonna need to hand that blaster over. Yeah, These motherfuckers went all the way, way back ahead. to Coruscant, hung out for a couple days. You're not telling me that they're gonna be like hot on their trail after this. No way. So- I'm going to have to insist that you hand it over. <laughs> We almost had some conflict yeah. where she had a blaster and he's like, you can't have that, that's Jedi property. Also, you're here with us, you should hand it over. And then we've just dropped that. To be honest with you though, Rags, I don't even know that you should take issue with it. She had it before, it worked out pretty okay, and she's been cleared now. Like, why does he care I guess that she she's, has it? Because we didn't talk about her letting the guy go, or how yeah, she could have possibly... No, yeah, we didn't do that, and we don't know what these guys' opinion is of her, even after we know she's a good guy now. The locals say he ventured off into the forest and never came back. How do we find him? We have a tracker. Sorry, what? Okay, why can't we find Kelnaka with the Jedi by sensing his like abilities and, and his? Are using life science scanners we... like we know exist in and this universe? What's the suggestion here that they just had a Kelnaka rag? From a, he hasn't been seen in a year, and they had a Kelnaka oh, rag. Was it, yeah. what, what, we saved this man, rag bro. from when we saw him a year like, ago. He, what? I like. I, I am actually genuinely like, what the fuck are you trying to tell me that you guys collect rags from all the different Jedi uh, in case they go missing? You give it to Gophers? I'm also confused about time because the other guys only. Have had three hours of daylight left. They're here in it's daytime. Is this the same time or the next day? Or I'm going before. to assume it's the same day. <laughs> My guess is the same day too, even though I don't see why. I have no do. fucking idea how that could work out. But if it comes to it and she doesn't listen to me, you need to stop her. Well, yeah. We'll just stun lock her with the force. They've got so many Jedi. Only one of them was needed to stop her. Can't hesitate a second time. I can't hesitate a second time. Like, you mean you let her Oh, go. so she wanna... didn't miss. Oh, she yeah, hesitated. Yeah. Why isn't the other guy saying hesitate? He said hesitated, but that's a lie. Why isn't he? Do what do you mean a second what? time? Yes, I think it is meant to be happening at the same time. This is so fucking stupid. Like, the timeline is fucked again. These guys went straight there. 
the Jedi went back to Coruscant, did some training for a bit, and then and came. then flew all the way out here. Does Coruscant so they should be way ahead beyond time. You can just phase in there whenever. <laughs> Coruscant's Man. like the TVA. Coruscant's just a mm. concept. It's not a place. Yeah, these two should have met the guy and then done their thing and then left way before the Jedi like days arrived. ago. One way you could try and justify would be stupid is that these guys are wandering around for ages because they have no way of finding Kilnaka. Meanwhile, the Jedi know exactly where he is. Apparently, but they only had three hours just... of daylight left, so they put a time on. That's it. Rubs, they, it bit, doesn't. A little please. bit thrown for a loop by the plan here. Both teams have just decided we're going to go and amble around in the forest. Yeah, to find for some reason. Demon. Well, they've got well, they've him got tracking. A tracker. But why do they need a tracker? He's a Jedi. Can none of them sense him. Well, yeah, Force users can sense each other. <laughs> He says there's something wrong here, something rotten. This is the second time they've had an alien species speak in their language, and it's just like random growls. It's not like actual words or inflections or like grammar or anything. You're gonna it's gonna get just a big word? monster random encounter. Like that's a word. To like pad more runtime and get our action scene in. She just makes noises. Oh, sure. Jeez. Probably shouldn't touch that no yeah, go to alien what... planets and touch everything with your bare hands oh no oh, it's who actually could have seen this yeah, oh no the it's a little encounter. yeah remember how there was something there a well you could do ago, like a um... fucking gone you want to say something if, if you want to do a random encounter like this at least have someone do something for someone that's how you make use yeah. of it right have you a character say moment. anything no not yet so there you go <laughs> <laughs> that look of slight concern. Maybe you grab your blaster? Yeah, she has it for a reason, right? I have it. You have it? What makes you think it's gonna fly? It? Why, okay, it, why would it fly at you? All right. All right. Why would it fly? It's attracted to light. It went straight for the saber. Attracted to light. <laughs> they had to uh, explain it straight will, away. Oh, that will be relevant at some point. And how later. do you know that? It It'll went for the saber. Soon. It's attracted to light. It flew it a lightsaber. Also, if that thing's dumb? flying at the guy behind me, I'm diving out of the way. Just, I'm running. I'm not like, oh, it, it's just passing me by by like two feet. I can stand right where I am. I also love that that thing was born right when they were there, and it almost kind of did some serious immediately damage. sprouted wings. And, yeah. and they're all just like, well, anyway, and it's like we're surrounded by these things. By the way, it's like, eh. yeah, what's the point of what was the whole point? Is that a setup for them escaping? Later, there's a whole that it was attracted to light, and they'll use that lighter. Somehow that'll come up, yeah. I was able to sense that creature. What is? <laughs> but I disturbed it, and now it's dead. I disturbed <laughs> it, and now it's dead. I was able to sense that creature. Uh, yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't have fucking touched it. It's, it's always an honor to get to witness anything or anyone transform into the force. It's an honor to it, transform into the force. Uh, is this how she uh, conceptualizes death on in every case? I couldn't accept what I'd lost. How unfair it felt. The resentment that I felt for my sister. Please explain your feelings to us. Odd. Even though I, I missed her at the same time. Oh my. Uh, you miss your sister. Thank you. Let's Why? move on. I'm sorry. When did They're this just... happen? When did these two become the relationship? When not defined by what we lose, we're defined by what we survive. In Abject disinterest for writing is so fucking obnoxious. It's so blatant, it may as well be a person on a chair talking to us directly to the episode going, I have some ideas. First, these two, they're friends now. And you're like, yeah. Uh huh. She said something like the "You're not defined by what you lose, but by what you survive." There's probably a context where that could actually be meaningful. Probably ten minutes south of here. You can't stop now. Was your plan to just run down the Wookiee and end up fully exhausted by the time you get there? Well, that's like, why she's. What? That's why she said she wants to rest, and he's like, "It is a problem that you're resting." I'd like to rest for a minute, if that's all right with you. It's not, but. Okay. Maybe if you weren't wearing that ridiculous fucking outfit, the one outfit that you have, running around in the jungle when it's probably super hot, you wouldn't be so tired. You will kill a Jedi without a weapon. Attacking a defenseless person goes against everything the Jedi stands for. This guy's wearing like a cloak. He's got to be that, sweating buckets under is, there. Is that chainmail? Yeah. <laughs> Don't you wear chainmail on your journeys to the jungle? You're going to fight <laughs> Jedi, my friend. Chainmail helps to do that stuff. You ever hear about samurai? I want this more than anything, but it's impossible. Yeah. I love that it's only now she's thinking about killing people without weapons being impossible. You've gotten too down. It's so funny. It's just like, you didn't bring this up before. So I have to kill a Wookiee without weapons. It's hard enough a human who wants to resist you. <laughs> I'm gonna find you more water. And find her more water? You didn't find bring you? any? <laughs> they didn't have any in those little storage boxes that they dragged a hundred meters away from the ship just to unload them into their packs. Are they gonna be able to find their way back to the ship? He lifts up his little key fob and he hears the in the distance and they're like, I heard it, it's over there, there's a ship. He like turns on the, the ship alarm. <laughs> it just starts blaring in the parking lot. Oh my God, do something, Jesus Christ. We're running out of episode. Nothing's happened. No, what's the, Nothing has happened what's in deal? 22 minutes. I don't see him. What? Basil. He's vanished again. How did... 
What do you mean you, again? You lost him. That's your only thing that you need to do is follow him. I swear we need a tracker just to track our tracker. That's funny. No, you just need to pay attention. So why did he run off? That is like his whole thing without is them. to guide you guys. I assume you pay him. Why is he a shitty tracker that always runs off Wait, without what? the group? How do you lose him? I have so many questions as to how that even happened. <laughs> So this is implied that May set that trap for him? Oh, there we go. Well, But why? I don't need to do this anymore. My loyalty is to Osha, not your master. What, what are you doing? What? What is going on? What? What I'm going to do is surrender myself to Kelnaka. What? Why does she sound like she's lying? What? And then turn myself into the Jedi. Oh, stop. Stop. What? No, this what? is a trick. What, what is this going is... on? What? What? Wait, I'm, I'm confused what? because this is a Jedi. will put you in prison. Not after I tell them who I know. What is going on? So are you gonna cut your guy down? Yeah, why are you doing this to him? He'll kill you. You'd have to find me first. Yeah, why me? What, what, what was what that? The, what just what, happened? Like, what a so crazy was, face. It was a trap turn. hers? I'm sorry. Yeah, that was hers. She like, how did she make I'm, a I'm, How did she do that? Where yeah, did she how, get the rope? In that amount of time too. And then she also, the I'm just- in the little bag thing. I'm just entertaining she the idea that now much? that that wasn't even her. Because that was so I, I out of character. I don't understand yeah. what that thing was meant to convey. Like seriously, was, I'm totally baffled. She I was just thinking completely if this changed. Is like a, an OSHA thing where somehow OSHA got her clothes or whatever. And I was like, cause that seemed to make more sense in the moment than her having this random shift out of nowhere. Random epiphany, yeah. Well just, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give myself up to the Jedi cause my sister being Life changes everything. Fuck my masters. Like, when did this happen? I feel different. I sense things again in a way that gives me the courage to face her. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Can you stop riding? <laughs> I don't stop get the gloves. Why, why do they wear the, the tight gloves like that? It's obvious that my hands are cold. Come on. Isn't that like, like hot? Your hands will get all sweaty shit. and everything out here. Why can't you infer that? You're going to face your past. Both of us will. They've all got to be sweating buckets under all those thick robes out here in the jungle. Nah. Once we get May safely to the ship, I'll explain everything. I'll explain everything. We'll see. What, are they, what is everyone yeah. doing? I don't know. We, I, we're, we're just like standing around. I'm just waiting for like Kelnaka. We're running out of episode. This. Finally. Oh, okay. Look, there. Finally, we got there. He's I feel like, like it's like been steering his three grass. hours. Lol. All right. What? You just tripped. Is that what like, the fuck? Is that like poison spores or something? Oh. What? Um. That's kind of convenient. Why don't you speak words? He's found me. <laughs> now what? <laughs> Yord can. I like how Yord can translate though. <laughs> it's just like. Master Kilnaka. Oh, oh you're no. dead, aren't you? We don't even get to see the Wookiee Jedi and then fight. They'll come in and they'll say, "You did it." Yeah, you so are fucking gonna be kidding the, me. Is this going to be the He's third He's napping? It's going to be the third straight like time someone's frame. Oh, oh, oh lightsaber dead. slice! Wow, what? He's here. Thanks, I couldn't have... Really? Whatever. What? And now it's dark. dark. Now. It's been three yeah, hours, dark. guys. Oh, come on, Smile or Ren, come on. I don't understand. They see it. Didn't they bait <laughs> that we were getting the Kill Naka episode at the end of 2? We do a whole flashback episode, and then all of 4 isn't him, and he's just dead? Oh my god, man. In the name of the Galactic Republic, and the Order of the Jedi. Can you imagine, like, the retard police, like, being outside of your door, being like, In the name of the Jedi and the High Republic and the Jedi. I'm like, Jesus Christ, is it you people making noise again? Oh, Leave me alone. Just I just wanted to see a Wookiee Jedi. I he's can't dead. believe it. We He's done. They set that up and everything. And he's just dead without doing anything. All he did was he you pulled think... the gun away, and then he grilled okay. some grass. Now, yeah, here a... we go. I... Yeah, come on, Wait, well, you can't do that. <laughs> Apparently, he... down. <laughs> <laughs> what? Smilo, give him, come on. Why is yeah. no one telling her to come back? <laughs> Get away from Smilo. What is that? Why would you say that instead of who is that? Yeah, that's clearly who a person. Is he, they? Yeah, what is that? Fellow. Look at his little smile. Are you a he or a they? Stand down. Ugh. We're not going to get so anything. So the whole thing is that May has to go out there and fight him to save her sister. This is going to be that like Avengers trailer th scene from the trailer. Yeah, they're going to do the trailer thing and it'll end. How did she not react to a lightsaber? Are you kidding me? Why would you stand there? Watch out! Lol. Oh. 
fuck. Oh, okay. That. <sighs> no, you. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> nothing happened. Oh my god, that was twenty-eight wow. minutes and He's nothing cool. happened. What a waste of time. Seriously. Oh my god, that yeah. was actually a waste of time. That I don't even like know if you need to bother putting this out. <laughs> like we can skip this one. <laughs> filler episode. I, it's not filler. It's seen nothing. Filler episodes. Filler like makes you feel like. It was Full? genuinely kind of? most of the episode was recapping what had happened and then characters just plainly stating their new motivations. <laughs> Got a like, couple lands games. Oh my god. There are some there, there are some massive fucking problems with the time frame in yeah. this episode. Oh yeah. It, it makes zero sense that they were able to go from whatever butt fuck planet that was and get all the way to the Wookiee planet with three hours of light to spare. And somehow those guys made it to Coruscant, had all these deliberations, had enough time for Jackie and Osha to get some uh, little bit weird relationship going on, gather them all together, go back to there, catch up with them just to get there the exact same time May gets there to not even see the Wookiee Jedi in action well, and, at all. And let's be honest, uh, the theory that Smyla Ren is that other guy is now probably the winning one or at least close to it yeah. considering everything. I mean, like, he, he got so did. much screen time and so many lines this episode that are obviously supposed to be ones that you can look back on and be like, ooh. Or just he disappeared, the Wookiee died, then he showed up again, and then he disappeared, and then Smiler Ren showed up, so. Yeah. Do you think that what they're gonna do is that it's like, oh, the Wookiee, he was getting too close to figuring out the yin-yang, and so he got him, because he wants to hoard those secrets all to himself, and he was manipulating everything the entire time, even all the way back on uh, that other planet with the two Whatever, moons. man. I'm so all fucking annoyed. Like I told you, in terms of, I don't know, what do you call it, cinematic language, like, the end of episode two was absolutely them being, them saying, we dealing with the Wookiee to... next. He's yeah. next. He's coming up. He's just dead. We got one scene of him doing cooking some grass. I would say that this is a pretty clear example of fridging. Um, they fridged the Wookiee. He existed and died only to service the story of these twins. So that's not very nice. <laughs> and also, this is the third time in four episodes now that they've used the plot device of, oh, someone's like caught on the scene of a murder that they didn't actually fucking commit. It is pretty funny how much of an anticlimax a lot of these are. Oh, look, it's Trinity. Nope, she's dead oh look it's a wookie jedi nope he's dead the change from may because again episode three since that was all a flashback so we never got to see any of may's reaction to what she thought when she saw asha or osha alive that snap change like that is just so out of left field for her to say hey my sister's alive that changes everything i'm gonna turn myself into the jedi and give up everything that i've been training for for the past whatever 16 years well we have to remember she said i'm gonna turn myself into the jedi and then when the jedi show up and say turn yourself in she doesn't if we're to conclude that she would actually completely reverse her motivations to hunt down and kill jedi because her sister is alive then she's not that interested in actually going after the jedi because she has like no principled opposition to them she just wanted revenge for one person to bring i guess bring kiari mundi into it <laughs> the idea that they feel the necessity to include that character is weird to me there are other characters that you could use that were say plo koon plo koon was alive now they did have have a, a Keldor there, but that's not Plo Koon. That's a different guy if you looked in the credits. But that's a species that lives a couple hundred years. You could have included him in the background or in one of these discussions. You still have the question, why doesn't anybody know about this potential Sith, Dark Force user, whatever, a hundred years after the fact? But to have Kiati Mundi, who is a species that previously established in Star Wars, and all the way up until this point, until this episode right here, male Ceruleans had a about a 65, 70-year lifespan that was old for them. Like, that was extremely old for them. Kiati Mundi was not born yet until like 40 years after this happens so now they're going to go back retroactively change it maybe make well, that species live to like 200 and it's well, just it's nonsensical something i happen to know just because of uh the way that just the, the internet works when star wars theory was watching this episode or at least rather when he was talking about it on his stream uh his his fans were letting him know during the episode wikipedia were updating the kiari buddy wiki page and they had to change his birth and like the nature of it and the information that was available because they had to like scrub it and like it was coming up with errors and shit because they didn't know what to how to they didn't have references they had to uh... how do they make sense of this it is a blunder that i find kind of fascinating it's actually kind of crazy to me that they made this mistake this is 132 years bby so before okay, the battle yeah. of yavin he's unironically something like negative 40 years old in the scene he's already an adult here he's portrayed as like middle-aged you know when you look I... at like the color of that beard that's what it feels like sure, yeah. i wonder if it genuinely was that they were like can we do yoda and they said 
said no, or alternatively, no, that would be too obvious. Uh, Kiati Mundi, yeah. I think it's very specifically because what was the first thing everyone said when we heard line. the pitch of this show? It was his line from Phantom Menace. Oh, the Sith have been extinct for a millennia, whatever the fuck he says. I guess if we're taking this, like, at the most good nature look we could take would be, hey, he doesn't really know it's a Sith. They don't really know what it is. Could be a spinoff, could be a dark Jedi that trained or whatever. But still, the idea that he was there for these discussions and keeping it from the High Council exactly. is, is so thing. silly. We did move past that fairly quickly, but it is kind of nuts that this lady just made like the decision to conceal the Jedi being killed by a potential Sith from the Jedi Council and from the Senate. But it would look bad. It would make him look a bit good. I mean, it would look, look bad, bad because it is bad. Wait, wait just a second. Would it make them look bad? Because this oh, is an wait, evil no, Sith. Wait. This is an evil yeah, Sith yeah, yeah, user, yeah. right? I, I just remembered because it was in episode one. They thought that it was Osha and they're like, well, look bad if a former Padawan was doing this, but it's not her. They forgot to update their, it, 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 when the information true. was updated, yeah. they forgot to update their concern. Because if anything, they should go to the High Council and be like, this is even more of a reason for the Jedi to get more respect and authority because look what happens when some Force user out there doesn't become a Jedi, they're evil and shit, and they get the red lightsaber and they're super cringe. I've and always we can't thought, be having that. Since like episode one, when they started talking about like hiding this, I, I just figured this immediately, we're just trying to find a way to not involve characters that, uh, I would have thought they, they would have dragged the council in. It's some member berries getting Yoda in there. Yeah. But then they were like, well, nah, that would be too obvious. Kiyadi yeah, Mundi, we can't have Yoda. It doesn't make any sense at all. Instead, we have to devote an odd amount of, like, attention to this little Brazil guy, this little rodent, and he's gonna make weird noises, I mean, he and he's gonna run away from the... the Wookiee Jedi. He got more screen yeah, time than Yeah, he him. did. Turns out the writer, or someone who was involved in this episode, has actually answered the, uh, because some people are upset, admittedly, that the fucking Wookiee was just killed <laughs> after everything. Let me guess. Is it about um, you didn't get what you expected? No, they've explained oh. why we didn't see. Apparently there was a plan for an actual battle to see Kilnaka defeated by presumably Smilo Ren. And uh, apparently they couldn't fit it into the budget. They couldn't the, fit the it $180 really. million dollar budget? Joking. Hmm, okay. <sighs> if it was a narrative thing where they didn't want to, because if you were to show that battle, you'd be revealing that Smilo Ren was there. It's still not even a good, like, it doesn't address what people are pointing out, which is we didn't get to see anything about him. You teased him in episode two, did a flashback episode, and then he died. Well, yeah, just and, wait and, for the next flashback yeah, but that's episode. The thing. Like, oh, you can see him in the past a little more. Like, cool. I wanted to see him now. Oh well. But oh well. They keep betraying basic TV show tenets of understanding like stories in any way, shape, or form. The fact that this episode opens with an establishing shot, we zoom in, it's the forest. Oh look, it's Kilnaka doing his day to day. He's like, ah, this will be a Kilnaka episode. No. A substantial amount of it is just two separate groups of people walking through a forest. It was brought up prior, but the whole Lucasfilm don't know how to make TV shows. Uh, to try and dig further in, I think something they absolutely have not grasped is uh, that each individual episode, even when it's super serialized, is supposed to feel somewhat like a story. Make us feel like we actually consumed a completed thing. <laughs> Back to the bullshit Kiati Mundi thing. There's a lot of people that are mad about this now. Oh, I can't believe they changed this person's backstory. This has been happening for fucking 12 years at Lucasfilm. And every one of these dumb retards who sat there and applauded every time Dave Filoni did this, maybe because they didn't know enough about Star Wars to understand that Dave Filoni has changed things like this time and time and time again with no regard for if it makes sense or not just for the story that he wants to tell. If you have been one of those people that have been applauding Dave Filoni, wanting him to become in charge of Lucasfilm, give him more authority, you are part of the fucking problem because this shit's been happening for over a decade and you've said nothing. Whatever the case, either Dave approves of this show, which is what I expect him to say publicly, or he cannot stop it from being made in any way, shape, or form. No, he's I, I mean, I think the this. answer is way simpler. The answer is that he thinks that this is good. Yes, he's down with it. I'm so tired of people trying to make excuses for this piece of shit. He's a hack. He just, he's just a hack. I mean, it's so funny. You're probably with the only group of people like on the internet that would just be sitting there like, well, we've been hating him since it would have been Mando, right? I think that Mando season one has about three episodes that if you stripped away a lot could make for like, okay, maybe that might have been an okay movie or something, but it's got a lot of flaws. Maybe like a four out of ten as a whole. But Mando season two, I thought was horrific. It was nostalgia bait, jangling keys that covered up terrible writing decisions and things that didn't make sense, and had just everybody applauding when Ahsoka showed up or Boba Fett showed up or dead-eyed Luke Skywalker comes in. Doesn't act like Luke Skywalker. Doesn't do the things Luke Skywalker would do. Doesn't ask these people anything about the Empire, anything about all these droids. Doesn't ask if they're okay if they can get back safe. Just kidnaps the baby and walks away. For people that claim Mando Season 3 was a big step
step down for Mando season two. I think they're idiots. And I think the only difference is the cameos you got were Jack Black and Lizzo instead of Ahsoka and Luke Skywalker. And that's why you didn't like it. So what you're saying is we're in a really good position for the rest of this season to sort of make up for the uh, lower quality first half. It's all, all, all based on your point of view, I suppose. Man, when Thrawn showed up and was coping the whole time, that was some really <laughs> riveting storytelling. Truly. I don't really have any words for it other than there's just a complete and total disdain for the craft of writing. Nobody involved in the production of this seems like they care at all about what it would be to write a show. It is very obligatory in that sense. Someone was paid to make this, so they made it. I don't know how you could write in this manner, like specifically in this way, and feel happy about it. The Disney Star Wars shows have a remarkable quality of nothing happening, but also a lot of things happening very quickly. Most of that episode was just them walking around in a forest but in that time another character was killed and one of the main characters motivations flipped it happens in bursts it happens in these little short super bursts where in between those super bursts there's nothing i'd love to know what they think they are building towards narratively if you were to ask them so by the end of episode four what is your hope in terms of an audience reaction they're thinking of the the soy jack going Ooh! as long as i were talking about it on twitter you know it's like hey shit i mean yeah mission accomplished right <laughs> but i mean good stories tend to endure in people's hearts and minds this he fucking activate when, his when red lightsaber right next to uh Osher and she didn't even look we're gonna we're gonna land on this planet we're gonna take these big black bins outside and then transfer <laughs> all of the stuff from the black bins to these backpacks and then take the backpacks out into the forest that is so fucking stupid why would you do that what is the point of bringing the black thing the little black bins out there why why would you do this they they have her sidekick guy being super clumsy throughout this whole episode. And it's like, what, what, that's probably to try and put you off the idea that he would be Smiler Ren. It could still be Horny Girl. Those are the only two candidates. I, anything else, like if it turned out to be Kill Knocker or something, it'd be like, wait, what? <laughs> Why? What? <laughs> It'd just be a cloud of gas, maybe. <laughs> I'm more than happy to say that's the end of the fourth one, yeah, guys. Yeah, we can, uh... See you later, everybody. Hope you all had a, a, a grand yeah. time. Yeah, I hope you guys have a good great. weekend. You know, go outside, drink your water, uh, get some fresh air, uh, eat well, you know, eat decently. Don't eat too much. That's where, you know, that's where they get you. Make sure to wash behind your ears. Otherwise, um, smaller Ren's gonna get you. What at me! You wanna know how I got these scars? My father, he comes at me with the knife. Why so serious? Let's put a smile on that face. Ah! What'd you bring me? Oh my god, hello everybody, welcome to Acolyte Season 17. Oh my goodness gracious, let's get right into the episode. Three, two, one, go! No. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, I was, okay. I wasn't oh, ready. Okay. Episode four was a was nothing, and now and now we're in the episode where all I know about this is loads of stuff happens. As far as I'm aware, this is going to be like a shotgun of things happen, which I find amusing in terms of how they've stretched out the pacing of this whole season. This was built as like the big fight one, right? Yeah. Which we've heard we've heard countless things for the past several months from the people behind the Acolyte that they've created some lightsaber duels that are going to like surpass Phantom Menace and prequel era lightsaber duels, which I mean, I guess we're about to see if that's true or not. Mm. I have my doubts, but uh, consider how low the bar has been for Disney Star Wars lightsaber fights. Maybe they actually do think they have something good. Not that we'll actually check this once the episode's over necessarily, but it'll be fun. Who's dying in this episode? My guess is that all of the no-name Jedi that they introduced last episode are done. Uh, but I actually think that no named characters are going to die. I will be 100% with you. I think all no-names, not even an exception. There won't be some random dude called Wombus. Who's, who's surviving, that's not going to happen. They're all dead. As for named characters, I think Soul is probably the one that, that gets his boss fight and dies for something to happen for May and, and, and Osha. Uh, May and Osha will be fine. Nothing's going to happen to them. If anything happens to them, it'll be in the finale. Yord? Ooh. I'd flip a coin on that one. Uh, I'm not sure. They haven't done anything with him yet, though. <laughs> like, that's because they're shit, not because, you know, like, they think yeah, they have. Yeah, anything with this show. So, I'll say Jackie's safe, Yord not. All the no-names are dead. Soul might die in order to save May, who he has. He was talking to the chick lady. And he was like, no, there's good in her, and I could, we can save her. Yord is definitely, a, I think he is a solid maybe. I would not be shocked at all if Yord dies. Uh, I think Basil will be okay. Um, right. I don't think he's going to be killed. <laughs> but if Milo Ren, if he just jumped 
Bessel right in the half out of nowhere. <laughs> We'd be like, holy shit! And he falls down in half. He's like Buzz Lightyear at the beginning of Toy Story 2. And then it cuts to Rex. <laughs> this game was terrible anyway. I'm glad it happened. I'm um, gonna go play Elden Ring DLC. And Jackie's the only one you haven't accounted for yet. Which one's that? The girl Padawan. The young, yeah, the girl Padawan. It's the first time I'm learning her name. <laughs> uh, she's gonna live. All the red shirts are, are gonna die for sure. The one person I think is safe is actually Sol. Uh, because I feel like there's too much more about the story that we don't know. And now he's the only one living who was involved in it. That I don't feel like they're gonna wrap up this episode. But May and Asha, they're safe. Jackie and Yord... Um, who? I'm gonna say that Jackie dies. She's gonna have like a girl boss sick moment and then she's gonna die. And Yord yeah. will put him in a maybe. As usual, all the no names are dead. Like, that's just a foregone conclusion. I don't think Sol is going to die. We will lose zero to one people who are not Sol. So that could be Yord or Jackie. I think it's basically flip a coin, one of them gets shot. If, if you kill a bunch of no names, I think the audience is going to be like, yeah, eh, okay. They want to try no and names. establish the stakes and the tension and what's the most transparent and easy way to do that. This because these writers funny. will take the, the quickest is, route though, to accomplish something. The thing is, you guys have to bear in mind, in Ahsoka, Sabine got stabbed uh. like, through the <laughs> lightsaber and lived. You know, Friggy? This is the reason why I just don't think that that's a good point. Any. Somehow, I'm imagining that we're about to learn that that was not intentional in terms of telling us the lightsabers don't actually hurt you that much, and that this episode, lightsabers are going to do a lot of hurty. They, they are actually going to mm -hmm. work, probably. When this series began, I think all of us assumed that pretty much any Jedi that came into contact with a person with a red lightsaber, they have to die at some point before they're able to alert everybody, unless we are just saying it's going to be a massive Jedi cover-up. Even if all these people don't die in this episode, I just don't think there's any way they can survive throughout the end of the series. Well, so I would, I, I would go I, further and say the series is broken unless everyone dies here. Well, so this is well, the thing. I don't think that they believe that there would be a problem with the story that they've written if many of these characters made it to the end. Say, for example, Soul survives this and they get back to their ship and they talk about whatever, that's, the series is done because he should be able to contact them and describe what he's dealt it, with and then it's over. It, well, yes, if anyone's able to send right. a message to somebody, then it... it like it leaves a big gaping. Well, remember they have hole. comms stuff to be able to contact people on the on foot, on the right? Ship. Yeah, yeah. I do have a bit of a thing in my head of of them being. They have some awareness of how they're fucking up everything because of like I I've bought the argument that they have Kiati Mundi in episode four because of what he said yes. in Phantom Menace. I That's why he's there. Dude, they're fucking around with him. <laughs> he ain't done I also yet. Do, I, I do think that with what we've seen from the Jedi, that they're clearly trying to hide things already, especially with Master Vernestra. The the green bald weirdo. Oh yeah, um, we gotta see a laser whip. There could be a situation where this is something they did in the Darth Bane books back in the old expanded universe. Essentially, they, they do. Darth Bane and his apprentice, the Jedi get notified that there's something going on. They think there might be dark side forces. They send a strike force. Massive battle. A lot of the fucking Jedi die. Darth Bane gets really injured. Essentially, Xana has to use um, uh, Sith sorcery, you just a, a form of force. She essentially makes this guy go insane, mind controls him, gives him a lightsaber, they hide. Jedi get there, and the Jedi think that this is the person that was behind all of it. They hack this piece of shit to pieces, and they think that the threat's been ended, and the Sith secret is kind of still safe. So there's still possible ways that I feel like they could try to get around it, maybe have the Jedi think the threat is gone. Maybe they think that one of these people is the master, that one of these people's the apprentice, and they wipe them out, and they just cover it up so they don't tell the rest of the Jedi Council. I see like a way that they could try to tell that story. Why do people treat the Jedi Council as though they shouldn't know stuff? I don't fucking know, because then they'd be forced to notify the Senate or something. Who cares? I think like, that I was don't... the reason they gave, which is insane. We don't want them to know we failed and the Sith rose temporarily. Like, you could just run that any way you want if you're gonna worry about it that way. You could just say, yeah, we crushed them instantly. I think it would be a way for them to actually get, like get more power. Yeah. And it, it, that's what they're after, right? It's like, hey, look at what look at what can happen when we're not vigilant, when you don't give us enough resources, when the Jedi are you know not able to go out and do these things. This is why we're so important. So we stop this from ever happening and we're able to handle it when it does. Yeah, right? but have you considered that the show is incompetently written? Wait a minute. Every day of my life. Are you sure? <laughs> no sense in delaying any further. We're so excited. We've got our predictions. Let us begin this wonderful adventure. Is everyone ready? Extract Kalnaka from his post on Kofar and intercept me. These episodes are so short. <laughs> Thank <laughs> really God. It's, it's wonderful. It's the, my favorite it part of the favorite. show. You know what's crazy is you um, know? if this dropped all at once, you get it done in an afternoon, like watching a longish movie, and be like, Jesus Christ, that was a TV show. That was, that was a crazy. terrible movie, yeah. 
Oh, yeah, that too. I guess I just don't understand why the, the floor isn't like 40 minutes. I don't want to know what lives out here. This made it into because the previously. Because it's so that was in the previously means that right. don't matter. I told you guys, I thought that those motherfuckers are going to do something to break up the fight, right? When all Maybe. the lights are clashing. They definitely want to make sure you remember the bug. Let's <laughs> <laughs> follow red. Here we go. <laughs> By the way, more powerful than all of them put together, huh? In the intro now. I like how none of them use the force. Oh, no. no. Because we don't do that. It's not the intro. So inconsistent with the force powers. Everyone's just randomly using them here and there on different people. Ooh, ominous music. Da, 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 da. That's just Lucasfilm. <laughs> Oh, Osha's actually been knocked out for the whole flight. We won't see anything. Oh, is my prediction going to come true <laughs> that that's what they do? <laughs> she wakes up and half the fight's like already done and well, only a few Jedi are left. Remember, they oh. couldn't afford to do a Keldaka fight, so... Pip? God, the robot. Let's make sure he's okay. I hope the human being is a stupid robot. I fell out of the couch. I'm okay. Don't worry. I got fallen and I force. can't get up. I'm not capable of locomotion. I have no... Highly dependent on being protected by her. Jeez. Why did you not purchase the leg legs. upgrade for me? <laughs> for a little... <laughs> Why are you such a fucking fuck? Why are you didn't so Maid, bad? Didn't Maid do that exact same thing in the first episode? <laughs> I told you! Wait, how did she oh see him? Oh he God, was in man. her field of view. What like, the fuck? He's right there. He was right there! Yeah, how did you fall? Like, <laughs> think that's you what... Just look <laughs> at the <laughs> fucking <laughs> ground. Ooh, like his finger is the fight's out. happening. Who is how it? is this... How have things proceeded in this way? Oh though? no, it's the red shits. They're all dead. Any minute now. Recognize any of these people? Oh, is that Yord? That's yours. There's Yord. That's Yord. Yord so Horde. Okay. Oh, oh, wait. And wait, what? One. Stab got he, him. It didn't look very good, by the way, that stab. No, it didn't look good. What? Did he block I'm the sorry, lightsaber what? with his head? It looked like he just. They got destroyed. Yeah, they destroyed it out. Safe. I know. Well, it now we can is. use the force Hold to stun on. him so that Yord can. How do you do that? Oh. Slice across the belly. He's gone. Oh. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> oh, shit. I thought that was awesome. So you could just pull them? This is what I mean. Pull them. Dude, what's the point of any of it if you can't use the, like, counter his force power? Man, he's so cool. Why did that oh, happen? He just no-sells it. But that affects his body, right? He's, we, he's a is Dragon Ball Z now. Is like... it the clothing that prevented that? Run! It could have been a so, force technique. Do you want to kill that Jedi there? Yeah. A force technique to get shot and have it be rendered. Yeah, he didn't know but, it was going to happen. What's the point? This is so oh, stupid. Sorry. He has space. been out there that whole time not helping them. Wait, yeah. so I guess just not. to be clear, what? do the stuns yeah. not work on force users? So there's a rare force technique. You saw kind of Vader use it to deflect Han's blast in Empire that you can uh, redirect or kind of absorb he, energy. Yoda so he does that the same deliberately, thing. though. Yeah, like, he, yeah. Vader, Vader he knew it was coming. He was taken off guard by it. He was surprised by it. Yeah. Yeah. This guy was surprised by it. <laughs> he just decided <laughs> to walk off after Osha and let Yord live. What the fuck it, are okay. you doing? So he's willing to kill doing? her then, right? Oh, how fucking Soul? convenient. Where the fuck have you been? Yeah, where has he what been? Are you doing? So he was absolutely willing to kill her, but he wasn't willing to grab her with the force when he saw her after she shot him. Okay, makes sense. Why are they falling that direction? Why that, would they fall that direction? You'd think they... They, they shouldn't. They fell that way so you could see the cut marks. Civilian to the ship! Civilian to the ship! He's killing everybody. You might want all the help you can get. Dude, don't do the fucking creepy head tilt. Come Dramatic on Dramatic choral music! Oh yeah, choir. Just what we need. <laughs> Very dramatic, Theo. So, what are you talking about? I'm almost the shit that shorts out lightsabers is called cortosis. It's been introduced in the cortosis. books for years. They probably they, should have introduced it in the show in a way that makes any fucking sense to the people watching it, because that shit was yeah. confusing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just randomly happened. Soul gave me an order. Osha. I don't want to have to subdue you, but I will. Okay. Why is your lightsaber Why still is your lightsaber on? on? Careful, buddy. Yeah. You nearly hit yourself you out touched here. touched someone with but that, yeah. Again, we just sort of ran into Basil. Why not? Master Soul. Who are you? Oh, no. Spooky voice. You don't remember me. Oh, for fuck's sake. They do this oh. with everybody ever <laughs> in Star Wars. <laughs>
Why try to ever be? You don't want It's always a mystery. I sense something familiar. Oh, right, okay. Something familiar, eh? Old apprentice or some bullshit. I feel like he had a mm. clean shot on his back. So. <laughs> that's, that's such a goofy He's got spooky helmet. breathing. I love it. He's got he's got a weird goofy smile helmet and he's doing he the breathing. A Jedi weapon? You carry a Jedi weapon, but you are no Jedi. Oh, yeah, okay. That's, thanks. Yeah, I'm glad you away. Find and we cut away. Out. And we cut away. <laughs> It yeah, doesn't... we have to deal with a uh, May doing stuff. The, uh, the, the cutaways are so much more distracting. What Did the fuck her? are you doing? Why doesn't Did she have her lightsaber? Her? Why don't you, you have your lightsaber? Her? You just drop kicked her. Are you, are you serious? <laughs> In she does theory, have a lightsaber. Like, in theory, there should be a couple lightsabers laying around with all these. But she's dead got jobs. one. Well, she you can has see it on hers, her waist, right? Yeah, Where's you can hers? see it. She definitely has a lightsaber. I saw it on her waist. Also, what have you been doing this whole time? For the murder of Master and Dara, the murder. Of yeah, where has she? Uh, whatever. You want to like Probably make sure that you have that yeah. yeah. Why can't she just use the force to undo the manacles? The fire that killed your family. <laughs> Oh, you upset her now. <laughs> I didn't kill my people in a fire. Her. Also, so much for me. Yeah, I just tried to kill oh, my wow. sister. I'm already annoyed that she's lasted so much longer than Indaro when Indaro was a master. <laughs> That's a bit weird. <laughs> Go on, get him. Like that, yeah. Man, why are you fight? doing that? Wait, why do you turn it off? Because it's. They keep giving Better. him creepy breathing. It's so silly. Ooh, well, because they're trying so hard with this guy. Because in 1977, they gave Darth Vader <laughs> creepy breathing. Show your face and let you read my thoughts. Wait, the That's mask prevent? Is he Magneto? Does How does that, that work? You can't does read a thought mask? without. Does it mean the mask prevents it? Yeah, yeah that's what he just said. Someone in the face. You can't read a mind unless you have a face. It's like uh, Mando season two. What master hides his face from his pupil? You tell me. We got away. <laughs> Stop hitting people in the thigh. It's Why are neither not, of them using the force? Why is this fight even happening? I don't know. May was like, I'm going to turn myself into the Jedi because I can tell them important stuff. And then the Jedi comes to arrest her and she's like, no, I'm going to try and kill you. I'm going to try and stab you and murder you. Like, does she think she needs to be on uh, Smilo Ren's side or something after all of this? <laughs> The spacing on those attacks was really awkward, by the way. Like, just out of reach for a lot of them because it's all... It's better not than far. usual, but it's still not yeah. that great. Not far, it's not, yeah, not living up to the promise. He doesn't follow the rules of combat, and there's no method to his movements. It's and we just cut away to these yeah. boring conversations. Again. Why is <laughs> your lightsaber on? Turn the fucker off. Like, it makes me nervous. Yeah, especially with yours. Like he's, he's just gonna turn in one direction and chop <laughs> her head off on accident. That's the, You know what it is? Part of the problem is that it convinces you they're holding them and they're not threatening weapons at all he gets into your head and he stays there my mother could do that why would you say my mother what she's describing is not what's happening here where they actually just get like outright mentally stunned it's just that yeah. he's beating he's them. just killing them all yeah with lightsaber attacks by the way which are notoriously non-lethal at this point <laughs> wow so she's just gonna do it huh Apparently. I, I mean, mean she's killed other people oh so she okay. is gonna murder the jedi well, i thought she was gonna turn herself in <laughs> And then she's and like, here, I'm arresting you. Oh, We're she's... gonna take you in. It's just like, no, nah, I don't like that. <laughs> don't appreciate that. So the Padawan got her, huh? Okay. Padawan Speaking is man good in three, Man, that two, is one. a fucking chunky lightsaber. How, so May is good enough to kill Indara, yeah, but here she's we go. not, not good enough to stop the Padawan. See, she had her here. own. A lightsaber the whole time yep, on her she had her own life. lightsaber, it's all she... <laughs> Well, you, you got no shot. Yeah, she's yeah, just a why Padawan, isn't it, right? This should she be over already. Father, she's yes. also wounded, by the way. Yes, that's right. She got cut, so no chance. May, you can learn from this Padawan. That's a Gooba. <laughs> he is a Gooba. Why were you swinging all the way up there? She's got on his Wait, arm, too. Do? How, how do you do that? 
like double damage. The other times. This didn't work out for Anakin, okay? I still don't get how he's having so much trouble with the Padawan. Yeah, like he should, he should he should easily kill her. You wipe the floor with a bunch of knights, like. This is what I mean. Three at once. There's no fucking way she should be able to do this good. Like, like him and Saul should be a good fight, right? But not her. Like, what the fuck? And I can Dang. believe her, like, blocking a few and running what? away, but anything She's past that. She's better than that. what it was like four on one. There exactly. were four Jedi Knights on one. <laughs> Well, this is the thing. We, she's getting a, a lot Heroic of really good death. stuff, and it's just not fair. Like, the other characters don't get to have it because they're not as important, even though their ranks are higher. Behind you. That's going to be important, oh. question mark. Why did Smiler Ren leave <laughs> instead of finishing her? I don't he know. Goes, I don't know. He's done that to Jason. He wanted to he go left, off to May, I guess. So he left Soul and stopped fighting Soul. Oh, shit. He stopped fighting her. Oh, here's the bug. The light attracts them. Attracts what? Hurry up. This has been so, so blatant, dude. The the yeah. bug, you know, seed that the previous year with the bugs, and now it's like remember the bugs. It's like yes, we remember the bugs. <laughs> we go slowly. The only thing to get him to turn his lightsaber off. <laughs> why? Why is going slowly the play? Why don't I, Why don't you go around? Go back and around. Coward. You're going to betray me. We just have <laughs> we <won. a> <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> what is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Oh shit, he Could went to he, kill her? Damn. He swung and missed. Master, I was weak. You can, why, just pull your hands out of that. <laughs> oh, old. fuck off. We must have done that on purpose, right? I no, yeah, but he, he did try so. to kill her before, though. <laughs> Wait, he, he's killing her again. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what, the, what was the but, point of that? But why? Oh, the point with that was so that she could have her arms free, so that she oh, could. Oh, God. Like, do yeah. <laughs> What? No, stab him! Don't kick yeah, him! Everyone keeps kicking. Jesus Christ, May oh, does not know what the fuck she's doing. Yo, she sword. wanted to turn herself into the Jedi, then she started fighting the Jedi, what? now she's running away from him. <laughs> He's oh, trying to kill her over and over again! Such a <laughs> of a sequence, oh. holy fuck. He oh. keep, he's like, let me kill her for fuck's sake. Does anyone actually care about these guys? Like, let's, let's go back. Nope. I don't care about anyone. He's like, please, I don't have to die like the rest of them. Don't make me go back. He's gonna kill them. He's gonna kill them all. Yeah, we already know that. He killed most of them already. I thought that this got overridden by his order from Soul. Are you gonna, like, ride in with an army oh of Oh my bugs? god. Is that gonna be the play? Okay. Run! Why? Oh, he's just agreeing. Why? He's just agreeing. Why? Remember, Why? Remember, see me For what reason? Remember he threatened creatures. to knock her out to, to get her onto the ship. Yeah, yep. but not anymore. It's different. Things have changed, Smaller. <laughs> So he headbutts the lightsabers and they turn off? Why can't you use the force? It, yeah, it's increasingly so fucking annoying. I feel like if you're her, you'd be fucking terrified. <laughs> Would stab him! Oh. Where is oh. Saul? Oh, shit. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh -huh. what? what was Saul doing right. the whole time? What the hell? Well, she's out. Okay. That's actually the one thing I like about the whole episode. And it's not because I hate the characters, it's just having the balls to kill it. actually her. died. And yeah. it's just yeah, potion yeah, seller. Well, it's it's just potion chimera. Uh, I, I don't think any of us give a shit that it's him. Why, I, mean, I don't care. That's what we all thought it was, you know? Yeah, I don't, I don't care. Um, I just don't give a shit. Sorry, but that, that was a good, what, like seven seconds of Soul doing nothing, by the way? Yep. Yeah. You could have pulled her away. You could have done anything. <laughs> Was that its name? Is that its name? It's supposed That's to be a dehumanizing so thing. Oh, definitely dehumanizing. He's a, he's a bum. He's, was a, that he's its a nasty. Name? She was a child. He was a child? Maybe we should have brought her out here then. You brought her here. Ah! <laughs> oh, hey! Kind of, yeah, that's kind of actually like that. uh, that's a line. Well, we it's it's weird to five appeal. Episodes, we got a line that might be something. <laughs> Can you resist the force with your force ever, please? <laughs> he actually got stunned by the cloak. <laughs> the, the, the fact that he. I thought he was going to use the cloak and kill him. <laughs> so, uh, what is the leverage here, you know? It's kind of confusing. Yeah, you have a hostage. But it's his apprentice. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, uh, okay. <laughs> oh man, look at him acting his little heart out. You attack me while my back is turned? You attack me while my back is turned. That was a... It, I don't know it, if you need to do that, did. all right? Yeah, I... <laughs> what are you? But a Jedi like you might call me... Sith.
Um, okay, so um, okay, uh, that's a so problem. Nobody... All right, okay. sorry, John. Um, <laughs> so now he needs. To, he, soul's got to die. What do you want? Freedom. You could leave. Then just you could leave, right? At any time, you can just go. Freedom to wield my power the way I like, without having to answer to Jedi like you. You've been killing a lot of them, though. I want a pupil, an acolyte. Murder, oh buddy. God. Oh. <laughs> oh. So now I have to kill every single last one of you. I don't make the rules. Every single last don't one make the rules. That's an actual line. Huh? Your. <laughs> So it okay. really is if the helmet touches your lightsaber, right, it turns come on, off. Come on, Soul, get yeah. him. What's Soul doing? Ah! Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. That was, a, that was pretty cool. Wow. Was Soul's stock just fucking plummeted, dude. Really? Wow. Yeah. He's still... He what? He's watched he's two people now that. get killed. Yeah, that's When's really... The that's, be on him next? that's like the one thing I've liked from Yord, and Soul did nothing to help him. <laughs> Yo, character... She got yeeted. And then question mark. <laughs> he's not, oh, he, he right? barely even cares. He's just standing there. You that's got your that's so lame. Why did you not take your lightsaber off the ground? You should have used the force to pull the lightsaber to your yeah. hand and use I that. I think it's because it, the, so he just like talked about him like being unarmed or whatever. Ah! He's killing his friend. <laughs> that means you do something. You have the force for Christ's sake. Man, if only there was some telekinetic power I had to prevent you from killing people I like. No, kill, him. Him. kill him! No, kill him! Kill him! Oh, Dude. fuck off! Yeah, here we go again. Yep. So you're giving he into is so your rage. fucking evil! He also, you're like, uh, angry. he swung his lightsaber such that it would have killed him had he just let it go into him, but he swung it past to swing it back down. Yep. Yeah. His mind is twisted by darkness. Jesus Christ, Osha, he's so fucking evil. <laughs> he's even said he's okay being evil. But Osha, Anakin, Chancellor he... Palpatine is evil. <laughs> he's really fucking evil and dangerous. What? From Why? my point of view, the Jedi Why? are evil. Do you have any? I can't. He has control mind. of the he Senate can't. and the courts. <sighs> he's too dangerous to be left alive. So these motherfuckers are finally catching up with them? Oh yeah, that bugs. took ages. Wait, what's the Maybe plan Maybe the bugs here? were not organized well. Wait, so you're not allowed to kill him, but you're totally allowed to set a bunch of bugs on you him? You don't? The Jedi do not attack the unarmed. But he's never unarmed. He killed Jord with his hands. His body is a weapon. I saw uh, Jord. Sorry, I called him Jord. Yes. Jord. <laughs> he is the weapon. Oh look, he's got his he's weapon back. do that. All right. All right, yeah, cool. Hey look, he's armed. <sighs> I love you, baby. I'm sorry, what? Oh, uh, it's oh, our wife. Did he not realize something was happening there when she announced that? Use the force. Oh, this is so fucking stupid. <laughs> Wait, so this is okay. Oh we can feed him to the moths, but we can't kill him. How does this work? How is this okay? <laughs> what? <laughs> So are they going to carry him off? One Feed him of to us. the bugs. One <laughs> of us. One Become of us. the king of the moths. Be yeah, the lamp god. Die. The lamp there's god. No lamp he just jumped no to moths. Like, <laughs> no way. This no happened. Way. It'll be, it'll be Soul, that he got uh, away, right? Soul was going to kill him and you stopped him. The story would have been over. We could have oh. gone home and gone to all those funerals. <laughs> but, like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> So it oh. does work on Force users. Mm. Fuck off. This is we cut away. This is horrifically we cut away. stupid. I can't believe this all happened like it did. You couldn't have fumbled this one. May's goal. Like, nobody knows. what the you fuck are... is she doing? Nobody knows. May is a D&D &D character that has, like, changed players between sessions. <laughs> every episode. Yeah, yeah, every five minutes. Everything you've ever done has been for yourself. True. Yeah, pretty much. The Jedi got what they deserved. Those Jedi were more my family than you ever were. Have you forgotten who we are? You tried to murder me. You tried to kill me. I don't understand, yeah. You locked me in a burning room and it was yeah. burning because you burned it. I don't... I... They invaded our home. Invaded. You tried to murder me. Oh, we getting a reveal? They've brainwashed you. She doesn't know the truth. Yeah. They've turned you against me. They turned, they turned you against, you against me! me. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you tell me what they brainwashed me about or something, instead of speaking in these- No, riddles until episode y eight. Hooray, a ambiguous riddling. 
I would never get that close to her. Fuck no, she's evil. She's a murderer. A react. You're a killer. You're a killer. Any reaction to show to this? This is very emotional. What is happening? Yeah, we're all feeling so much right now. Even the actresses <laughs> are feeling so much. Yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> She wants to just wait for the scene to be over, like... All we have is each other now. Did are someone say cut? cut? Yeah. <gasps> You're... What? What's happening? Okay. She's got the force, idiot. And also the thing you said you She's would do last episode that we just forgot about. She's got the force. What's happening? You followed a false master. So did you. What is it? What do you mean? Tell what? me what you're talking about. How are you going to subdue her? I don't know you. you the the okay. Okay. She's right. like trained her whole life as an assassin with the force. Why did you think you could just beat her by grabbing her? And if you were going to do something like that, why don't you just play along for a while until you get back to a ship or something? Exactly. Or you have the access to the stun gun. <laughs> Oh, look at that. She beat her with the force. That's crazy. It's great that it's always this button that they just like seem to randomly press that will do something to a fight that they... Oh, okay. Well, what? All right. <laughs> She's just knocked out. Uh, of course. Yeah, of course. You, you just, just press the <laughs> I win the fight button and you won the fight. Shocking. Done and done. You can block, right? You can block force pushes. Like if you get caught off guard, you can get pulled or pushed or whatever. But it doesn't seem like they do a very good job of ever showing people block. Well, never what mind. Is Blocking. That, that is what her mom was trying to teach her in episode three, remember? That when they were bad. trying to block the, the force pushes. Oh, sure. Why don't they have someone throw There's the way real lightsaber it. from off screen onto her hand and she catches it? Fuck you. Oh, no. Please, no. Please, no. No. They'll notice that. Bitch, you have a tattoo. Oh, you're kidding. You can't pretend you to be here. You have a tattoo. Yeah, see, he survived. What a shock, that's crazy. I thought for sure the moths had him. <laughs> nah, it's too uh, soon. I don't think he's gonna die until the end of the season. They fed him to moths. What the fuck are you doing here, you idiot? The goober is here. Oh, well, there he goes. He's gonna save the world, but... He saved Pip. Oh, and I guess Soul maybe as well. Yeah, Soul made it. Soul, are you all right? Where is she? Wouldn't he sense her energy is completely yeah, different? Yeah, I was about to say, you oh, have the force energy. They're, they're twins, right? So they have the same... No, the, okay. no. <laughs> like, What's with all those... Their personalities are so different. What's with all those burnt ends on your hair? Why do you <laughs> yeah, smell like burnt not... hair? <laughs> how come, how come I sense... Differently? Yeah, how come you, I sense the evil just... in you? Why wouldn't she just kill him right there? How come, like, every look you direct in my direction well, has, like complete malicious intent. I can I explain know. why she wouldn't kill him because we don't know what her motivation is right now. We why never did you not do. take the helmet? We can never judge her actions because we never know what the fuck she's doing. I'm it's glad we spent person... time on watching these people play their bad chess game thing. Yay. Yeah, it's over. Uh, Soul can contact the Jedi, tell him about how he encountered a Sith explicitly. Well, a person who implied the Jedi would think he was a Sith, I guess. Yeah. That's good I, enough. I'm not 100% sold that he's actually a Sith, to be honest. But it doesn't it doesn't need to be because Darth Maul was not explicitly a at Sith when point, he met Qui Gon. Oh, who cares? Basil, Basil knows something's up. <laughs> <laughs> so Soul left the helmet. He left all the lightsabers. All of the all bodies. The dead as bodies, well. bodies yeah. All the bodies. Uh, what? Damn. Yeah. All the bodies. Well, that Yord, sucks. Yord's got his head on backwards. He just fucking left him there. <laughs> he didn't care about Yord, you could tell. Well, it was, he cared enough for, to be stunned for 30 seconds to let everybody else do things. What extraordinary beings we are. Look how clever they're being. We've, we've swapped the twins around. I think that tattoo is going to be like the reveal of who it is. Probably. That tattoo that they spent time on. Even though it should be the one on the forehead that should be visible. Like, at least that's covered by your bangs or whatever. Not really. I think she's going to them. You know? Yeah, it's not, it's not really covered. <laughs> you see the depth of our despair. I wish this guy wouldn't do the sort of whispering intense voice mm -hmm. where he talks mm -hmm. like yeah, this, uh, as if crazy. everything is really dramatic. By the way, same fucking guy who told us you can't kill the Jedi with a uh, laser. You can't, yeah, you can't use a weapon. He killed fucking all of them with... <laughs> it's just like, yeah, okay. Soul could have just ended it right then and there, but then he didn't. Yeah, because the get out of jail free card. You wouldn't do that. You're a Jedi. You I mean, go by the code. I mean, he was still dangerous. He could still use Hyper the Hyper dangerous. Force. Once again, it's like, good job, Osha. You stopped Soul from ending Ending the threat entirely. Consequence, she has now placed herself in Con serious peril. Consequence, yep. if, like, Yord got fucked up because she cares about Yord personally. It's like, how does she reconcile any of this? Yord had a duty to go back, one, one to keep the, uh, keep the civilian safe, but also to go back and inform the rest of the Jedi what the fuck's going on. That should have been at the forefront of his mind, as tough as that is, but that's the reason the Jedi are not supposed to form attachments to the level of not doing your duty. Soul's making this sacrifice of, I'm going to delay him, you guys get out of here, 
get the civilian safe, get that information out, whatever. And he, like, is following it to a T until he decides later, I'm not gonna follow it, actually. Consequently yeah. means that the fight Sol had with Smilo Ren could have had uh, Yord the whole time, but just didn't for no reason. And then later on, Yord comes in and just gets killed. Yeah, I don't know. Just the whole episode is filled with arbitrary ways of moving characters into and out of the fights. The pacing was particularly It makes no fucking sense, by the way. All you know. of them should have attacked Smiler Ren to begin with. They all got pushed over. Well, the, yeah, but then you had an instance where you had four of them doing it. It's like, where was Soul? Where yeah. was he? Yeah, Soul was beginning. absent randomly in the beginning. And Jackie. And, and Jack Jackie was too, and I, I would imagine your the implication would be, oh, Jackie got knocked out or some shit in that first wave. But Soul seemed to, like, come out of nowhere where not that long yeah, like after really that far battle. away so in some other direction <laughs> like obviously the helmet and the uh, gauntlet or whatever that he's wearing short at the lightsabers everyone's going to watch this and have no fucking idea what that is unless you're one of like the one percent of people that know i feel like they really should have done something to explain that away it's cortosis it's something that has been around in stars for a long time they brought it into disney star wars it's a super rare material it's not impermeable like beskar is but it does short out lightsabers temporarily now if it takes enough hits it will it, it will give out and it will break. So it's not like you're just invulnerable forever from it. They should have made their fader suit out of that instead so of I was, I was literally going to say, what do you think the first fucking question that comes up when you introduce something like this? That's stupid. You yeah. can't introduce a material like that. That's re that's profoundly retarded. How come every Jedi isn't wearing this as armor? I don't know what, how they're going to Shorts out lightsabers. It's, it's a super fucking rare material that's notoriously difficult to weave into any type of armor because it's very brittle. We would need to go to all the richest and most powerful characters in the universe. Why don't they have it? My argument for why no one would walk around with it in this era is they haven't fought another person with a lightsaber in centuries. But it doesn't really explain away no one else ever having it. Well, and why has I mean, it never been fucking talked have... about or introduced in any way that's significant? And what a, what a bungled... You'd think there would have been their style is to have some awkward conversation in episode two where someone goes, oh man, what's this bit of metal you've got here? And he's like, oh, that's cortosis. I'm going to sell it on the black market. It's worth a bazillion. It can short out a lightsaber. They need to do some setup to explain that before this fight. Yes, uh, which because I this is given away who Smilo Ren is. This but, is yeah. confusing as fuck to the average audience. They had no idea this was possible. I, I think a lot of people will just be like, well, that no was idea. cool. But I still think many people will be like, wait, what, why wasn't this in any do? of the other movies? I guess the best way to explain it, put it like this. Remember in uh, Game of Thrones where there's like three people in the fucking world that know how to work uh, Valerian steel back into things? That's kind of the way I would describe it, that it's that type of material that is super rare. It's not plentiful. This problem in terms of the nature of scarcity between like uh, high medieval fantasy society society and a galaxy right a galaxy just has so many more people and so many more places for the possibility of a craft to be developed yeah, with, for the money to pay for technology. it technology i'm not it's trying to say like same. i won't buy it but man it's going to be hard for me to buy it you know i think what annoys me about the armor is that it basically is just a timeout that will be convenient for whatever the writer wants to happen in the action scene the timeout is inconsistent all right well those guys are timed out for a little bit so they'll just stand there messing around with their lightsabers while yord can get injured all right time in and then they're dead. And then it's like, oh, time out. Can't use your lightsaber now. That enables this point to happen. Oh, time in. Now, now you're back into the fight. It's, it's, it bugs me because it's so transparent, like the purpose that it's serving. The ability to force, pull, and push people kind of at whim without any consequences is really lame when people should be using that shit all the time. I think they really need to incorporate more force blocks into all the combat. Yeah, they need to sense. show that like, you it, can't just yank people across yeah, the battlefield mm -hmm. or shove them down. Right. Like, and then the games knew this. Well, the, the duty pulled into the light saber wasn't even exhausted or surprised he was facing him he wasn't involved in the fight and he just got yanked in and killed it's like you can't just do that it breaks my immersion to see that happen because it just means feel like there was, he's an idiot there was this unwritten rule regarding force on other force users for a while where like they just didn't really do it much because i think the films didn't want to handle the potential implications of what it would mean if people can so, start yeah. throwing each other around with the force but that establishes a precedent right and now we're violating that precedent which introduces the question even though they're still not dealing with it, I'm having to ask the question anyway, so it's even worse. What's funny is I feel like the games almost introduce a better, and when I say the games, I mean there's all different ones with all different kinds of rules, but you know the notion of you could pick someone up and push them, or you can push amount of force, wind, whatever you want to call it, into them and they have to deal with that as pressure. Those are like two very different moves and it mm -hmm. feels like grabbing someone and picking them up is just something we've all agreed isn't really fully possible when it's also a force user. But we can make allowances for when you're like Palpatine versus a Padawan. You're like, I think I, we can, yeah, that feels fair. And, um, you I know, having Soul grab take. May and subdue her... It just makes everyone wonder, like, why aren't you doing that all the time, man? Can't do it to Smiler Ren? Sure, but can a group of, like, nine Jedi do it to Smiler Ren? I also, like, I'm very confused 
by you want me to take my helmet off so you can read my mind i don't know if they're implying that cortosis all of a sudden magically has this new power but, of like whatever right. or if they mean you have to look into someone's eyes to read their mind but he loses the helmet really. later isn't it just so much more infinitely interesting as Saul is like nah you killed my padawan and he just kills him they don't know how to make any drama they they're gonna like, keep well, smiling alive for longer or it would be over after that if we got rid of smile ren here and then you'd say yep. no actually it you sure could, would be over there's more story that you could tell but unfortunately no i will say i'm surprised that uh jackie and, and your died i wasn't expecting I was that i think one I'm they, they gave her died. the most I she had with one or the other she was the best of them all she, she whatever had more training than soul she got give like, that to everyone it was kind of insane the how long she lasted and it's really annoying because there's literally no fucking reason why she should last no longer than all of them all yeah all those no other idea who she is as she, well, she was like, still doing yeah. the fucking basic stick training it's so annoying why do you write it this that's way? how good the stick training is mauler the others they they stopped stick training prematurely. Oh, it's so they good, Rags. How come those thing. other kids couldn't defend themselves from Anakin? <laughs> what I wish we would have gotten instead of this series is a series that's actually from the Sith perspective. So say you've got these two Sith, they're of this lineage with the rule of two and everything. They've stayed hidden for hundreds of years. Somehow they fuck up, they make a mistake, and the Jedi do get wind of something. The Jedi start investigating these two points of view, the Sith and the Jedi. Actual Sith point of view. And of them trying to do everything they can to cover it up to stay hidden while the Jedi are kind of closing in. I feel like that could be an actual cool premise for a show if you wanted to include dark side force users and shit like that. But this one, I gotta be honest, I'm not even convinced that Smiler Ren, that Kaimir, I'm not convinced he's a Sith. I don't think it matters anymore, though, on the doesn't front matter. of how much it, it affects Phantom anymore. Menace. If he does report back there, hey, there's a dark side force user, red lightsaber, he said he might be a Sith, he's super fucking powerful. If Sol gets that away, that message away, before May does whatever she's gonna try to do, that is a massive fucking problem. Knowing how retarded this show is, he's probably not even gonna call it in. They're probably gonna fly back to yeah. Coruscant, and then May's gonna take off her shirt, and he's gonna be like, where did your tattoo go? And they're gonna have a fucking fight or something. I wouldn't be surprised, Ryan, if, if they ask him for a report, and he says it's unclear what he is, and that's all he says. What if after all this shit happens, and all these Jedi die, the actual Sith at the very end of the show show up and just kill Kymir, because he mm -hmm. was like causing too much of a problem, and they might be discovered. I wouldn't be surprised if this dude is like a precursor to the Knights of Ren people, more so than an actual Sith. There's nothing to work with. It's like saying he could be Jar Jar Binks. There's no reason to think otherwise. It could be a shape-shifted Jar Jar Binks if he had access to materials that allowed him to time travel and blah blah blah. You're just like, why would you even, what? That doesn't mean anything to me. Like, it doesn't, the interactions are nothing. Like, oh god, what if he's a proto-knight of Ren? Okay. The answer's going to be stupid. It always is. What's the point? This of was the same problem with r r his identity. If it had been anything else, it would have just been confusing. The fact that it's him is just like, fine. Well, actually, still the worst choice because this means that they could have prevented all of this had they just behaved like Jedi in episode two. There's a logical choice presented that is so obvious that the fact that they didn't do it every time you go, Ah, well, so do you remember, um, they need this to happen to enable the plot to continue. We speculated the reason they let him go was to allow her to have access to Kelnaka, right? But it turns out, no, they let yeah. him go because he's the fucking main villain. Oh, yeah, like, oh. I guess they subverted you there. Yeah, you they know? got me. <laughs> they got sure you. I underestimated the, their incompetence, for sure. In any other show, we would be assuming that Chimere was the red herring. Because it was so fucking obvious. From what we saw in episode two, the fact that he was able to subdue May the way he was. All the things they did in episode four. Clearly, he knows more than he's letting on. He's on the plan it when the guy shows up and any other show we'd imagine it was going to be like a swip swap like a swap for somebody else but no it's, it's just this guy this is their t form of subtlety this is their mystery <laughs> that was kind here well we still got some left you know that that flashback episode we're just waiting for it which will be next right yes, who knows so. why may didn't just tell osha during their conversation what actually happened because you have to speak in cryptic vagaries yeah, every time. Oh, I mean, yeah. surely this is something that she's gonna osha should be holding this against may forever on top of essentially everything that happened on this planet being her fault she abandoned her on this planet with no means of escape and then of course with the real possibility that she was going to get captured by Smilo Ren. These choices that these characters have made and their consequences should matter to everybody, but they won't. No, thanks to Ryan, we are understanding uh, cortosis. Mm. Wouldn't it be funny if I told you there was some kind of m metallic compound and it resists lightsabers and it, it was just called Frick? Like, if I just introduced that in the next episode, wouldn't that be funny? I mean, why not? The reason I say it, of course, is because that's how I feel about Cortosis, but ultimately it has precedent. But turns out, um, Frick does too. You're joking. <laughs> the reason I'm aware of this is because I've just been doing some browsing, and I'm seeing uh, Lil Platoon was complaining about the exact same thing that we would have been, because he's not as aware of all the canon. And someone said to him, and I thought it was a joke, but he's highlighted it's not a joke. Someone said, clearly you don't know anything about Frick. 
And it's oh, like, I hate Star Wars. Dude. It's like, I that's funny. You don't know anything about Frick, because that sounds one, made up. One major source of Frick was the Frickite <laughs> Minds of Groma 16. Like, that's. <laughs> which would be combined with Tidarium. Shut up. So they had entire minds of it. That <laughs> obviously the Jedi would... of frick. So the Jedi would be running around and they'd have frick armor. Oh, man. It was also very expensive, and as a result, it saw limited use in warfare. Ha, rags. Get yeah, wrecked. They... Oh, well, <laughs> I guess you. they said it was very expensive, and yet somehow every Jedi's running around with a lightsaber. It's got to be profitable to, like, mine frickite, which means someone's buying it. Is it actually called frickite? Yeah, frickite. It's, in the, it's on the thing you sent us. <laughs> you think frickite I read past the First fucking sentence. I could. I just. Yes. I'm already out. It's such a like. You gotta fucking be kidding me. Hold on. On a more extreme scale, at one point in the Galactic Civil War, a container of Frick was able to stay intact <laughs> when it was on the surface of Alderaan during its destruction. Yeah, that's how good it is. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's that good. You blow up you Alderaan. There's just this little case of Frick floating <laughs> through space. Well, that's why. That's how you mine it. What you do to mine it is you have a planet that has Frick, and then you destroy the planet, which leaves only. Only the frick <laughs> remaining, just floating in space. So you just grab that out of thin air and you take it home. I can't fucking stand this shit, man. Anytime you go after Star Wars for anything, someone will throw something like Frick at you. I'm gonna be honest with you, Cortosis and Baskar are cooler names, alright, than Frick. Yeah, maybe we don't go with Frick. <laughs> maybe Groma 16 doesn't need to exist. Yord finally had a moment that I liked from him. Pity it was followed by I a didn't... moment of Sol being retarded. It was on pause. I, was I on don't pause. understand how it happens in a production like this that the camera does not have object permanence. Mm. With so many heads in the game with so much attention some... on this, someone what? has to have said something. Well, it's One annoying of the Jedi because... rules is turn-based combat, I believe. They <laughs> clearly show, right, the helmet goes up, Sol notices that, so does Milo Ren, and then in comes Yord, May crawls away, because she's not going to be involved in the fight, and they lock up. This is the moment of Sol. Do something. It's all you, buddy. They're locked up. What's what's gonna happen? And then the show is like, no, he's not gonna do anything. They're instead gonna have a chat with each other. They use surprise thing, and then move, 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 break neck. And the craziest thing is, they cut back to Soul for a surprise shot. He's like, wait, what? What do you mean, wait, what? You're it's like, what were you doing? Line. You have telekinesis. Yep, and Yord's not useless power-wise. Like, if you had gotten involved with him, there's a good chance you could have taken Smilo down. Knight. Master Soul defeats Smilo Ren, I'm, so... I'm, like, struck by them, you know, those characters getting killed off and them going, ah, oh, see, look, that's, like, pretty dramatic. And then you think, man, those two characters, like, were barely characters. They didn't yeah, get much It's, it's probably worth attention. highlighting they obviously failed. Not that this is a surprise. They obviously failed to make us care about these people before they killed them. It's more interesting to me in the sense that I'm surprised that they did it rather than, well, hey, that was like really dramatic. On Jackie's death, which again, I just find it funny, he stabbed her three times, I think. Even the show was aware. It's like, we better make it more than once. <laughs> just in case people compare to the other shows. I suppose I am fascinated by the glimpses of, I guess, normalcy in terms of the way that you write stuff. Both Jackie and Yorn essentially did something that was significant before they died. Jackie destroyed the mask and then she died and then Yord came along and saved them just in time before he died. Okay, that's like normal uh, something right? like a character's yeah. death is tied to them doing something. Oh yeah, and and, and then you remember. But of course, it's undermined by the fact that the fight ultimately concludes with him getting away. Well, and and in a sense, opportunity cost of storytelling, the amount of things they could have done that would have been so much more powerful. This exactly. is what we ended up getting. We didn't get the reveal till Jackie died that Smiler runs lightsaber. Actually, he's got two lightsabers. He's got a little Shoto lightsaber as well, right. which is what he killed her with. That begs the question: When Yord comes in and shorts out his main lightsaber, why didn't he just pull a second? went out to take his head off instead of the neck snap shit. What I was going to bring up as well was that when Jackie dies, it cuts to Osha having a sort of feeling through the force that she's died, which I actually think is almost pathetic that they think showing them have a conversation in the previous episode and telling us that between scenes they've developed something is why it's meaningful that she dies here to her. You get, you get your shot of Smiler and Fist though with him going like yeah, I did it. And then she's like, oh my goodness. He's so cringe. He's such a cringe he's character. He's really, with, really with cringe. Martian without it, he's cringe. This is kind of adding on to what Rag said earlier about uh, it being more of an interesting thing to see Soul just give in and chop off Smiler Ren's head. Soul's been characterized as someone who's got a little bit more emotion than the average Jedi, and now he's been established as having a bit more darkness than the average Jedi too. Imagine having your Padawan killed in front of you like that, have the guy call her it, 
and not give a shit after he's killed several other Jedi. And you're stopped by who? Someone who, fair enough, was his Padawan, I think, six years ago, who's recently come back up and doesn't really understand anything about what's happening. I don't believe for a second her saying anything would have stopped him. This ain't Count Dooku. It's not like he's got no hands. You have yeah, to this is still dangerous. The idea you, that you, you wouldn't be able to justify this choice in the Jedi Code, like, it's just, it's boring and it's dishonest, I think. Are you seriously saying that the Jedi rules would forbade you from killing a Sith that has just killed several Jedi and clearly is willing to kill and has a greater capacity to do it than the vast majority of people who exist in this universe. The way he awkwardly moves his lightsaber past Smilo Ren while lifting it up so he doesn't he hit him. He brings it up yeah. past his head so the camera view can get a good idea yeah. of like it coming down. Say you did see Saul just not give a fuck and do it and then you see like Osha being shocked because maybe all the whispers that they've said are true, right? That the Jedi were never what she thought they was. Like, maybe the Jedi are completely justified this whole yeah. time. Okay, well. The way I would write that enforcer Jedi in theory would he would kill the shit out of this guy and the wind's like well that's not the Jedi code it's like yes it fucking is ask me a single question and I'll answer you like how this is a part of the Jedi code for sure motherfucker was killing everybody you can't disarm the opponent ever what exactly. if you cut the lightsaber in half what if you use the force to yank it out of their hands it's like well well, now you're screwed. If anything, you've you've eliminated your ability to stop them. She, I think, has saved his life by putting the light on his back and attracting the moths to him. It prevents him from having another duel with Master Soul that he may have lost and actually gotten killed exactly. in because you're allowed to slice someone's head off in the middle of a fight, but not the end of a fight. The reality is that, like, all of them have been dealt some serious... All of the surviving characters, that is, have been dealt some serious damage as a oh, consequence. Oh, yeah, loads of, of character decisions during action that are just terrible. What do you guys think is going to happen in episode? Six. I got nothing at this point, other than revealing the know. truth. May and yep. thingy will be mad. Smilo Ren maybe does an assault on the, the Jedi temple because he's mad. I think well, we're that... going to get Smilo Ren <laughs> trying to pill Osha. What, yeah, Ooh, you know, what, what if they switch it's sides at the cool. end? Yeah, oh. that's, that's what I think. Dude, that would be so embarrassing, but I think that's possible. Why would that was one of the Osha things I guess. <laughs> Shut up, Rex. That was one, of the, one of the things I guess would happen in this episode, it didn't happen the way I thought, but I thought that Osha would end up being captured by Smilo Ren and that May would end up being captured by the Jedi and they'd be in different camps, right? That would be like the next thing they did. Obviously, May wasn't captured. She's pretending to be Osha, but I guess I would be shocked if we got the flashback episode right after this, but I wouldn't put it past them to do it. I, I think I we have a little more the first flashback when we did. So I feel like there's a little too much hanging right now for them to do that reveal the flashback episode now. We still know from the trailers that Vernestra is going to be on some like forest or, or planet or something with her lightsaber whip. She's going to get involved in some way. I don't know if she's going to go because they didn't call in. I don't know what the fuck's going to happen, but we know we're going to get that sequence at some point. Good bet that nothing happens next episode at least, right? Probably nothing. They were like, well, no, guys, calm down. So much amazing stuff happened in this episode. We got to we gotta slow it down and build back up to a crazy finale. Such a wonky-ass season. But there we are. That is episode five. So... Wonderful. So epic. Thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye. Yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. Next incredible episode. Later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Basil makes that fucking annoying, terrible, awful screech noise. <laughs> and then the not Sith just, just kills him right there. And he falls down in half. He's like Buzz Lightyear at the beginning of Toy Story 2. <laughs> And then it cuts to rest. No, 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 Oh, no, you almost no, had it. This game was terrible anyway. I'm glad it happened. I'm uh, gonna go play Elden Ring DLC. Might be able to make my way down here. You know what? Never mind. Huh? What'd you bring me? Hello. Okay. Hi, everyone. It's us. The we're the the acolyte. What what are we? We don't have the a... acolyte acolytes. Oh, oh the acolytes we of the acolyte. we should call ourselves the power of many because there's five of us. The five ones is what we should. Many. We're in a weird spot for this I... show right now. I don't know anything about this episode, and, and it's a bit of uncharted territory for almost everybody. We got a little bit of parent trap going on where the twins have swapped places. Which and... shouldn't last for any more than five seconds with Soul, but... Oh, it'll be, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just, like, can't get past that this was the premise of the show. Like, that it's, <laughs> oh, look, it's twins and one of them's evil. Oh. So the idea of them <laughs> technically the Oh, other look, it's twins and one of them's evil. The only thing that I think is reliable is probably that one of them will have their entire motivation flip. We already or had both. that happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've yeah, 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 so many times. Oh, again. 
yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, I, say, I appreciate yeah. the idea of a prediction there, but May has flipped three times already. Well, maybe it'll be Osha that'll flip this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, was, that would so shake <laughs> things up. <laughs> really that, cool. Yeah, that was kind of my guess as to what they were going to try to do this episode was now that you have them flipping sides they're going to start to hear from the other side and maybe become sympathetic and Bo should be like wow I never really thought about looking at it this way and whereas somebody has to stop Soul from calming this in right like that as soon as he calms oh, it in as soon as he okay. gets that there like like that that would blow everything up so put on your shitty writer's hat everyone last we saw him getting real close to the ship the ship has what we call uh, communication capabilities no no, Mahler, you're already giving him too much credit because at any point they could say the atmosphere of the planet <laughs> forest that so, uh, we're on is such that the AM magnetic. I'm glad you put on I... your shitty writer's hat, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> ahead of time. Possibilities, I was going to say. What can we highlight? Because they're going to go with one of them. What's going to happen? Is he going to get killed before he reaches the console? Is the console going to be broken? Is the atmosphere. It'd be like, oh, at nighttime on this planet means you can't communicate with anybody. Or, you know what? Carson's asleep. No one's there to contact sorry Sol. you have to wait till morning oh another I, option is that oh, the <laughs> may who is osha who's actually may is going to tell him oh we have to go back to get the other one of me so he's like oh okay and so they go back to the forest together she <laughs> like, makes I, like, a heartfelt well, like, I don't think that you guys are spec i think they're just gonna go back to coruscant the two of them and then they're gonna have like and she's gonna go into like the jedi temple or something and then she's gonna see the jedi and be like hmm, i'm having second thoughts or something that would be my guess well like i'm more... actually are gonna get there and have a conversation about the sith thing i will argue i'm more cynical words. than that I, uh, even though you could okay. argue it's more cynical to go either direction, I think it's gonna we're gonna have a really crappy stretch. Uh, uh, and you know what? The most reasonable, I can't be saying this, and I have a feeling they might do it. Is uh, Soul is like, I just need a moment. I'll, I'll be on the ship in a second. And she's like, Yep, yeah, okay. And she runs on and she goes into like the engine and tinkers. And then he comes on. And he's he's like, Oh wow, why, why isn't the communications I, working? Are you, are you, oh, you forget that they got on the ship in the last episode. They didn't just yes, walk we to were it. Forgetting. They got on it. Okay, whatever. Then, she could still do that. I, well, I'm I, just saying. I, I think that that's conveying that they are actually just going to head off. Like, they're just going to go back to Coruscant. And like then they, they will could... cast force communication jamming. Well, they could be about Maybe. ready to take off, or they could just leave the planet's atmosphere, and then should she do does bet. the thing that I said. Who, who, but who, who thinks are, they'll come up with something that damages the communications, or they go straight to Coruscant? I, I don't oh, yeah. think there's any way they're going to Coruscant. I think that there's going to be <laughs> something that comes up, whether it's intentional or just happened, like stupid coincidence happenstance. Something's going to happen where they're not going to Coruscant, and I don't think they're going to be get, getting off a... An actual Here, um we've been on this planet long enough and we need to change scenery i think for that reason alone they are going to coruscant they All have right. to Ooh. have the intermediate period location which is coruscant so that they could then go to the next interchangeable D, &D sci-fi so, bizarre town i'm voting hard on super contrivance to make communications not work I don't. I think I'm mostly aligned with Ryan. I don't think they're going back to cars. And Rags and Fring, you think there's more of a chance that having Theo, you're the deciding vote. Well, not not that that you actually. You get to vote on what sense. happens. <laughs> yeah. Please wow. vote on good, so it happens. Uh, he already said earlier that he thought it was. He agreed with you guys. Yeah. Yeah, and also one of the only things we saw in the trailer that still hasn't happened was Master Vernestra on what looked like a forest planet using her light web. Right. So that has to come at some point. I don't know if that's this episode or next episode because we still need a flashback episode thrown in there, right? Like. Like we're all pretty for convinced sure. that we're going to have another flashback be. episode. It could actually be the flashback, and then at the end of it, the last scene is Soul sort of saying the end of it, and it cuts back to him with with uh, May, right? I, I could, that could be it. But also, I, I, I'm i expecting the a bunch of Milo Ren talking about how he's actually the good guy as well. Yeah, the <laughs> Jedi tricked you, the Jedi are wrong, search your feelings, you know, tap into your anger and your rage, all that kind of bullshit. Mm-hmm. The funny part with all of the conversations surrounding this show, little of it actually has to do with the two main characters, Osha and May. People really don't give a fuck about them. But all the conversations boring. are, yeah, all the conversations are more surrounding. How are they going to wrap this up in a way that doesn't completely and totally shatter the idea of the Sith being discovered and, and stuff like that? I still would put it out there that they've already fucked it up because Soul as a character should have already delivered all the information that would mean Yaddy Mundi can't say what he says in Phantom Menace, nor can the, the Jedi Council conclude what they conclude. Manny Jacinto has confirmed that the stranger in the Acolyte is a Sith Lord. We wanted a character that was not just oppressive and powerful, but when you see him, you feel disturbed by him. 
I mean, I laughed at him. I can tell you want me to be disturbed by him. It's That's funny, sure. isn't it? <laughs> you tried so hard to disturb me that you made me laugh. Please, you can learn from this bad one. What can you say about he's that? A, like, he's well, a tryhard. He's a little tryhard. I mean, he's, he's a 14 year old. He disturbed the silence by making us all laugh. That's true. So, you know, in a sense, he's correct. I, he sent shockwaves through my sternum. I still can't get over the uh, the, the the breathing that they, they actually are that <laughs> shameless. They give spooky breathing to their bad guys. It's, it's embarrassing. It's so stupid. It's because Star it's Vader. Little head. <laughs> That's peak Star Wars. What are That's you talking you about? Do... You make a bad guy have it's, a breathing voice. It's bad enough they all have the black outfits. It's bad enough you had the evil red lightsaber and a spooky mask. You go as far as the breathing being altered as well. How you... did he get a lightsaber at all, anyway? Whatever. If he wasn't a Jedi, yeah, Rex, Rex, they litter it? planets at this point. They're just everywhere. You know, you loot one off of every body you find. The Sith did know how to create lightsabers as well. Part of the expectation, I, I think, is we'll find out there's, there's I, other shit going on by the end of the season. Yeah, so like, I, I don't him. think he's the master. Taking him at his word Bro, and saying yeah, that he is a Sith Lord, I think he's the apprentice. And, okay, so he has a Sith Lord and he's a Sith Lord, but when he had May as a student, she wasn't a Sith Lord yet, but she could have been if she put her mind to no, it. No, she was an acolyte, Rags. Yeah. Oh, sorry, you're right. You said, okay, who tried okay, to keep up. I, she's yeah, an a, she is an acolyte. I know it's an confusing. Acolyte I, know, I know that this show is very intelligently written, but... You it know, is. It's like, really you complex. Shot. You folks ready? I'm excited to find I'm out ready. how they're dealing with this communication thing immediately. Yeah. Let us... Me too. ...go. What is that? The episode that would have convinced everyone that, you know, maybe the show isn't isn't... 100% cringe just because of the lightsabers. That was it. What do you want? I want a pupil. Ah, uh, he's cringe. A he's I want so a pupil. fucking cringe, dude. What have you done? Have you forgotten who we are? I haven't She's learned who you are. Not. It's been 16 years since I talked to you, bitch. You brainwashed you. <gasps> and how she tries to take her in without having the force. Oh, so embarrassing. The haircut. Oh, just brilliant. Why would she, like, lift up her head while she does that? Wouldn't you just, like, move it? Yeah, I mean, you might slice like... your face off if you do that. Jeez. Yeah. It wouldn't look so incredible. She wouldn't be able to pose like that if she didn't do it. Yeah. Oh, so how God. does... Oh, so remind me... Red. Remind red. me about the tattoo. Oh, still not there. No, it's it's not spooky. The tattoo on the shoulder was just one that around. Osha got. Yeah, just a random tattoo. It's not. But... There is still that weird imprint on the forehead, though. Yeah, that's what um, I'm talking about. Which the should forehead. be very visible. Should be very obvious. You can yeah. see it a lot of the time. You can see it through her hair most of the time. So Exactly. <sighs> Oh, wait, is OSHA going to wake up fucking shocked and scared again for the fucking 17th time this show? <laughs> I I think it's really powerful. Oh, he's got a pool. Going to take yeah. her to the jacuzzi, just now, like Harvey said, Weinstein no. did. Oh, yeah, she got, like, seriously injured in the side because she force-pushed her off a ledge. Didn't look like she'd hit anything, but apparently Nice did. CGI wound, too. You making dumplings. I think he stole Kelnaka's grass stew, maybe. <laughs> maybe that's what he was doing there. Oh, wow. Well, he kills Kelnaka, then he's like, man, that is a good stew. <laughs> that's a good yeah. grass stew. This has got to be back uh, at his lair, right? On the, the, the fucking the island we got one shot the, of, yeah. The oh, the island where he made his little speech. If you attack a Jedi with a weapon... You will fail. Yeah, when, and ignite his <laughs> lightsaber for no reason. A little bit of a pose. Steel or laser are no threat to them. An acolyte kills the dream. Oh, it's a little floompy boy. Uh, uh, an adorable fuck? Star Wars critter. I don't know about adorable. Let's uh, let's calm down. Yeah, well, an adorable Star Wars knife. My gym shorts. <laughs> okay. And my yeah, boots. Gym, my gym boots. I have a feeling this is going to be a long episode, and I don't mean the time code. Oh, is this Luke Skywalker's Jedi Temple planet? Octu. It, it does look Bless like Octu, but I don't. I don't think that's what this is. I feel like it'd be unlikely they use that, but maybe. They I can, I can people, see him doing it. Well, they want to say, remember the, the, the good times during The Last Jedi? The good old <laughs> yeah, days? Getting nostalgic for TLJ. What is, with, <laughs> what is with the music in this pan out? 
Yeah, this is just an island. Like, it, yeah, this it's is not an even island. like a bad island. It's just it's, it's an a island. mossy island. You know, yeah. I've seen these before. They're not that creepy. <laughs> how yeah, long was it, it, islands how, aren't that creepy? I've seen. How long lost. was she passed out? <laughs> an island. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> England, look out! Ah! This very unknown unknown oh, I, Okay. I, I can't figure that why, out. Why? Just don't What's, put text Yeah, just don't there. put the just text. Just have no text there. instead of telling us it's an unknown planet. They just tap you on the shoulder like, you don't just know where this it. is, by the way. Just keep it, it unknown. You know, don't know what it is? I was going to say, that's such a weird thing to say, because it's like, wait, so the universe does not know? Or the yeah, characters are... Why are declaring that they do not know what this planet is? I'm pretty sure that Smilo Ren knows what planet it is. What, are you, if he's I mean, if, what if an odd choice. The name of it for himself. Is it? Like, uh... reminding me of, in uh, I think it was Infinity War, where they had space as the... Uh, the meme yeah, for Guardians. That was a funny meme. Yeah, it's funny, but th this is like unknown. You're like, oh. Back to oh, Kofar. All right, we haven't left yet. Okay. Okay. Why haven't? Oh, oh, oh here we, we go. Go. Every second right, counts. What's truth. happening? Moment of truth. Here we go. Let's see what happens. I feel like we wouldn't see them leaving unless something was going yeah. to transmission. transmission. Emergency code zero. One communication. Right. Oh, he's oh, doing the car. He's doing it. Like, oh, 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 sorry. Oh. He's like, uh, oh, oh, oh. My whole team is dead. I appreciate his acting. I'm going to try and point yeah. that out whenever I can. Oh, it's flickering. Has she done something? What's the reason? I really hope that it, she's done something to sabotage it rather than it's just that it, it's not working. <laughs> Are even going to be a reason? Basil knows what's up. He's like, you don't smell like her, even though she'll be wearing his clothes and she will smell very much like her. Please boost comms and run it. Please boost I, I comms. Oh my that fucking god. Time. I feel like she could have killed him while he was on the ground while she was getting her clothes yep. changed. You it know? really oh, doesn't make way, sense to I kill him now. Take the wheel. I don't like that. I don't like that he says take the wheel. I don't think that idiom is appropriate in this context to develop in Star Wars in this way. Yeah. Take the wheel. Mm. I don't think that yeah. would be. It's very earthy. They would say like uh helm. Take the helm. Take take the helm or, or even <laughs> Oh shit. Man, he is trying. Yeah, no, I feel bad for the actor, I really do. By the way, this isn't dependent on communications. Uh, the Jedi would have felt, what was it, like eight Jedi dying at all at once? Potentially. Um, Maybe. Is that really potentially? I find it likely that someone yeah. would have felt that. If one of those people had a master they were close to, it's likely that that person could feel them go. We have seen that, obviously, with Yoda in uh, Revenge of the Sith. But Yoda's also really close to a lot of these people that are dying all at once as well. Are Man, we really gonna weird, do this? This is a weird tonal shift to have him. Yeah, that's, yeah. There's out. no way we're like, doing this oh, here's now. A little, here's because a if this if this his, character was like a real character that could like talk and emote and stuff, that'd be one thing. But he's just been a goofball this whole time. They're playing the goofball music. It's weird to do and goofball like, stuff when we stage. yeah just after that. So he really wants to power this up to get information. <laughs> He can't even talk to people. How's he going to talk to that thing? Maybe that thing speaks his language. That's That could be. Or maybe they both speak robot. Yeah, they can communicate. He speaks Tinian, apparently. Why couldn't he just go to Osha, or sorry, to Seoul and give it to Seoul? Like, here. Could he write down stuff? Are they uh, going to rely on waste, him? Not well, let's waste lots of time here, please. Ooh, let's watch the go Sith on. guy get clams. <laughs> He's got scars. <laughs> You wanna know how I got these scars? He's gonna go take a bath, a Sith bath. What is your plan? Are you gonna throw that at him? You think he can't catch it? God, this Careful, is something. You know, the longer you wait, the further he gets from you. <laughs> I, I think she might just be a perv at this point. <laughs> we got a lot of episode to go through, so this is this oh, is good stuff, man. guys. It's just take your time. You wanna pick up the pace? No. How does it feel? Don't move. What? <laughs> you think? Are, are you in range there? What, what the fuck are you talking about? Lightsaber throw. Your stance is good. Is it? Your stance is good. You should keep your other elbow up higher. What do you mean, my other Which elbow? Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't established the one we're comparing it to. If you're not going to join me, I'd like to put my clothes back on. Is that an invitation to just get in there and fuck? 
I think like, so. That, Why not? Hey, so they're all about passions. I'm wondering if it's honorable to kill me like this. Without clothes? She look at, oh, she looked at his <laughs> she, dick. She, she, she totally did. just looked she at did. his dick. She cock. looked at his dick. They wanted to make I mean, sure that we to... noticed that, by the way. It's kind of weird. He needs to commit to having a mustache or not having a mustache. Oh, what? What are you going to do? I'm going to yeah, expel very him from the Jedi Order. Uh, yeah, you're really right. Now, now, instead of just trying to add the extra gravel. Am I supposed to be your prisoner? Prisoner. You're the one with the weapon. Uh, that doesn't mean she's not a prisoner. If a slave sneaks away and steals a gun, that doesn't... Uh... I don't know why. Why do I bother? Why do I? Why do I bother? It's like one division. Taking an entire town hostage. Well, I'm not the one with the guns, director. Did you kill Saul? No. He taught you the Jedi arts, but he's more to you than that. Please relay more exposition. <laughs> you killed a lot of people. A special relationship, isn't it? Master and pupil. Master and pupil is a good relationship. I would like to have that relationship myself. I don't actually want to kill you she because of words you said it on just right now. There. Could have just turned it on, and he wouldn't have been so able to So I don't know that, that we've been given why much to explain just, why not. It's all that he said, like, hey, that would be kind of bad though, right? And then she just agreed. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's so charismatic. I mean, jeez. It was an aggressive hug. He corrupted your sister. If you're going to pretend to be Osha, at least give him a hug back. Like, <laughs> it, it, Jesus fucking Christ. It's time for me to face the High Council. This episode could have begun with him talking about the truth, but oh well. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Really? <laughs> what the fuck? Really? <laughs> What's happening? They did it twice? Like, if they're showing that, like, she's doing this, then I can, like, at least be okay with it, but... Do you want to take a look? Give me a couple minutes. Like, that first one, it didn't necessarily look like that was her fault that it that the transmission fucked up is it yeah is it too random that is so lazy it's so lazy 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 what is it mark he's called mark <laughs> mark oh, okay. we received a distress call from master soul i don't think they get back to cars and guys <laughs> no i don't think so now there were casualties who the entire team <laughs> this nerd. if he had a persona he'd be a beaver <laughs> Prepare a rescue team to depart for the planet Kofar immediately. Uh, how do you know where he is? I sent him there. Well, we want to go and investigate either way, you retard. I don't... Ah! Uh, every line! You speak as if you were a Jedi. I was. He's someone's apprentice. Gonna Soul's first apprentice. Reveal. I've never heard of you. Something you would have heard of every Jedi? It was a really long time ago. It was a really long time ago. They like... look that old. Writing anything substantive is... A radioactive concept to the people who make this. If you keep me here, Soul comes to you, and his strength in the Force is very powerful. And then as soon as a question gets posed that could be interesting, somebody just walks away from the other person. Yeah. You think that his strength, that's your strength in the Force, Osha. I was talking about a different person. It doesn't even make sense. I'd start swimming if you want to make it to the ship before sundown, or you could wait for the tide to go out. He's doing the meme. He's like, you're he not doesn't have to, she doesn't. Leave. She just has to swim to that little part there. It's actually not really, she probably, she wouldn't even need to swim you could just walk to the yeah you just walk okay, there. i would I go. go i would yeah. definitely go yeah walk go 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 you need to leave this guy's a murderer crazy psychopath lunatic okay oh, oh. We're already snap back. yord's neck I snap know. yord's uh, neck uh, uh, Jackie. Eh, it doesn't matter well if she left she'd take his, presumably the only transportation then she could go and get people and yep. be like, yeah he's here on this planet here are the coordinates go get him boys and in exchange you're not gonna like you know da, da, da. <laughs> Oh, God. Don't do this. Uh, Fucking kill this piece of shit, please. Do this. What We're doing funny. What the fuck is happening? Relax, okay? That, I wouldn't have that heard. Probably wouldn't. That, no. They don't have steel-toed boots in space. <laughs> Dude, come on. You, I think he did it out of the maintenance section of the ship. It wasn't does like- the robot, I mean, Does the robot understand she could just break him? Reset you to factory settings. Oh, she just killed oh, him. They're resetting wow. him to factory defaults like a fucking iPhone. Yeah, she just killed him. Yeah, she just killed him like C3PO got killed. Factory <laughs> default is red, and Osha set it to white. Is that what mm, I saw? I well, that so. depends on if it's evil or good. It's like the yeah. robot in Kenobi, the yeah, little one that, that flew. When he was evil, May, he was red. It's evil. Why is factory default red? Can you run a check on the power system? Apple Wait, she just said, can you run a check on... So she hasn't been sabotaging it. It's just happened. It's just happening. It's just late. It just I said, that's why I said lazy, lazy, lazy. I thought they were going to reveal to us that she'd been tinkering with it. 
These creatures can't move. Stop trying to pretend that they can. They can hop around <laughs> on their little legs. And they also can use their snout as an appendage to bounce around like a tripod. Exactly. Ah, I see. Without training, it fades. And that's what they told you. That's just normal. Well, that's just everything. Yeah, the less you do with it, you the less do you're familiar with the thing. You don't do anything for a long thing. time. Yeah, it fades away. But there is another way. Bad writing. <laughs> Below the surface of consciousness are powerful emotions. Anger, fear, loss. Those Freaking are conscious. conscious. Those. Yeah, how, those how are far, very conscious. How far the episode going to go with this? Are we going to get the most surface of surface, I wonder? That's the path to the dark side. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Semantics. No, you killed a lot of people. Okay, now keep talking. <laughs> you're, like, you're like a hyper murderer, bro. <laughs> you murdered my friends. There you go. You yeah, murdered my friends. Yeah, there you go. You killed Yord. A man who didn't hesitate to turn you in. For a crime you didn't commit. Well, they were going to well, have they, a trial. He they was taking they, they him freed her as soon as. Of a crime. Yeah. yeah, they freed her as soon as the information reflected she was innocent. He let her keep the gun and everything. Yeah. Wait. I trusted her. You killed Jackie. And where did you think that was going to go? Why do you love people who can only go so far? Is that implying that there was actually like a little romantic feeling towards her and Jackie? That, those lines right there? I think so, yeah. So talking about Fuck. what future they could have had. I mean, they, they had such a great relationship off screen, so. I'm not my sister. I'm not that easily corrupted. Yeah. Apparently you are. We'll see. You're already you like, pretty guy, chill with him. That's all we got. Remember, he's unarmed, even though you can kill anybody at any time. Aren't you forgetting something? Uh, keys, phone, wallet, ID. What's the My point lightsaber? of recognizing yeah. someone is armed or unarmed if it has nothing to do with their potential to kill? You stayed here to do something. Do it. Yeah, kill him. Kill him. Kill him. He's do evil. It. Kill him. He's evil. Kill him. Kill him. He's evil. Yes, kill him. Do it. Kill that man. Stab him. Turn it on. A Jedi doesn't attack the unarmed. Saying that cringy line, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it's just something they invented as well. You're never unarmed. You have telekinesis, mind powers, and you can snap necks. He's an ex-snapper. We watched it happen to poor Yord. He killed the Yord horde. This anger, this pain, this is who you are. It's a part of me. And that's why they threw you away. They didn't throw me away. Because I left. Man, he's really getting to her after a few seconds. They failed! Oh, God. <laughs> How are you gonna kill him? You're you have to, you have to tilt kinda it. awkward to yeah. <laughs> I lost everything. Did the Jedi take everything from you, buddy? Yeah, did they kill all your family and kick your dog? <laughs> did they take your grass soup? So Wow, we're really speed uh, running he... speed running this yeah. relationship, aren't we? They got no time okay. to not have them get Zero to the sentences of elaboration. Yeah. It's so and... funny. You spend five minutes with a Sith and you're basically already turned. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's how dangerous they are. Yeah, they're really dead. No wonder the Jedi have a job to do here, yeah. Mog. Mog! He's called yes, Mog. Yes, Mog. <laughs> they call him Mog because he's weird. <laughs> His name was look. Steven. They're like, we're calling you Mog from now on. We're calling you Mog. <laughs> I'm sure that these casualties are due to the planet's uncharted environment. What the fuck is what? wrong with him? We got a message where the whole team was killed on this mission to go get somebody, and he's like, no, don't go check it out. Is he like a plant? Is he a Sith? <laughs> no, I understand why he's I thought Mog. you meant, is he a plant? Just like a house plant? <laughs> he acts a plant would be smarter. <laughs> Are we really not done? The whole the whole episode is bullshit. This is a waste as fuck. Bullshit. Basil thinks she's evil, right? And she knows that. So shouldn't she assume she's, she's compromised? Letting him li yeah, I would kill that motherfucker and put him in a closet. How could I not have sensed that villain's true intentions? It would be clever if Sol knew all along and he's acting like he doesn't know. And then he I'll has only to like that her if later. He does not get fucked over by her. You see what you want to see. He fooled us all. Hmm, maybe they are trying to give away that he knows. I had to lose a lot of myself in order to become a Jedi. Did you? Could you tell us about that? What parts? Have you told me everything that happened on Brentok? This was what I thought the episode was gonna be, was talking about what happened on that stupid planet. And how far are we in? Near the end of the episode, probably? You can tell me. All right, this is t this can be this. Uh oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, we're doing that later. Hello, is anybody there? Can you hear me? Why is she so obsessed with getting communications? My name is... <laughs> Well, okay. Guess he knew. Well, but why was that the time to knock her out? Basil, Basil told, told him. Basil told him. Oh, so he Basil didn't know. Him. It was just that Basil told out. him. It Where's the lame. tattoo? It wasn't there. But it she didn't even be. account. My idea yeah, was they better. didn't even do the tattoo reveal. Yeah, what the fuck? Leave your transponder off. What? Uh, Hold on. Why? Um, why? Don't do this. I'm very confused. Where the fuck are you going? 
going? Oh, where are you going, dude? Did happening? you have coordinates locked in someplace? It looks like you just punched on the- Oh, really? Oh, what the oh, really? Oh, no, the fuck you wait! They're in the yeah, outer sure, rim! <laughs> They're in the <laughs> outer <laughs> rim! That took them like second, 30 minutes! By a second! Unbelievable. <laughs> Uh, also on the almost exact they same put, spot, too. Uh, they put fucking time frames on that shit. When Mog told Vernestra, he said it'll take like 20 minutes to until we leave. Our team is ready to and we depart in 20. So they were sitting on that fucking thing for maybe half an hour. Seems an Umbramoth colony hatched last night and wreaked havoc on a local settlement. If the Jedi had been anywhere near that colony. They're gonna try and frame Sol, aren't they? I don't know what the fuck is going on. Why isn't Sol invested in he was invested in telling them what happened and now he's not is now his new mission to go find where osha is or something unless he's trying to actually like actively hide something there's no reason for him not to tell them is he what evil he's doing. is that what's going on he seemed invested and he surely knows the nature of getting this information out and he had everything on a plate can you give the same pitch to my sister i thought she wanted more than just revenge more than just revenge he's working on his little smile mask fixing it up he shouldn't even have soul should have that very convenient he needed that part of his robe where'd you get that scar how do you think i Got it. Ah, you fell? A, 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 a skiing accident? He was betrayed. Oh, Looks like someone stabbed you in the back. Someone who threw me away. He was thrown away by the Jedi rags. Don't think that's what it looks like when you get stabbed in the back, by the way. He got slashed in the back, but in a like a curvy way, and then it came oh, back down. Oh, the like lightsaber, a lightsaber whip. whip. Yeah. Kurtosis. Handy against lightsabers, but also a sensory deprivation headpiece. Like we used as younglings. Oh, wait, all the younglings wear that? Oh, is that what you can read their okay, minds? Uh, so so no. all the younglings use it for practice, and you don't make armor out of that? They're talking about, you know, the helmets that they had on them in Attack of the Clones when Obi-Wan walks in. They're not called Kurtosis, but just, they block so out. So you can't see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Similar to the uh I will say it's a little confusing, that, though, because I thought that that was his way of explaining why you can't can't read people's minds if they have the helmets on. What's she gonna put it on and say, I want to be what, what, Smilo? What? <laughs> She's gonna turn what, it upside down know. and I am Crowno Ram. Oh, hey, Jackie. Please show Yord with his cracked neck. I want to see Yord with his head on sideways. It's so funny with how they're allowing information to trickle out. They just won't... The thing that should have happened by now is the full information should be, oh, there he is. Full information should have been given to everybody. But for some reason, Soul is acting ridiculously out of character. And so now these guys only have pieces. So I, they I, can I, go I, and misconstrue uh, those pieces. They had two different delays on their communications Dude. to prevent them. But now I don't know what they're doing. Stop with the dramatical, like, sound effect stings. I know what <laughs> happened. Them. She's sensing it's... it through the force, Theo. Watch out! Why wouldn't Vanestra have felt this? Hey, there it is. Wow, that's cringe. That's yeah, yeah, oh, it even goes slippy. You don't think Master Soul was responsible? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. What nonsense. Who else would possess the power to slay such a strong group? I feel like they've actually pointed now to Vanestra being the Smiler Man's master. Not necessarily Maybe. evil, just that she was a, the master. Potentially like uh, a bad Jedi master. The lightsabers weren't taken or anything like that, so they weren't like investigation stuff they could have done. We should prepare these bodies for burial. That line about burial the bodies was ADR, by the way. They didn't do that uh, in the first time around, they, but they recognized like, funny. oh fuck, two instances of us not giving a shit about the corpses. You can pry, you can pull your hand through that. Man, that's, this is that's this all, is the last that's scene. That's huh? He's gonna say, I'll tell you what happened. And then oh my gonna... god! <laughs> I have no intention of harming you, May. Where's Osha? No, we, we gotta do it way slower than that, Rex. We have a lot to do. We need to save Osha. You and I are going to talk. Oh my god, that is glacial. It's not just slow, it's slow and we're learning nothing. I've had 16 years to think about what I would say to you if I ever got the opportunity. Like, uh, yeah, it's, it's slow without substance. Oh, is it done? Oh, one okay. more. One oh, more. One more. Oh, please, please put it put on, on and breathe. Milo mask. Yeah, put it on Milo. Put it on. Oh. Do it. Become, Become the, Smilo. the Smilo. Touch it and get a flashback of memory. Oh, this is a oh, planet it's where a vein it's of or. That's a vein. That is a vein of cortosis, yeah. That's uh, hyper valuable, that vein right That's there. Insanely valuable, yeah. That's interesting. How long is this before? 130 Phantom years. Man? Okay, that's worrisome. Come on, put, put it, it on. Yeah. Put it on, do Tower, it. do it. Do then it. Breathe like do Vader. It. Breathe like do Vader. Oh, they didn't show like... her putting oh. it on. Breathing, yes. Oh, that looks silly. <laughs> it looks like it a, looks so... a little boy wearing oh a mask. Oh my god. Yes. This is this is Star Wars. Star Wars. 
incredible. How does he see <laughs> with that? Oh, wait, how does he see through the little eye slits? They, if he can't well, use the it was force, defined as a sensory one, deprivation. Right? Dude, so, yeah. Yeah. No, that's what I no, if it's sensory deprivation, then he can't like sense the force through it, can he? No, it's no, sensory like, deprivation. Like your, your, so your five senses. Force. That was uh they call that an episode of TV. Worthlet 30. I thought that was an episode. This this is designed to keep people interested and to tell them a story. That's what this is supposed to be. Isn't that crazy? They they don't know how to do it. They actually can't fathom how to construct an episode of television. It's crazy. That is we just needed to contrive essentially um, for 15 minutes why they couldn't leave the planet, only to leave as soon as the other Jedi arrived to then create a suspense of Yeah, it was kind of the worst version of what we expected. You know, if He's the bad guy, and then it's just those two walking around on the unknown planet, talking about vague like philosophy relating to the Jedi and the Sith, and then she's probably going to become evil or something. They did what we said though, the uh, crackly, sprackly communications, and then the communications just outright stopped working entirely. The whole ship went down. By the time it went back up, and Sol had the chance to say directly what happened, to report it all to the Jedi, he's like, "No, I want to have a moment with May." Which you is think that's fucking nuts to me. What you were expecting because it was yes. twice. Well, because. Like, not only did they do it twice, which was my low expectation, but still the one that I thought they would do, they then gave up. They were like, fuck it, he just doesn't. I need more more of the show to be able to properly explain my issue, because I need to know what they're going to argue his motivation is. Is he so desperate to talk to May about what happened on the lesbian planet that uh, he's willing to prevent the Jedi Order from knowing about this Sith? Or like, does he think that if they send all the Jedi in, Osha will get killed with him? I, I don't understand how you would make the determination from telling everybody what happened to, we, we gotta keep this quiet and do it ourselves, just me and May. It'd be safe to assume the next episode is going to be the flashback now because both sides yes. are set up yep. to experience something right and is the point going to be that one of them has grown up hating the jedi and she'll find out the nuance of the situation while the other one grew up kind of liking the jedi and will understand that they failed in that you know what i mean turning them both yeah. and then they'll think isn't that clever we flipped their allegiances like just like that instantly well, yeah that was but truly pathetic the uh the five scenes with Milo to convince her to just not be antagonistic toward the man who broke the net. What was his excuses for those? When she was like, you killed Yord. He's like, he arrested you for something that you didn't do. And then she moved on to Jackie. And then it was like, you think you were gonna, like, be friends with her? And that was it. Those were his <laughs> <arguments>. <laughs> This is what I mean by pathetic. It's like, first and foremost, <laughs> Yord was just doing his job. It does seem like he seriously thinks that it's basically all downstream from they are antagonistic to the Sith, so that gives me the right to kill every single one of them. And she seems to buy it somewhat. Yeah, she's which totally Along Which for is the particularly ride. strange when she saw all of that play out in front of her eyes, like all of these Jedi dead. And yeah, it's, she it's came like to it... the planet with them. Their mission was explicit. They were, they were trying to get to Kelnaka, who got killed. And then they Stop all got the killed. The Smiler Ren tried to kill her, and Soul saved yeah. her. She didn't even bring that up. Yeah. It's really frustrating to watch them think that they're doing a meaningful exploration of the ideology of the Jedi and the Sith, when it, basically you're just relying on really dumb characters, not saying obvious retorts to each other. We need a we need a Simpsons reference, Fringy, and, and I got the perfect one. You know when he says, ship's just over there, you could go swim, you can you can leave. He's trying to do his like zen sort of, uh, I'm here to offer you insight, but you know what? You can leave whenever you want, not a prisoner. I think if she had started swimming over there, he would have it would have been like Mr. Burns when he says, here's a phone, call someone who cares. And then they start typing, uh, <laughs> yeah, put it in 999, yeah, 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 and then he goes, nah, stop. <laughs> if she had started <laughs> swimming was, over, he would have been like, like, no. I was thinking of a different reference. Do you remember like the anthology episode where it was um Chief Wiggins and Skinner in like New Orleans as private detectives. Yeah, yeah. And then they did like the boat chase and then the bad guy just jumped into the river and slowly swam away yeah. as they walked <laughs> very, very slowly moving away. I don't believe for a second he would be okay with her leaving. And she, she's... Especially with his lightsaber. And his just... only ship to get on and off the planet. He's exactly. so full of shit. Like, like if she did leave, immediately tell people where he is, he would obviously be upset about that because it would offer a bit more about this character. Smiler Ren is it. So she swims and she gets to the other side, stands up, and he's just standing there already like, I can't let you leave. Like, actually. I was hoping you would. <laughs> or he just, like, force pulls her out of the fucking water yeah. or something like that. It's insane how little was said and how little progress we made in this episode. It really does feel like the, uh, which one of them ends up evil or good and who they kill is all the writers have got, and so they know they just gotta stretch that over the, uh, the episodes. Who are these characters that basically, like, one conversation, one scene, will instantly flip their motivations to, like, like the yeah. opposite side. The the thing that's becoming very apparent with Osher and May is they don't really have much conviction at all 
May immediately decided, nah, I'm done with this acolyte thing as soon as she found out that Osha was alive and was like, oh, I'm just gonna turn myself in. I'm done with that, like, instantly. So seemingly no principled opposition to the Jedi or much consideration for all of the other people, part of her family who died, that she thinks the Jedi was responsible for. And then Osha can, like barely make arguments for why she thinks the Jedi are good, other than the most basic ones possible, even though she trained with them for years. Why is it so easy to, like, erode your central motivations and beliefs, like, in one day? Even on a more visceral level than principles and convictions, like, could you maybe try and sell as an actress that, like, uh. supposedly friends and people you care about were killed in front of your eyes and they're dead and this is the guy who killed them? Could we maybe attempt to begin to try and convince me that you're, like, a human being? She's it been is, pretty uh, bad. He stole you from us. My sister is dead! Attack me, Jedi. Because I failed! You lie! Hey, that really sucked! And it's interesting because it's like, oh, it's a dual role. So, you know, like playing people who are very different. But I mean, they're both incredibly flat. And especially when you compare it to Sol, who in that one scene, that's probably like the only scene in this episode that I like. Him basically standing there in silence for about 30 seconds, running through a range of emotions. And it's just an actor basically doing their job to the best of their ability. But then to follow it up with Basil going around doing his shit. What were you thinking? It's then a setup to him pointing out to a direct, like, why did he run up to her to let her know he thinks she's evil and then not tell Soul immediately, instead rummage around the ship? And then why is she not being like, oh shit, so I'm on a ticking clock now? What's the point of her, like, sabotaging and, and killing the, uh, the droid if she's gonna get captured straight away anyway? Or is it gonna be that the droid will be secretly working in the background to get her out of her locks and then she's gonna fight soul and win and get away. Why set up the tattoo? I yeah. don't know why they set up the tattoo when they didn't do anything with it. You're right. Maybe it'll be later when May finally confronts oh, Smilo yeah, again. May maybe like a which one do I shoot situation <laughs> and then it's like, look, the tattoo. <laughs> it feels like nothing we couldn't have figured out from the first two episodes if I'm generous has actually taken place. We got a tiny little tease of more of the Sith of Chimere that he was a Jedi at one point. He says it was a really long time ago, but he doesn't look that old so again I, I don't know a lot of these things there. don't feel like substance they feel like stuff we could have interpreted even from that final scene of episode one we could have said to us i was like oh he's probably like an ex-jedi he's familiar with their teachings and stuff do we think that the flashback is going to take up the whole of episode seven and if so that means we only got one episode to wrap up what i have to assume is like a variety i mean that power of two things got to come to a conclusion right is it going to be like osha and may reunite and then they tap into like a new aspect of the force or something and beat smile around I got, honestly i got nothing I don't know what they're gonna do in yeah. the last episode. I know it's funny to say, considering how much time has been wasted, but we are running out of time to wrap this up, especially if the next episode is gonna I mean, be. She wants a season two, back, okay? So the rest Does of she story. want a season two for yeah, this? The rest of the story will happen there. Oh shit! Okay, well then, in that case, then yeah, whatever. Anything could happen. I have no idea. I thought that this was one and done. I would not be surprised if uh, they bait. A bigger, spookier Sith with no identification. Oh, just yeah, no, he, he's one hundred percent. They're gonna do that. Like brown or red with a big old frown but, on his face. Frown, no. in, in one of the interviews out there, Leslie Headland said that two Sith lords will appear in this season. Oh, so, so that'll be the, the other one. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Well, if it's people that we've seen as of right now, Vernestra is like up there in terms of if you had to pick somebody that has appeared already of who was the Sith Lord, it would probably be her. But I just don't think they're gonna go that way with her. Although. Could be there horny. might be a connection. There might be a connection between Vernestra and Chimere with the wound think, that think, he had on him. Yeah, and the fact that we of, know um, he had a master at one point. She had a lot of expressions in the when she was walking around, and and the guy said when he said it could be Soul that did all of it. She said something. Uh, That's a big accusation to make. Well, there's that, but she also said something like something to tip the scales. It was very mysterious. Well, yeah, I, I that, could oh, believe I that this was is. her apprentice. He fucked off, and now she's like, oh god, he's back and he's doing mean things. Whether that, she's secretly evil is another that. thing. I don't know, but she's not secretly evil. She's just evil by incompetence. Oh yeah, well uh, that's everyone. She's the one that's been, <laughs> the one that's been hiding. Unfortunately, all like it's so annoying. Soul is is such an awful person in a lot of ways, but the actor is just pulling me back. You know, what's sustaining a show like this for the people who like it in earnest is the same thing that sustains a lot of the Disney Plus, like Marvel and Star Wars television shows, which is that uh, it's all essentially constructed to keep you in the dark. Like, oh, I wonder what's gonna 
to happen next episode. Oh, I'm so hyped. Oh, look at that ending for this episode. That's exciting. But then once it's all said and done and the answers are revealed and they're always unsatisfying, once you lay it all out without, oh, what's going to happen? And then getting on Twitter and, and on Reddit and like engaging in all of the speculation about what's going to happen and, and how important the show is. Once everything's revealed, you realize that it was really bad and really a waste of time. <laughs> Media hardtack. No, hardtack sustains you. I guess uh, so. It gives, it gives you life. <laughs> it lasts. It's got staying power. You know, empty media calories. I don't know. You know, this is like uh, like spoiled milk doesn't sustain you. It doesn't last very long. You'd rather be drinking anything else. It um, feels a little like if this the acolyte were on a DVD of the season, and then there's a secret little thing if you press right, right, right on the controller, you press play, and they introduce this as this is a bunch of bonus footage that didn't make it into the show. It's like yeah, we cut know, all this because we found it was just super. <laughs> I still can't believe that they had Sol take off into hyperspace and the other Jedi appear like <laughs> a <laughs> second funny. fucking second later. later. They introduced so many things that can give you a time frame. This guy calls in. It looks like Mog goes straight to Vernestra and tells her, hey, go prep a team. I don't know how long passes after that, but they meet each other next. It's like, hey, we're leaving 20 minutes. Okay, I'm going to go with you. While all this shit is happening on the ship, the power goes out and May's like, hey, give me a few minutes to find this. Fucks it with Basil. Has Pip run a diagnostic and the power will be up in a few minutes. So we're talking about a half hour to an hour of time and these motherfuckers get from Coruscant to the outer rim of the galaxy. It's a small galaxy. It makes galaxy. no fucking sense. That's what sense. we're learning. This is consistent. It's a very tiny place. It's very small. You know, it's very cozy. Acolyte, episode six. See you later, everybody. Bye. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Fuck this show. What if I reset you to factory settings? I am alive! Hello! What'd you bring me? Hello and welcome to Hopefully Something Happens. The episode. It's oh, a big reveal it's time. <laughs> it's time for Sol to it... lay it all on the line, you know? Does, does it strike you as funny that it was like right. the last episode it's almost everyone was just like, all right, next week. This one's just the... It the, was the... just, we were on board. <laughs> like, yeah, like, it was... it's... It's like we hit a red How light get away with it? in the road, and it was I mean, like, well... <laughs> it's seriously, the the, it's like the riders in the riders' room. Okay, the challenge for episode six, how do we keep Sol on his ship, not talking to anybody for a whole episode? <laughs> Thoughts, ideas? <laughs> what if the power goes out? Oh, shit, brilliant. All right, what if the power goes out? Great. That's so good. And they're like, oh, wait, that only buys us like five or ten minutes. Well, what if the comms malfunction as well? Oh, like, you throw yes, that in. Yes, yes. Okay, Ooh, yeah, yeah. That'll stuff. push us up to that 25 minute runtime. The yeah, there's some guy taking notes. Have a fight with Azel. Oh, sweet. What if the yeah. button doesn't work? Guy taking notes says, wait, sorry, why did why did the power go out? And then they, they just all look at him like, huh? Oh, because it broke. <laughs> yeah, okay. Because so it broke. That's yeah, because the power goes out, right? Oh, yeah, of course. 100%. It, Cause yeah, power go broke. What do we do for our other plot line? Oh, I don't know. Smile Ren naked. That'll other do it. Spend a lot of time on the enemies to lovers trope. Let's do that, please. I don't really know anything specific, but I've seen a couple of pieces of images that I've scrolled by because this episode has gotten people incensed. We're looking at another one where things do happen, but uh, how much things happen will be up for debate. The main thing, because I've been on a couple of shows where they've been like, you know, nothing is to actually be discovered. And I keep saying how evil the Jedi is what's to be discovered. That's the main thing Pretty I've much. always wanted to know throughout this whole fucking season is how evil they're making the Jedi. What will be the nature of the Jedi's failing? Because obviously from the show's perspective, the Jedi will have failed here. But what does that actually mean? Mm -hmm. Does it mean that they really screwed up or is it some bullshit writing that uh, uh that's well, I'm expecting just comical evil from the Jedi who we don't really have much mm. on. So Indara and like maybe Kalnaka. Kalnaka. And Torben's not going to and do Torben anything really. that would justify Torben. his death. He's not going to do anything. I'll agree with Sol that, but it, Tor Tor surely that Torben's thing. the one that will make a decision that's going to fuck everything, because he's the one with all the guilt, at least more than he's everyone. He's the one yeah. who, was, who, well, who mm. killed himself I just, at I don't think they're going request. to. I don't well, think they will do justice to that guilt, is what I'm trying to get at. I, no, I agree. I think, uh, I think they're not going to do justice to it, but they are going to think that it was the right thing for him right. to do to kill himself. Like, that's, yeah. that's the perspective <laughs> that you're probably going to tackle this from. Uh, like, we, it, it's something that was so bad that Torben sat in silence for 10 years, then killed himself the first opportunity he could, which, if I had to talk to a man with Stenberg for that long, I might do the same. But then Kelnaka felt so bad, he went to another planet and made grass stew and jerked off for a couple of years. Oh, Soul I'm looks like he wants to kill himself all the time. That, uh... Yeah. Marco was had he had like illustrations up on his wall that were the same yeah. as the illustrations that the witches had. It had the yin yang symbol there. It's all about balance.
bring uh, yeah, the thread. Yes, he got I obsessed see. with the thread. Ooh, that's, it's balanced very, the yeah. thread. Ooh, wow. We all agree that it's basically going to stem from some stupid misunderstanding, right? Yeah, like so the probably. Yeah. Yeah. Jedi and witches kill I each so. other, but it's all going to come down to one. Someone's going to make one mistake for some reason, and it'll all unload because that. And that's, that mistake will be what everyone feels guilt about. In theory, it could be anybody. Well, we have seen a, like, Soul obviously feels really fucking guilty about something. So he's involved in some way. We did see the witches have that power to kind of like they took over Tor. Corbin, yeah, you know, and kind of controlled him for a little bit. In. Maybe mm -hmm. that happens to him. Maybe it happens well, to Kelnaka. Maybe it's gonna say, to fight. Who fucking if they mind control Torben to do an action, and that's the action he feels guilty for, it'll be so fucking funny. Like I, I'm not. I wouldn't put it past this show. When the story actually happens like for real instead of just delays constantly then it does have the capacity to just explode. Yeah, that's true. Uh, <laughs> Which one was the worst for boring? Was it? The previous one or was it episode I, four? It was episode four or six. Right. It'd be between one of those. Two. Probably four, because four was boring, boring, but six was kind of funny a little bit. It's like oh, she looked funny. at his dick, and you know, like that yeah. that was that was amusing. But uh, but I, I think four was the most boring. What I'm looking forward to seeing is if their portrayal of the Jedi being bad only comes down to the individual actors. I don't mean actors as in actors, I mean like agents. The individual right. agents, you know, are characters doing something bad personally, or if, uh, and it has nothing to do with the Jedi Order itself. There's nothing that relates to the institution of the Jedi, its teaching, its philosophy, its way of looking at the universe and the Force. I don't think any of that will come into play. It will just be some individuals misunderstanding something or something of that nature. We're not going to get any more real explanation, I don't think, into or exploration into the way the Jedi look at the Force and their philosophy versus all of the creepy witches and, and their own. Oh. Is this the last episode of the show? No, one more after this. One more after this? Oh, fuck. I thought it was free. <laughs> Three, all right, here we two, go. one, go. You're with me, I'm with you. Always one born as two. I'm with you. I want to be a Jedi mama. I do. So funny how consistently people have said the those two characters are just the least interesting thing to even talk about. For both flaw and yeah. praise. The main characters, yeah. Yes. What happens if the Jedi discover how you created them? Always makes for a compelling show. <sighs> it's uh, something else. <laughs> Oh, finally, we've got the answer of how that thing exploded, too. Oh, no, May. Oh, no, May, you tried to kill me. Because episode three is downright, as we've pointed out. It's just deceptive. May started a fire that killed her entire family. All the stuff that we saw in there in the first flashback, you could already derive from yeah. what they'd been implying throughout the first two episodes. It's showing a bunch of witches died somehow, showing the place collapses somehow, showing the Jedi have done something, we don't know what it is somehow. You know what I mean? It's just like... I've had 16 years to think about what I must say to you. I've been watching Dexter lately in that last, that last sequence of Saul with, with her on the table just <laughs> hey, reminded oh, me of that shit. No Smilo, wow. No, no Smilo. Smilo. Still no Maybe in the very last episode, they'll He's be like, it. It. It's not like the sink where you can just toss it in. Smile is special. They, they won't show it's his nice helmet, they'll just show his chest. Like, <laughs> in, in the show thing. his dick. His dick. <laughs> they'll, just, they'll just be a butt. Oh, is that another Brent Henge? Oh, here it is. Is it as simple like, as please, a flashback please be, episode? Please be a full flashback episode. My Boy. God. Metal detector? Have you metal found any? Yeah, have you found any force? He's on his. He's on his little Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Are they looking for cortosis? Maybe. Moss? <laughs> well, wait. I guess he would have put moss in there if it was cortosis. Yeah. Are they scanning for metachlorians in the? Dirt, <laughs> with, the with the little metachlorians. Are they looking scanning? for? Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't know I needed this imagery. Why are you not sweeping it back and forth like a normal person? You sweep it back and forth. Wookie with, like, with the metal detector is so detector. funny. Yeah. I guess He's it's nice bored. we get to see slightly more of him. Look, Sol, I'm convinced that this guy over here is not talking. He's just making noises. <laughs> It's they log. look fucking oh, miserable. No, What's going miserable. on? What is the mission? Is this for the grass stew? Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is what Ke no. this is where Kalnaka learned the recipe. You must eat Padawan. I'm not hungry. <laughs> You're gonna make him mad. 
I was about to say, yeah. I'm just sick of eating no legs. Didn't you bring food with you? Don't you have a ship you can sleep on? And I want to go home to Coruscant. We've been here for seven weeks. Seven, seven weeks! So, so what is their job? We gotta figure it out, I guess. A hundred years ago, this planet was catalogued as lifeless. Yet Brendock is thriving. Oh, that was one of the books, uh, right? I think that was in one of the books. Funny I knew what we were doing was somehow important or meaningful. Isn't that yeah. an interesting idea to... I'm sure we won't stick with it. We are looking for a virgins. What's a virgin? A concentration of force energy. We've been here for yeah, seven weeks exactly. and now we are telling you Wait, what so it is you're looking for. They're here to Wait. find whether there's a virgins in the force or that there was one and they're trying to see what the nature of it is. Because I'm assuming the virgins they, they've found is not actually the trees and shit. It's, it's the sisters. It's the bottomless pit. Sisters. It? It's a power. It should be studied protected and so torben's been here for seven weeks and is just now learning what it is they're there to look for yeah that's retarded as fuck mm -hmm. this is a noble mission noble mission i don't know why he hasn't found meaning in the mission considering this would be of high value to the jedi order as a exploration it sounds like it, yeah. it was disturbed unbalanced you were disturbed sounds why like wouldn't they send like also, scientists they seem under equipped and yeah, yeah ill suited. Just find, so Torbin is like bored. I don't know. It's okay. It's teenage angst. Yeah, but that's just of all the things yeah. to establish for us, and we're already running out of time. <laughs> like, that's how these episodes work. Do not confuse Torbin's feelings with your own. Okay, you made it about me. I was talking about him, but that's fine. I do not tell him answers to ease his mind. Man, the exposition is so yeah, monkey. It's... I teach him to seek the answers for himself. That's why I have a Padawan and you do not. He's going to have his first Padawan at the end of this uh, planet encounter, eh? I think she was trying to say, I don't like tell him all the answers to himself. Like, I let him seek it out or something. And she was criticizing Isn't him for just... doing that. I got... But that's the, the only thing I can pull like, from that, that bad, conversation. But... That just sounds like a form of teaching, not that you wouldn't teach it at and all. And also, yeah. and I don't know what Soul's disagreement is, actually. Maybe his, his feeling is that you should actually, like, tell him what you think, maybe. <laughs> Ubuntu tree. <laughs> Oh god, oh. we really are doing. Those, and here we go. Oh, it's gonna be the whole episode because we we've barely gotten <laughs> past the intro. Oh, oh shit! The whole episode. Oh she, I'm here. Do you hear me? Oh hey man. Soul, kill them. Soul, quickly. <laughs> Change the timeline. Save soul. the universe suffering and just kill the, them now. The Do breaking it. bad means. Soul. Yeah, too dangerous to be left alive. Soul, kill them now. Why do you always have to do things like that? Why do you always run off alone? Good thing Man, what are the odds of this encounter? I yeah. know, right? Actually cool random. Thing. It's just... He just went out for a wander and there they are. That's fantastic. Yep, good to know. You're with me? I'm with to be fair, it but, is only... A, it's a planet. They're not very big on Star Wars universe. They're usually like the size of a forest no, or a town. Star Wars planets are about like a maybe three acre area. Unless you're Tatooine, where it's like three times. Oh, so she did just appear from behind a tree. She, just <laughs> she was hiding out. behind a tree. Oh, no, she really was hiding behind a yeah. tree. <laughs> yeah, we know we could actually Stole confirm. Stole is for sure invisible right now. When they were filming it, she would have stood behind there waiting, and then they gave her a cue. Like that's so. <laughs> daughter, can you read me? Imagine if the pitch for this show is like, hey, episode three, everyone's going to fucking despise it. They're going to hate everything about it, but don't worry. Four episodes later, we're going to do the exact we're same thing. Just keep another camera angle. Episode three, <laughs> <Yeah>. two. <laughs> like, so, they, no. so they really didn't think that there were like sentient life forms here. No, nope, apparently not. So they weren't lying when they said that's fucking crazy. You think they could like find that surely out surely they could scan you it can and scan, you can you can did scan they not see the structure can scan for so they have this a, was a like planet, beginning yeah. of a new hope establish this shit a planet with this forest life growing exactly small but then there's also this well, huge also, structure looks interesting maybe we should check that out well consider that their mission is to come here and look for virgences that create life and they didn't bring a life form scanner they brought a metal detector what the fuck you want yeah come on right that's uh, true it, it's the it's budget oh, cuts like, you know this, this is clear the evidence metal just of, detect virgences? of advanced life on the planet if they'd seen this from their ship which they absolutely would have it's a big mountain peak it's enormous remember what, what, what the structure is, looks like yeah this is a... it's huge Dark Souls looking this, at structure. Yeah, this is like. not a fucking naturally occurring structure. <laughs> I thought he was just gonna jump. Holy all shit! Way. Oh, yeah. he'll be. So he'll make. Um, he'll make the noise that made her distracted. If you remember, he's gonna. He's gonna oh no! And and oh, they'll be like, shit. aha, clever. Why wow. wouldn't he yeah. go back and get the others before exploring on his own? Oh, the veritable mountaineer. Shit. Okay, now he sees them for abusing the children. Okay. Yep, yep. That is what happened. She just threw them to the ground. Yeah, I think Rags, you even noted like they could have hit their head on the step when she pushes them back. She actually could have yeah. hit them significantly, but eh, it's fine. They let yeah, it. That would that would have saved the show. 
Oh, look, they've connected it up. Oh, look, someone this opened the a do door or they are so impressed with themselves. This is embarrassing. Oh, not the bottomless pit. Sorry, such incredible the storytelling. Bottomless I love the bottomless oh. pit. Dude, I think it's, it's my favorite pit. It's the virgin. That's what it pit. is. A force called here. I think they're witches. Night sisters. Is the spooky force pit like the spooky force pit in TLJ? Is that what they're going for? Remember the spooky force pit that Ray gets eaten by? Oh, yeah. Maybe. Night sisters don't raise younglings, let alone train them. They do not treat the girls like children. They probably eat them. I, I was actually gonna say, this is kind of funny. Cause it's like, what, what if they sacrifice them to their creepy moon god? The witches prepare for a ceremony tonight. What if the girls are in danger? I, yeah, I like how like everything. Throw them in the bottomless vague. pit because that's the only thing you do are with they... bottomless pits is you throw people into um, it. Can you not directly so... contact the council right now? Go go go! Yeah, sort of surely thing. they can. Also, I suppose I just find it fascinating because they're, they're being like, ah, see how oh, POV like can lead them astray. And it's like, dude, I mean, kill Naga, slice the controls. <laughs> Like, Soul's concerns seem fairly valid well, to so me, but... Now, because you know. they're, they're about to slice in, right? So this is somewhat... Have they knocked? I guess Why not. didn't they knock on the door and say, Hi. Hi, we're friendly <laughs> Jedi. Instead of slicing Hi. and going, Sorry, we thought no one was here. Hi there, we're from the Galactic Council. We're investigating what we call a virgence. We didn't expect to see well, people just, alive here. They Can are operating as uh, child services at this point. We should go as a team. We must be vigilant. All right, in we go. Man, we're taking a while to do anything, aren't we? Yeah, well, it's you gotta wait. Ten minutes time. already. They gotta make yeah. this. We're doing, it's gonna be the thing, isn't it? Oh Where an extended God. period of nothing and then loads of things all at once. They'll just slowly walk around. We've got a different well, angle this time. It's not gonna last like 30 seconds. Oh, they're fucking bows. They have bows. Oh, I forgot about those. Oh, they're so bad. <laughs> the space bows, because they glows. Hey, guys. You're, you're close, guys. And did, they, did you guys, huh? like, form up in the line for us? These are my colleagues, Soul Kelnaka. She says you're Kelnaka. What? Kelnaka. Kelnaka. We thought this planet was uninhabited. The all-knowing Jedi were ignorant of their surroundings. I like how... See, it, why, why did they think so that? Why off yep. immediately? To believe... Wait, she started fucking with him. Oh wow! Before she they started even... messing with him, well before she was fucking with his mind while she was before agreeing for them to anything. see the, yeah. the kids. I mm -hmm. thought the way they portrayed it in me. episode three is that she got annoyed that Soul and Osha were connecting. Torben, <sighs> Jedi Padawan. But now it's just that she was being an asshole really early. Wow! You've traveled so far only to become trapped on this planet. You are a strong. Good Jedi. What are you? Why, this she's, planet, this right? is villain shit. This is villain shit. She's yes. taunting a teenager. Get the fuck Manic out of my mind. You were not invited. Yeah, you put me in a dark and spooky him. mind palace where you're clearly trying to be a dick. Don't touch me, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> Do you wish to escape this planet? Do you wish to escape this planet? Escape the planet? He's not going to be here escape for that the planet. long. We're, on, we're like on a mission. I'm mildly annoyed to be here. I can help you. Oh, sure. I mean, yeah, we, we, you know, we, we're gonna head back eventually. It's fine. You wish to return to Coruscant. Your master denies you. This is quite an They're overreach. They're talking there. to me in my mind. Yeah. If Anasay is so worried about what the Jedi might do, why is she provoking so hard? Antagonizing. Yeah. I would not keep you from what you want. I would always let you have what you need. And why isn't Torbid going? Hey, she's talking to me in my mind. She's trying to she, creep me well, out. She's trying to dark trying side to him. Yeah, yeah. she's actually trying to dark side me. Siding him. This is like word for word dark side. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. He would just be like, hey, she was trying to manipulate me. She was being an she's, evil. She's literally like, you have Wait, desires, I can episode. give them to you. She's emperoring him. So the goal of this episode is to be like, yeah, NSA is evil. Ask me. Ask, Ask me. Ask me. Look at this. this. Is what is this? She's making him way. cry. Yeah, what the why are you crying? <laughs> Who knows how it feels, I guess. We're seeing this, but maybe maybe it's like your brain's getting torn. Neil. Oh, what the fuck? She's the emperor. <laughs> How is this okay? Say it again, like we said in episode three. That would have been cause to attack, by the way. I would have sliced her head off right yeah. here. I would have been like, no, we're not playing this game. You have no idea if she can just like instantly just like make Kill his him. brain explode. Yeah. If you want your Padawan returned to his right mind, I suggest you all leave. Now. Well, and she does threaten him, right? She's like, she's his mind gone. will be returned to normal or whatever. You cannot deny that Jedi have the right to test potential Padawans. 
With your permission, of course. The fact that she started that same doing it fucking the line. they showed up. <laughs> that's crazy. It, it's amazing getting to see all these lines we fucking laughed at three episodes ago. <laughs> come right back around. Like, holy shit. Well, it's crazy because this has only made the Jedi look better so far. Pretty much. <sighs> Like, sure, they're kind of silly, Are you but... okay, Torben, my Padawan? Well, it's, it's mainly that they're making dumb mistakes, but, like, in general. <laughs> yeah. So, Torben, what happened? It's like, oh, she just fucked with my mind, with the dark side. Told me that I, I should just pursue my, you know, desires. <laughs> Not yeah, not, not even like, hey, I'll give you a blowjob. Like, hey, you can go back to Coruscant two weeks <laughs> you earlier. Go I back to Coruscant. Okay. It's not a particularly interesting desire. I feel a connection to Osha. I feel she's meant to be my pod one. He's been camping for seven weeks on an important mission, and he's like crying because he wants to go home. That's what a crazy. little bitch. Yeah. What a pussy. They did not do it. Yeah, no, no, no wonder he fucking killed Why wouldn't himself. They have... All he needs to do is establish he has family on Coruscant, and that's a problem that Indara's had to be dealing with his his you know attachment, and he wants to be with them or something, something like that. It's much more Star Wars. Her coven will never let her leave. They mocked her sister with dark magic. He just said dark magic in Star Wars. Yeah, that's dark a bit. magic. It, it really is something that I don't like. Is is introducing like outright magic into Star it's Wars? It's too mystical, like, you know. Force is magical, sure, but like not like witches and stuff. I yeah, it's, it's yeah. a different. Vibe. They keep it's doing it, totally and they need to stop doing it. But Osha did not have one. I worry she's not safe. The reality is, it's just like a different way to use the force, and so it's annoying to hear them say something like that. That's true. She may have resisted being marked. Uh, who is protecting this child if not the Jedi? Because the threat is just the force. You know what I mean? Oh, I, I get just, that. Yeah, it's, it, it's, oh, it, it's dumb to. Dumb yeah. I believe she wants to live with us. Do not confuse what Osha wants with what you want. It felt like Soul there made arguments that Indara agreed with, and then she cut him off with the "you're being too emotional" tisms. Which is, I, I kind of yep. that just felt unfair. <laughs> like, you know. Has mean, anyone said mean... anything to Torben, by the way? Like, <laughs> no, we have no, sure he's okay. Did, did you see that we cut he to after there. Yeah. if they had a conversation? But if they did, he would have told them enough for them to conclude it's dark side shit. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. There's not even a hesitation, I don't think, from how he would describe that experience that the Jedi would conclude they're dark siders. This won't take long, mate. I'm not going to hurt you. Ah, uh, here's May's test. You said you weren't going to hurt me, and then you did. <laughs> yeah, fucking liar. Way to Put build a hole trust. In me. Can't believe the the cult agreed to this. I don't feel like it's in their character at all. This uh, this oh. test sequence, especially when they yeah, needed to give permission. Now. Especially because Anasea was the one who was like fucking with Torben from the like the moment they walked yeah. in. Yeah. You must divine what images appear on the testing screen. What do you want me to do? Wait, I was telling you. Yeah. yeah. What, and then you interrupted by asking what you should do, and I was telling you <laughs> what you should do, you fucking rude cunt. A spaceship. A castle. They're answering so confidently when a good lie yeah. would just be, how am I going to know what's on there? And it's like, use the force. And then you're like, oh, okay, I'll try, I guess. What was everyone doing in the courtyard? Is your marking a part of Ascension? And by Ascension, <laughs> we mean jumping into the going to volunteer that information, all right? This is starting to get, like... Dude, we're halfway through and they've given us barely anything. Everyone must be sacrificed to fulfill their destiny. Why what? is she volunteering all this? What? 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 Oh, you're coming with us. Yeah, Everyone what? must be... Like, that, what does that mean, child? That's a really bad line. Is it like, we should be very concerned you know for the children's means? lives. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, you're not going back. You're, you're leaving. Yeah. Obviously. I would like to try a different approach with the other child. You must have the courage to tell the truth. That time code just slipping away. <laughs> it's 19 <laughs> minutes in, jeez. I like how the test only lasts a minute. It's like two, 10 seconds and then, okay, see ya, bye, you can leave. They gotta go through, there's a lot of candidates. They gotta, they gotta speed through the process, you know? You should run the girls' blood samples. I've contacted counsel for instruction. Is the test just to see whether or not they have the capacity to use the force? Because they do the blood test for the midichlorians, which would be a more objective, like, there is a high concentration. I don't, I don't know what this test is even really testing for. Is it reading the feelings of the person who is looking at the image? If you can get a feeling for what the person is looking at, just instinctively, you know what I mean? Or past. I will meet you at the camp when I hear their answer. Yeah, because, I mean, using the force to identify what's on a screen seems per a bit Correct, odd, yeah. Like, the yeah. test shouldn't yeah. require such specificity then, I guess, you know? Untrained force use, just telling them exactly what another person is, like, feeling based on a thing that they're seeing. The council said no. 
they will not sanction bringing the twins to Coruscant or separating them from their coven. Well, that's one of the most like uh, instinctual things, right? Just sensing everyone's feelings around you. Not like maybe an maybe active look, use of the force, right? Go like ahead. Maybe they should be looking at an image that ed evokes an emotion or a feeling, and then they have to find out what that emotion or feeling is. And the picture is just to prompt the person looking at it to think of a particular feeling. You say that we have interfered too much already. Will they let us come home at least? No. Yeah. Okay, so the Jedi Council have denied them doing this. They're not going to let them take uh, the twins. Have they told them about all of the dark force shit they're doing? I mean, I presume it's also, they've had... It's also uh, not part of the Republic. But always her past. After you coached her. So she passed. Wait, what? Coached her to not lie? You coached her to not lie so that she ended up passing the test? Do not alter this little girl's destiny because you have formed an emotional attachment to her. That is not what's happening here. I want to do what's best for Osha. You don't get to decide that. Isn't that what Jedi decide all the time across the galaxy? I'm confused. I don't understand. That feels like a weird line from Indara that, you know, it's not up to us what's best for these people. Especially if it involves Extremely the potential for them being hurt. A symbionts are the same. Our identical twins would have different symbionts. This is impossible without some kind of manipulation. So that'll be the, the clue then that they've been created. Yeah. Maybe by tapping into a power dense enough to split one consciousness into two bodies that's some dark side shit it is the bottomless pit the vergence is the bottomless pit isn't it mm. show me probably why yeah. not jump in we just need proof of a vergence and those girls are the proof this is our ticket home so you're just gonna get on your speeder and grab it what oh uh, so their logic what? is that he this is only, our ticket home he only wants to go home and that's why he's doing it not because he what if you fucking like, you are joking are you right <clears throat> let's go kidnap them so we can go home if they needed to stop him couldn't they just use the force there like they were like exactly. he was like no stop he's like just pull him back so all of these Jedi cannot return to Coruscant until they get evidence that there's a convergence or a vergence? He's Again, saying if he gets them. that evidence, that's proof, and then... And they can go home. It would be such a better motivation oh. if he felt what they did to him and is like, this is really dark and fucked up for them to do this to these girls. I'm going to go save them. Like, that would be that's way better, such yeah. a better motivation be than, I'm ready to but go then, home. Like, that's why but they've... then we'd have to explore the Jedi, and we can't do that. So They've given him this motivation so that it's they haven't even. Defense. Why does he want to go home so much? Is it as simple as, I just like my home? You're like, okay. I think that's it. I think so. so. He just doesn't like camping? It's the obvious I thing is that he he's got attachments to the people his... in Coruscant. They just make it that and way. Also, like, d does Torben expect that there will be no consequences for this? He can you just know, go like in and be... do whatever he wants, apparently, yeah. And the Jedi won't care. They'll just be like, oh, well, you know, whatever. You want to stop Osha from leaving? Then stop her. Wait, what? What? Oh, shit. God, the horn lady's so cringy. Yep. Good girl. Get mad. Yeah, certainly not Sith. Oh, dark side. So she's oh, just, yeah, she, this is dark side shit. She's just telling her to be mad. She doesn't, she doesn't like mind controlling her or anything. She's gonna go burn the door now, right? You may be their mother, but you are also our leader. Right now, I choose mother. Oh, okay. Oh, you don't get to choose. That's the whole point of the... It's hard for me to view you in any positive sense after knowing that you were just mentally well, torturing Torben, by the way. Yeah. Wait, did they want her to do that? What? Oh. Like, no one can get in or out! Just like that? No, we can just move it. Arm yourselves! What the fuck? What? Wait, that what was something the they- What the fuck is happen- What's happening? What? So, oh, so they wanted to do that. What is happening? fucking thing ever. They wanted the child to destroy the console. Why didn't they just t uh, t fucking shut the door down or whatever? Off, yeah. I think they've locked the girls inside. The elevator's been disabled. We're stuck here now. Follow me. Okay, Sol is, he has been like totally doing the right thing basically the whole time. He's just now foreseen yep. that Osha's about to get burned and now he's going in to help. Is that insane that he managed to read that? from all the people in this temple. So that was a great action. Yeah. That's, that's pretty crazy. For him to have almost no interaction with these girls and be able to feel that, yes. Considering the if writing she... has decided that he has a connection with Osha. And... So are yeah. we actually what? to conclude that, that like May was just insane and just there was no mind control at all. She actually did this. She's Looks just like an it. evil she piece of shit. Just be completely nuts. Yeah. She was told Jeez. go be angry and so she did it. That's it. And that's the mystery. Osha. Thought she'd be mind controlled, but she was just yeah. being a brat. She's just an evil Psycho child from like a, a horror movie. Go. We must stop him before he starts a conflict. Go! What nonsense. The great this flying is, metal bird. We've got like three major characteristic like reasons for causing the cr trouble that's happening right now that are awful. Wow. We're like gradually entering to the point where we're having a war for no reason at all. I told you we cannot use violence. I would die before I let the Jedi take my children. Please don't so make that evil. decision for the rest of us, please. It's also funny for leader lady to say, oh, you can't use violence, but you can use mental torture. <laughs>
Yeah, you possible. can invade someone's you... mind and. Oh, okay, so they're implying that was a mistake. Yeah, so they're, 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 do you see the like, way they did yeah. that? that was, she was like, I'll oh, set it on yeah. fire. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Nah, come on. Yeah. That was so crap. Uh, why is the fire developing? Why is it burning? Off of what? What's it eating? It's all the, the stone. stone it's and the, oh, some wires there. Now they're on fire. Oh, GG. Oh, she did start the fire then. No fucking way this fire blows up the whole place, though. There's no way. No, I... I, I wonder. No, I mean, like, yeah, I it's, it's not physically possible, but it's it's not out of the realm of... I think the reason why they were showing the wires on fire was to indicate that it's causing a chain reaction. And remember that she also locked the door so they couldn't even get out anyway. By bashing the I elevator mean, so panels. May is still on the here. hook. Hardcore. He's not escaping. Why is so walking content. so weird? He is what walking is on. Musical? I noticed that too. He's, he's walking like he just shit his pants. <laughs> it was foolish to come back here, Jedi. You're like a dark sider, doing dark side things, evilness, sacrificing people. You wish to know if we will allow Osha to join you, to be raised by an institution instead of a family. An institution instead of a family. You guys yes. are you're an a institution, cult. just an evil one. You see how this kid is afraid of you because you fucked with his mind? You think you're the good guy? The arrows just have red lights at the end. Of course they do. Someday those noble intentions you all have will destroy every Jedi in the galaxy. Oh, shut wow. up. Shut up. What, is that even, what are you even Dude. saying? Mama, help! Oh, sure. You said there's a uh, fire. Um... What? Uh, what? What? The what? Fuck? What? 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 What is that power? What? 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 Kill it with what fire. What the fuck is this? What the? Good thinking, Sol. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Thank God. He Thank God you old. stopped her. I don't know what yeah. she was about to yeah. do. Thank God. You have no idea what Kill that, that was. evil witch. She was about to fucking. It looked like she was disintegrating. She went uh, to like. May. I was going to let Osha go. That has nothing to do with this... what just happened there. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have threatened you, everybody with you your spooky magical me. powers there. You turned super ghost. evil. Like she had like spiky right teeth. And she already mind controlled like Torbin earlier. There's no reason to think yeah. that wasn't going to be an offensive move. Exactly. That's what Sol that's what happens. A very intelligent decision. I'm that's like very quickly right grabbing your wallet when a yeah, police officer's Sol got a gun right. on you. What the fuck are you doing? Bear in mind that Horn Lady was the one preparing to attack first. Well. Yeah, she definitely made the yeah. first move. And Horn Lady didn't do anything when he stabbed her. I think that's out of character. Nice bows, idiots. Look at him nice go. Nice fucking bows. Sol, you, um, you are within your right to actually defend well, yourself well, there, Not okay? only yeah. is he within his right, he's obligated because Tor Torbin needs his help. Ow. He shouldn't have to be defending himself from fucking ten archers. Yeah, yeah. Just, you push, give him them, a hand? just push them down with the force. Use your force want. and push Sol, them down. Sol, just fucking kill this crazy lady. Fight me! Dude, the... <laughs> <laughs> he, he literally <laughs> sighed from cringe. <laughs> Fuck off, Just woman. Just pull it away from her with the force. Oh my uh, god, so it, it, it is legitimately well, May doing that. Yeah. We've you drop a lamp in that building and it yeah. explodes. Yep. This is insane. I this can't is, believe they've written it this, this way. This is so fucking uh -huh. bad, dude. Ooh, we gonna reveal? You a Sith? Is that what's gonna happen? You gonna do something? Uh, what? <laughs> well, I can just what? Stab you, right? She's gonna go in the hole. She's gonna go in the hole. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they've all gone. Are they gonna? Oh, are they gonna Voltron into one oh, big? Oh, one cloud? big lesbian. Hey, Ooh, yes, one big evil lesbian cloud. You should not have brought him here. My mind is fortified. Fortify your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're possessing what? Keldaka? What? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Kill them all. What, what the fuck? These, they no, need this... to die. They need to all this be is killed. A, this is very strict... morally ambiguous, you yeah, know? Yeah, this is an evil cult, dude. <laughs> you like how he overswung over Soul into Torbin's lightsaber? I like that. No, 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 no. Okay, this, is, so... this is meant to be the episode that makes the Jedi the bad guys. Apparently. <laughs> That's crazy. Has a Jedi made a mistake yet? Other than, I guess, not killing they've Horn Lady? they tactical blunders, but I mean, otherwise, they've been basically yeah. in the right. I'm not, the whole time. I guess, morally is what I mean. <laughs> Corbin should be dead. Okay, you just dead. don't want to kill him? But you do want oh. to kill him. No, 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 no. Oh, that wouldn't geez. happen. Keldark is going to have way more pressure. Have the, he doesn't have the he's lever. He doesn't no, have the no leverage. leverage. Yeah. He's dead. The amount of trauma that they've inflicted okay, so on where have you been? Insane. I'm you, probably... You could do anything! You, oh my god. I, I, this is terrible. Like, I would have chopped off Keldark's hand at this Kylo's point. Why is Kylo's theme here? <laughs>
shit. <laughs> you could have just was, chopped the lightsaber in two. Yeah. That's true. You, you could have done yeah. a million you things. Done that. Yeah, you could have just chopped the lightsaber in half. Are you actually fist fighting a fucking Wookiee? Are you kidding me? That's not going to go too well for you. You lose every time. Yeah. <laughs> you got to use the force. Retarded, and dude. You use the you die quite... force. Yeah, he should be using the force. That's his only option right now. How is this? How are you alive? Do they not know what a Wookiee is? The people who make this. Okay. You have force anti mind control. Yeah, she's just gonna get him. Trying, trying to calm, calm, calm his mind. I yeah. guess they've discovered evil witches. Yeah, that's... Oh, is it gonna kill him? It's gonna kill all of them or something. It's gonna like. Oh, backfire? it is, isn't it? God. Wait, Indara killed them all? <laughs> Ace, let's go. Good job, Indara. Indara, best character. Can I just say that's kind of amazing? Are they actually it's dead or do they the just well, because We can only they hope, Ryan. Out. We can only hope. Because, because there's no markings on them, right? So that would make sense. As in, like, it matches up visually. Get the twins. May actually, May actually the destroyed it all. That's so place. funny. You dropped a lamp and this is what happened. You're, you're dead, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, you're dead. You, you should think about building your next fortress out of something <laughs> non-flammable, like stone. What have you done? They're all dead. Oh, they are dead. Indara are killed the ball to oh, save yep. Kaldaka. That's kind of awesome. Base! Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. So now you can use the force. We'll now just grab them. Got that. Grab them. Yeah, oh, you can just, just grab the two kids. Save one. What are you he's, kids doing? Just grab them. Cards? He keeps Run trying back. to hold. He's holding the bridge. Just grab them. Pull them to you. Go. He's gonna choose he one. To choose, you didn't basically. need to do that. You, that was not necessary. Also, what a fucking coincidence that both sides of the bridge were falling like that. You know, the exact same time in the same yeah, way. So he could have saved them both, but he just didn't. Okay. If you've got yeah, the power to hold up both bridges, you had the power to hold the two girls. All the kids. Yeah. Do they not understand how the Force works, evidently. I got you. I thought that was the end for a second. I was like, my god. Yeah, there's Kilnaka, no god you've been having a really bad day, haven't you? He does, It depends on what he remembers, because like, there's nothing he could do. No, you know but, I mean? but it would still be traumatic. Unless he's that I... kind of person. There's nothing for him to feel guilty about, is, is what I'm saying. No, no, no. I'm just saying that the complete loss of control of himself yeah, yeah. has got to be something that makes it. And of course, Torben's had a horrible day. But Torben shouldn't want to kill himself. Like, they're well, evil. They were really fucking Torben evil. Torben was absolutely the victim of this situation. Yeah, it's so weird to have shown us that it, she fucked with his mind before all the decisions he made. Master! Oh, look at him acting. Look at them both trying to do an act. That's probably the only They're good thing in the whole witches. episode. What will we tell the council? Oh, here's the yep. cover up. I don't even see why there would need to be a cover up. Yeah, why would they? You don't have to lie. They don't, they just don't tell, need to lie just at all. Just accurately describe the events. And you're good. They told us they wow. sacrificed children. We had very good reason to think the kid was going to die. We went in and we got attacked. May burned down the witch's fortress and everyone was lost. I must face the council. Face council for what? Why would you do that to her? She's going to protect him, yeah. But from what? You take away her dream as well. We freed her from the what evil did, cult. What did Sol... Sol didn't do anything wrong. Mission successful. Divvy like, out the XP and let's level he, up. When he stabbed Anna Sayers, because she turned into a giant evil demon. And they made like her look evil like on purpose. It looked yeah, what, like she was you, like, Do the show us actually think that we should just wait to see what his spell is before we can judge. Especially in the Star Wars universe. Well, really? they, they've already, they gave us precedence. The time. She already cast True. a spell on one of their team yes, members exactly. that fucking tortured him. Like, what, what the bear fuck? bear in mind that this was initiated after Spiky Lady prepared to attack first. May was disintegrating and Soul thought that was Osha as well. Before you throw yourself at the mercy of the council, ask yourself why. You made this choice. I don't. I don't take any issue with his choice. I think that's a totally fair, oh, it, rational just, choice. Think about the way that it all began. The first thing that Sol saw was Leader Lady pushing them to the ground. So already, oh shit, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then finding How out does... that they're doing all of this crazy stuff with the Force. The fact that they're using mental manipulation that's... on their fellow Jedi. Hold on, I've heard about this so... credit scene. Listen. <laughs> They have a song, like a song that they made for this fucking series in these oh outro Oh my cards. god. Oh no. Oh, wait, let, me, let me listen. And I think it's gonna be the good part. Ooh, what the fuck? Oh, this is that's not you. No, 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 no. You've broken a rule. You don't do this with Star Wars. Big skin, big no, 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 no. <laughs> this is no. Oh, this is no, so, so fucking cringe. No, oh, no. It's so embarrassing. Stop. And we so one in the same, so all my pain is your pain. This song is apparently called The Power of Two. No. That you could wear and take off, that you could rip and break off. She's Why cleverly I... rhyming off with off. Ve Ooh, I am that's taking really good. psychic damage. Ow. This is like a Batwoman Bro. song. I feel the shame when they call me your name. 
It is. This is like, it is like a Batwoman a Man Bat credit song. song. Yes. What the hell? You, you breached the cardinal rule of this a Star Wars. This is a real Wars. thing in the end of a I real like episode of a Star Wars Ew. TV show that yeah. is real. I am willing to entertain this is the worst episode. This is the worst episode. I think so. Yep. Holy they, fuck. They've ruined everything they possibly could about Star Wars. Now it's got to be the fucking credits. I it's not have you no Leslie shame. Headland's <laughs> name's laddered everywhere. You got to listen to this now. God. I am oh, actually oh. baffled by how they fumbled on making the witches more redeemable. I'm yes, surprised. They made them so evil. Badly. Even if you're going to go the direction of let people do their own thing with the Force, I actually think that it would be totally easy to portray and that you could make the Jedi overstep. Yeah. They didn't overstep. Don't portray the people who just want to be left alone as evil exactly, psycho cultists. Exactly who use that. The dark side <laughs> and control. That's all you had to do was not make them evil. A core characteristic that was so important to make everything happen was Torben being like, I'm a bit bored. We go home. That was like yeah, important that to the motivation. Plot. So silly. I'm feeling kind of vindicated because I Torben, what did he do that put him in a state of being vow of silence and suicide? I don't know. Because uh, the, the, the thing is, even do there is one aspect um, that they could have used, which is that he rushed off. But the thing is, Soul caught is that, up with him and then told well, him to do stuff. And I mean, in mind, mm -hmm. on top of that, is she had manipulated him by directly tapping yes. into that fear. Exactly. So what is Torben's state of that. mind now? It, Torben was no manipulated idea. by the like, dark side. He was Mentally ordered by, by the light side. He's got like barely any response. All he did was dodge a bunch of arrows. That's really all he Pretty actually much. did. And he well, suffered immensely. They could have done one change to like Torben and made it like make a little bit more sense. If it was that he was bored of being there, not because he was homesick, but because he wants to go be a hero or something. Like if he had these like delusions of grandeur, yeah, like that's that what work. he wanted. He wanted to save someone. Like if that was his little plot point, that would make a lot oh, yeah. more sense. Maybe yeah. why someone could feel potentially guilty. Change it just a little bit to where Torben came from an abusive past and the Jedi saved him, so he feels like he needs to do the same for Osha, and maybe he gets a bit overzealous and that leads to some sort of misunderstanding or something else when he goes with Soul. What they did was ridiculous. If they wanted to make time for that plot point, we really would have missed out on a Wookiee carrying a metal detector, so I don't know. <laughs> it's more important. <laughs> the way they <laughs> spent their time in this episode, it is so <laughs> consistent in the whole season. They are moronic. They don't know what they need to do to set things up. Instead, they just waste their fucking time and then they machine gun out a whole bunch of fucking shit. We're, we're sitting here like, what the hell was that? Did she turn into a giant demon monster? And the, the show was like, no, she was doing good things. They built up a whole bunch about, oh, they lied. And it's like, okay, so what we saw happen was that Sol was willingly going to fall on the sword. And Indara said, well, it's not going to achieve anything other than make Osha more upset, so you shouldn't do it. He wasn't even trying to, like, cover up so that he could not be punished. Not very Jedi of her, by the way, when she's supposed to be the most Jedi of all the Jedi here. But maybe they're like, ah, see, not very Jedi of her, huh? Well, so that it's the one part of the episode I liked was that she's annoyed and aggressively trying to explain what their plan should be and then she sees the soul is like actually destroyed by this whole event and seems to actually recognize that that's something she should account for. Recognizing that even a Jedi who's not supposed to be emotional simply is that you should probably account mm. for that and so it looked like that's like the one that, interaction yeah. in the whole episode where i was like oh that's kind of nice <laughs> remember in our uh, episode three that may woke up near the the boonta tree yeah. so maybe there'll be more still to be revealed on that for them trying to get a season two well, so Since Horn... it seems to me like there's way too much to be resolved in an episode horn lady does do a little fade out like it, it seems like she does it individually i don't know if that's sort of a that clue that she she'll, she'll come back around. yeah are they like teleporting or something like, i don't do i don't begin. I don't know what fucking... it's kind of like uh you know in the death eaters or like yeah. doing, flying around in harry potter God, it's kind of what it's like Fuck. I think she's the prime candidate for the the other Sith Lord of the season. The actual Sith Lord, that makes. Now sense. that we didn't see a, like a death for her, yeah, seems exactly. I I really <sighs> am still like surprised by how much they failed to, to yeah. tear down the Jedi. But let's be one hundred percent clear on the primary event of the whole episode. You have May rushes in and says, "Help me," because she's set the whole fucking facility on fire like a moron, and then Sol because thinks she was that's told Osha. by Horn Lady to get angry. Yes, that's true. That's, that's definitely something that's worth putting in too, because this is so the witch his fault. Soul says, Osha! And for some reason, that makes Horn Lady think time to attack. And so Torbin's response is time to defend. And then Anasea does the... She looks horrifying, by the way. Spooky, evil. She yeah, does. She, she's got, like, yeah. the sharp teeth and her fucking eyes turn. Her, her like, mouth hollow. extends. And, 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 yeah. and no, Anasea she looks like all, the, the mummy when he's sand. Yeah. All Anasea had to do was say, was yell stop. Yell yeah. stop, yeah. everybody. Stop Get people's attention. There. Be like, you're you're free to go or, like, whatever. Do you know what I mean? Like, Jesus Christ. Well, and so, as we said, 
what she think Soul is going to think after seeing that? I know, with every Soul's variable say, available, this is one of those, like, you have to make a decision, you could be right, you could be wrong, but the, if it were taken to any kind of reasonable court, I think Soul did, he would argue, I felt my life was in danger and I felt I was protecting the people around me. This would be like pulling out a gun and aiming it at a child, and then being like, oh, I can't believe you stabbed me, these are full of healing bullets. Uh, yeah, it's, exactly. It's like, that's basically what it is. Yeah. These and so are the idea that, that he's, happy. <laughs> he's guilty about this choice, to me, is annoying as hell, because the, the witches were fucked up. Well, it seems like basically the only reason is because she said, well, I was going to let her leave, though. And it's like, what does that have to do with the spooky ghost thing? It's pathetic. <laughs> it's it's like, about to do it, it is dumb idiot. It is what uh, Rags just said. You, you stab the person who's about to shoot you, and then they say, no... Look, and then they hand them the gun Look. that says Healy Gun 2000. But it looks like, but it's got like spikes on it and like, yeah, and like he, a demon and gargoyle this blood on the just coming out of it all the it, time. It really is like at every turn they have to go to the most evil route possible. It's like, okay, so as soon as the Jedi show up, she immediately begins mentally torturing Torben. And then when the fight breaks out, they're like, you know what? I know what we'll do. Let's possess the Wookiee and make him fight his friends so that they have to deal with yeah. not only the horror of actually dealing with the fight, but the anguish of having to make a decision on whether or not they're going to to kill their friend who's not at fault who is totally like divorced from the situation because he's not even in control in order to defend themselves and do they say and if you want to stop him and free his mind you have to kill all of us i'm sorry that i yeah. agree with whoever said it at the time but that was probably the most based part of the episode indara just fucking wipes them out for doing what mm -hmm. they did to her friend because as, as yeah. fring just laid out they took one of them and turned them against them so it's it's like you guys realize you forfeited all of your lives if to release him it costs you your lives like of course i'll make that yes. decision why would you make the stakes I, this like, why would you i do don't that? understand why they wrote it this way if they're it's goal terrible to... absolutely abysmal and at any point in that conversation anna say i could have just said if osha wants to go with you she can go with you yep and then they just leave and that's it that's all that it would have been bear in mind the information that soul receives and when he receives it the first thing he sees is that they get thrown to the ground and then when he shows back up at the temple later on he sees that osha is in imminent danger every single time he's acting entirely to try yeah, and protect it, them. I don't even know how much the writers realize what they've done when they establish that Soul knows that May and Osha are in danger slash Osha's about to burn to death. The writer's logic must just be, oh, well, see, miscommunication. It's a terrible thing. And it's like, no, the absence of communication, of communication from yeah. mm -hmm. specifically one side that then dramatically escalates things every single time. It's actually insane how badly Also, they by the way, Indara up. did absolutely nothing wrong. She came in and stopped Kelnaka from being evil which had the side effect of killing all the witches who were making him evil. That's all she did they in this whole thing. They put themselves in that position. Yep. Remember in episode you one where she's like, combat. Jedi attack the unarmed? Not true whatsoever based on this interaction set. Because they're obviously, no. she's obviously referencing Soul, but first of all, that wasn't in Dara. And secondly, you like, are armed I mean, with magic that could make people kill, yeah, kill themselves and each other. You're a spooky ghost that can possess people. You know what's funny about uh, this is that the, um, they're stupid. The, uh, the, the witches, I know you guys know that already, but they what? What? have to cast a collective spell that can make them take over any individual Jedi. So what you obviously do because the Jedi have no fucking clue what's happening. You possess Kelnaka and make him kill himself. You only possess Soul, make him kill himself, and then you get it Torben, make him kill himself. Like yeah. a Shang Tsung Mortal Kombat it's like the fastest and easiest <laughs> it, way to kill them all. It was so depressing that Wookiee fight too. It was pretty you bad, you yeah. finally have like a Wookiee and we've heard like the legends of Wookiee strength and how fierce and dangerous they are so many times and you don't show it at all you just make him really fucking slow and somehow these people are able to subdue them not with a fucking lightsaber but with their that. bare hands uh, oh, like, i almost wonder if it's not worth belaboring at this point but it kind of annoys me how much of a prop kelnaka is treated as like yeah. he doesn't do anything in the entire show well, he's not a character yeah, he's, just, he's a wookie he's a wookie they don't even yeah. like he's translate just, just what wookie, he's saying i guess the choreography was awful for the lightsaber fight and then his strength his raw strength was totally nerfed he should have been dominating yeah. he had them all dead like three or four times each. By the way, this is my expectation for the way that Osha and May, who I think it's safe to assume have both essentially now seen this play out. This is the sense that I get for their reaction. May's going to be like, I understand it a bit more, but I'm still angry at you and you're still bad. And that Osha's going to be, the Jedi are evil. So it's still <laughs> going to come away with both of them having a broadly negative view of the Jedi. Dude, That's what I think will happen. We give an hour assessment of events. I can't fucking wait to see the show show us what the characters yeah, have to assess Milo it on. Gonna is this one one Done? I can't remember. Is this season like one and done? Or well, so they, they were. Hasn't been renewed or anything. No, but they but want more. I 
Yeah, Leslie has talked about plans for a season two and further. I think the story's going to have its quote unquote ending with the next episode, but it can always continue that sort of angle. How yeah. do they wrap it all up, though? No, I'm imagining we're going to get Sith episode. pilled, Osha, and well, so vaguely if... Jedi pilled me. Yeah, genuinely, I have no idea because I'm, I'm thinking just retarded, and I don't think that's enough. Like, I need to go further. It's yeah. like, oh, Soul just flies over to that planet and he has a boss fight with Smiler Red, and May and Osha have to decide if they're going to save one or the other or something. I couldn't believe the audacity of them having. Anna say a saying, someday the way you Jedi act will cause the destruction of every <laughs> Jedi in the galaxy. Bro, yeah, fuck like, off with this shit. Yeah, well, so and die. The fact that she says your noble intentions will be the destruction of the Jedi is like, yeah, your ignoble intentions will be the destruction of your fucking cult. Is that seriously meant to be a case of the writer peering in going, ah, see, that's the reason why Palpatine won. It's like, oh, so I thought it had to do with Palpatine manipulating the Republic in order to gain more and more power yeah, gradually yeah, over yeah, the course literally, of the decade. Literally right. a millennium of Sith waiting and and you know controlling <laughs> companies controlling planets starting little scuffles like here and there all across the galaxy all leading up to a thousand years later this plan the, to destroy the, the jedi base window, but, base window should have yeah. been more tolerant of palpatine's little hobby of just shooting electricity out of his fingers I'm not kidding, though. Like, she says it as some kind of realization when the cult have done way worse than the jedi they but do I guess, way worse on the regular yeah like by existing they, i love the indignance of you guys come to places and try to enforce your will through law all we do is mind control people like this. We're way better than yeah. you. What are the Jedi supposed to do when they have the capacity to help people? They're familiar with the nature of the Force. They try to direct people away from doing dark side shit, like turning into a giant demon. And then you're like, well, yeah, but that's that's too controlling and now we have to kill you. What do you think they'll do in response? Something to bear in mind is that this pairs with the stuff that Smilo has been saying, right? His logic is essentially, the Jedi are intolerant of the Sith, which means I can kill them all. There's so many counters to this insane argument. Isn't the prime and counter, it, 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 your logic is that, so I guess now I can kill you too. For all of the dubious things the Jedi maybe do, which this show has not in any way portrayed, but... All those things that they supposedly do, because who the fuck knows if it's even canon at this point. Okay, fine, whatever. But other people, like the the Sith and the, the, the witches here, the stuff they do is way worse. This was so awful. Yeah. I'm how worse than I might have expected. This yeah, keeps it was happening. worse. I thought this was going to be the Jedi and bad episode, but they fucked it up so bad that this is Jedi like, no, good. totally in the clear, basically. Yeah, Jedi pretty pretty I okay, yeah. yeah. I know the Terry <laughs> on top was that end credits music. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I I'd forgotten. Why did you... It would have been suitable to just have the fucking cantina music at the end of this episode. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, they play it over the bottomless pit for the reverb. They worship they have the bottomless, bottomless pit. They do all of their dark sacrificial rituals at the bottomless pit. This is evil written all over it in every Absol language I would have easily you assumed they throw people down into the bottomless pit. Like... They feed the dark force god that lives at the center of the planet or something. Uh, that was awful. Episode one left. Woohoo. Good bye. lord, this story Incredible. needs to stop. End it! Anyway, bye! <laughs> bye, bye, everybody! End it like Torben. The enemy of the free people is defeated. What'd you bring me? That's ah, the final one. Oh, it's oh. dead. It's over. Well, I can't say that yet. It lives. Gun. It breathes. <laughs> it's still breathing, oh. crawling across the floor mm -hmm. like dead. It's dead. it's all building to this. I'm sure. I'm the acolyte. He will love me. Unless there's a season two, of course. Ah, you know? Predictions. Who's dying? What was everyone got? Hopefully everyone, uh, except Sol and Indara. Oh shit. Wow. There's only one character uh, I want to live and it's Mog. You get nauseous when you travel through hyperspace. Oh, oh Mog. <laughs> Mog. Sweet I, Mog. Sweet, I sweet Mog. Mason. I don't think Sol's making it out of this one. No. I I don't, Sol's dead. Yeah, I don't I think, think so either. Sol has to die. Or Ren. I think he's gonna make it out okay. I think that's practically that confirmed that Leslie said she had Smilo plans for oh, season two. Oh, did she? Like, that's hilarious. But th this was a while back, even. She said that he did such a good job that she got more of a prominent role this season. So yeah, I think he's safe. Uh, Soul, I thought Soul might have died in fucking episode five, so he's he's definitely out now. He's he's well over his mm -hmm. expiration date. Uh, what about May and Osha? What do we reckon? Oh, uh, they'll be they'll, they'll be they're they'll gonna be, be fine. Osha will be. I At think May might May, die. Uh, I could see May think, dying, uh, but Osha's nah, gonna be alright. I I don't know. I think they're both. I think they're both gonna be fine. I'm Let's gonna sacrifice myself to yeah, save you. Yeah, the reason I don't I'm even do think they'll do that. Well, honestly. that or the um the whole switch in lives thing. 
uh, could could. What if they merged with each other? What if they're like truly like one person? Oh, yeah, they, like, they, like, they, uh, the end, they like is that what the evil spooky ghost thing was? The, see the they power of two, and then turns into the power of one. It's like reversing Ooh, it. I see. That's yeah. balance in the force, the light and the dark. That's how the it works. Virgin balance God. apart, but the force yeah. will bring them back. Yeah, the balance yes. in the force is equal parts light and dark. I fucking hate this. <laughs> we need the weaponized <laughs> to, death to make you even evil, crazy people. We need them. What were you thinking about cameos? Yaddy Mundi. I clicked on the Yaddy Discord, Mundi. Maybe. So. Um, well, so the, the running, yeah, the running theory would be Yoda. Yoda makes is, sense. Yoda's the one that makes sense to me because he's he's an old man. <laughs> I'm hoping Mog Lived, calls in also. his good friend Jar Jar Binks, maybe? He's uh, Ooh, a young Jar Jar Binks, a spry sort of, you know, strong. Uh, uh, imagine those two having a conversation. Yes. Those two voices so going back to on yeah. That'd be really profound, I think. Like, hey, Jar Jar, we really need you at Coruscant. Immediately, the Jedi need your help. No. He's <laughs> not bad general. We'd be there right away. Oh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and Smilo sees Jar Jar and he's like, no, not the you. Pedro, Pedro Pascal walks in for his Mandalorian stuff, and he just instantly U turns and leaves. He does that sound effect, and then he leaves. No more. <laughs> the classic. No more. Um, oh yes, the <laughs> the Mando now yeah, follows him around cool. everywhere, drives him insane. The episode is forty six minutes and fifty one seconds. Jesus. Oh Christ, God, that's horrifying. I'm uh, sure it will be very so expeditious in the writing. I was about to say, I'm actually expecting a hell of a lot of just uh, extendo scenes where it's like walking establishing shots lots of walking mm -hmm. lot of, like, this is gonna be in slow motion maybe they, a lightsaber battle like one they can't fill 46 well so the question i want answered is where the right. fuck is uh soul going i think the only reasonable thing like he went to hyperspace and he confesses all this stuff to may the, the only other planet we know of in this thing that he could go to is brendock like where it all started that that's the only thing i can imagine what if he pulled the location of smiler's planet out of um out of May. Mm. You do that, right? Well, they got an unknown planet. It's unknown. Planet. Yeah, but she... Whatever. <laughs> they told us it was unknown. <laughs> you know what? You fucking got me. You can't go there. <laughs> what else is there to do but to enjoy the final episode of The Acolyte Season 1? Oh, I don't know. What else is there to do? Let's talk about Can the we weather. Do that? The weather can... shit here. It was storming, <laughs> and it's rainy. All right, I guess we'll watch The Acolyte then. <laughs> Uh, I can right. tie a noose. Outside the can tie a noose. <laughs> Prepare it. Yeah, you might like, need it. I feel like 40, 47 minutes is enough for 13 loops, right? I think I can do it. Yeah, I should do it. Watch Three, it. two, one, go. Boop. How are they created? Here we go. I fear for the girl's safety. Only a virgin could create that type of power. So are virgins a thing that this show introduces? That the, sh that, that the Force can just come together on a planet and make people? What will we tell the council? May burn down the witch's fortress. Like, Anakin is kind of described as a virgin, like on Tatooine, like when they find him. So I think that's why they're using this reference now for other children that have been created using the Force. I fear May is only a small part of her master's larger plan. Plan. Yeah, I, I don't know what, what they'll say that started with. I could go back as far as... I assume at this point it's just supposed to be a concentration of force power that can lead to it, things. Yeah, it's kind of like a nexus of force energy. You need to find your master first. You and I are going to talk. <laughs> Hold you prisoner. Below the surface of consciousness are powerful emotions. Anger. God, this show's been so bad, hasn't it? Like, Have wow. you heard of anger? Have you heard of that before? That's the path to the dark side. A sensory deprivation headpiece. Tread on. Like she got dark sided in one episode. Like 17 <laughs> seconds. It was actually uncanny. It's, it's fucking she, nuts. She saw his Asian penis and immediately went to the dark side. Smile around. Come on. Are you in the intro? It's finally? not happening. I don't think. I'm sorry, Fringy. No. 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 Uh, that's that's okay. We're not getting Smiler. That's right. I'll live. I'll get over it. He doesn't get to enjoy such an <laughs> illustrious company as The Sink. And oh, dude, imagine they put him in the time. Andor intro, and they're like, oh, See, oh look. Because <laughs> they probably don't even control those. That looks so silly. It really does. It does. Hey, I'm back. Jedi, How was it? How was it? Did you learn that I'm right? <laughs> you like my hat? <laughs> uh, what, uh, um, what? what does this mean? Oh, what is what happening? the fuck is this? Uh, no! Uh, yeah? Oh, no, right. it's my helmet! Oh, what if she died mine? right here? What the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> What's this... happening? What does it mean? Magic, I guess. Magic the only the Sith knew. <laughs> the magic 
of the witches. They made the black eyes, remember? Oh, look, it, she's yeah, evil so eyes. That, was now that her gone. doing that? No clue what, what happened there. I saw me. She had her hand outstretched. She was killing soul. This is the future you saw. That's the future you saw. I was like, not necessarily. Um, <laughs> they didn't say the flashback then. Oh, That's okay. Always in motion, the future is. Yeah. Right. I can still stop her. With what ship? I'm taking mine. I'm going where, exactly? Why is she so casually talking to somebody who the day prior killed a bunch of innocent people? Friends Saw now. his penis! Yeah, like, she did see his really penis, quite fair. a lot of people. So we go together and see who gets to her first. Brandok. Dude. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Back to this. <laughs> I will contact Master Vanistra. Ah, yeah, there she oh, goes. Oh, no. The terrible cringe writer's handbook. Can't oh, they sense just it? Out. You, you can't sense no, that. Can't. The Jedi will meet us here. There is a virgin on this planet. Ah, yes, evil, he's, yes. I knew it. Evil Pip. The evil robot's gonna help. He let her keep the robot, even though it's literally a fucking Swiss Army knife. Proof what? That murdering our mother was justified? It was. You were there. I mean, yes. Did he, yeah. did he? Did he not cover that in we the story? Saw it. Just to be clear, we all saw it now, so you can ho cut the horse shit. What happened to you? To your coven was an accident. It wasn't an accident. They tried to kill us. We killed them. How does the robot know what to do? Like, if you just put it next to handcuffs, it automatically opens so. them up. You locked everyone in. Because the Jedi invaded our home. That doesn't. That, that, yeah, that, 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 those, that, that sequence sure. of events didn't run that way. You blocked everyone in before you'd even do the Jedi were re-arriving. Just to prevent me from or, leaving. Yeah, keep yeah. me in. Yeah. Everyone in there died because of the four of you! My biggest regret is that I wasn't able to save you both. Did he not explain the Nazgul part? He really should have. I think he did and she just doesn't give a fuck because the Jedi <laughs> These are just witches. Bad. She's like, Nazgul are cool. Ones. You shouldn't kill them. Oh, come on. You're a oh. Oh, And he couldn't, he couldn't just hear any of that, boring. I guess. The force, 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 so force. Wait, so the robot also- Whenever you're ready. Uh, come on, Basil, get her. Basil, bite her legs off. I hope that bitch dies. I'm fucking tired of Basil's dying. Oh, no. <laughs> Escape ship. Wait, yeah. it, is that the signal it just hacked into something? Oh, that was. Oh, yes, maybe. Oh, oh, force, 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 force. See you in hell, Jedi. Oh. Hell? They have a uh, they've referenced hell, hell before. Here? Yeah, Han Solo in Empire Strikes Back says, so see you in hell. It's just weird here, because I feel it like does... I'm in hell. Yeah, yeah you <laughs> could <laughs> it, yeah, it doesn't fit on her dreads. It feels like it's worth emphasizing again. What crap writing. She, she just, just escaped. She just got away. Yeah, no, this is awful. Uh, they have to nerf soul every fucking scene. Don't do anything right. How many ships do you have? You well, should like, be able to take full control old. of this ship that she has from oh. the ship. I just think I a hyperdrive. Oh, if the ship doesn't have a hyperdrive, she can't leave. Well, she can't leave the plant, like the system, yeah. He doesn't need to follow her in there. He doesn't need to. He can just stay oh, above just it. Just stay yeah, above and trap just her. Stay above it, yeah. Or he can drive through it. Wait, what's the fly fuck? Through a ring system. Oh, look, it's like asteroids. This, this would just, oh, we just plow on Surely this would just, fuck yeah, up the ships. Just, yeah, of course it would. This would be like running into bullets. <laughs> what's the plan, Sol? Are you just going to keep up with it? Because you can do that from above. You didn't need to go in. You gotta fucking. Wait, is he gonna kill gonna her? Shoot her. Fucking you do it. But like, he doesn't want to, right? Yeah. What's the point? I of thought that? his motivation was leave... to keep a hold of her. Now, why would he kill her? She can't even leave the system. Like, what's, what's the point, the Soul? What are you doing? Jesus Christ. I know his motive knows... changes every five minutes, but like, I actually am confused here. Why are you trying to kill her? Is it tractor beam? No, it's, it's, that's oh, why maybe, he hesitated. Uh, I guess... What? What? Ba the Basil? What? Uh... You're on our team. <laughs> what the fuck, Basil? Um... You fucker! You You're on the... fuck. Whose team Why are you on? You what? He's <laughs> fighting. Are you serious, Basil? This is it. <laughs> Because Basil, Basil pulls on some fucking wires? Basil is why like Charlie Kelly the wild card. I don't understand. What, why, what do they want us to joking. think that's just happened? <laughs> So we're, we've barely started and no one's making any oh, sense. Oh, the time count. No, 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 you're not. The unknown planet is not right next to where they were, right? No. It's not they, like literally the planet right over. 
Oh, oh God. And we got away. Bring me Mog. Oh, oh, everyone. Master Benestra, uh, Senator Raincourt's here to see you. Yes, oh, Mog. See yes. It's Mog. And he's in there. It's Mog time. He's Mogging. I think he's in there. You let him in the control room? Oh, look, he's shit. That Always be shit, Mog. That's that's you in a nutshell. Senator. I was surprised when they said you were traveling through hyperspace. How was your stomach? Does everyone know about why, my Why are we doing the beam is, with the, the stomach? What is this? <laughs> Just stop. Nobody cares. That's for people who read The High Republic. <laughs> the dozen people out there understand the reference. You're over-exaggerating. But you are running a murder investigation without reporting it to the Senate. I'm keeping this internal for the moment. What? Is he not the Senate? I have the authority to take independent action if there's no larger threat. How? 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 How can you know there is no larger threat? All the victims were Jedi. Way to keep it under wraps. There are multiple victims i am very close to apprehending the suspect no no, no. go back to the last sentence that you said about multiple victims why didn't you answer his question is what i know this if I were him you think my campaign for an external review of the jedi is a personal vendetta thanks for the thanks for letting us know yes okay so that it's not a secret i think the jedi are a massive system of unchecked power posing as a religion a delusional cult that claims to control the uncontrollable the guy who's going to do an internal affairs investigation now knows about the you need to tell the high council at this the point camera. the high Council are being this. treated like the kids' table. Your emotions project an image of goodness and restraint, but it's only a matter of time before one of you snaps. The camera agrees he's, so hard. He's, he's here to deliver the whole point of the season, isn't he? Yeah. You didn't justify any of this, Leslie. The majority of my colleagues can't imagine a galaxy without the Jedi. Well, we couldn't actually show it, so we just had someone show up and say it. Yeah. <laughs> when you're looking up to heroes, you don't have to face what's right in front of you. What a line. Yeah, you do. I mean, several Jedi died, man. I have reported your lack of transparency to Chancellor Drellick. So, Big deal. the Senate, no. Can you please so tell authority. the council? I hope for your sake you have this suspect in custody by then. At this point, at this point, the High Council are getting blindsided. By no this way. one rando Jedi. <laughs> I don't understand oh what the God. fuck. It's, it's gone through everyone who functions normally and below the High Council and the Senate, but it hasn't gotten to the... I the people who organize and run the Jedi don't know. And I give you the impression that I was a fair person. You made a deal with my sister and you expected her to uphold it. That's fair. You murdered a bunch of people on the planet. Oh, okay. So this is just fair. You should be trained. Would you ever consider? No. No. <sighs> Oh, he had a he had something in her size. That was Why nice. don't you be my acolyte? He had that he had that lady jacket for some lady if they showed up. We all have our lady jackets just in case. In my cave, yeah, I do. And dark colors, rags dark, cause she's gonna be evil. At that point, you need How to have she... uh, May and light you, colors. Last chance. I told you, I'm not my sister. You're definitely not. How could she talk so casually with him after what he did? It's so yeah, crazy. She, has, she that. hasn't even found out the justification, quote unquote, from him, other than just it's... they're all Jedi and they suck. That's it. Yeah. She fell to the dark side in four hours. Yes. Like, like that's literally what's happening here. Oh no! This is this is a golem. Nazgul, like. <laughs> oh okay, no! Man. Go fuck yourself, you <laughs> absolute <laughs> fucking. Oh my god, shit. It's, oh it's my god, supposed it's to be a... Darth Plagueis. That is such <laughs> fucking stupid <laughs> ass. Is that, our, is that our cameo, <laughs> Darth Plagueis the Wise? Darth Plagueis. Darth Plagueis, Darth Plagueis, the, Darth he was Plagueis just the chilling creepy. in the cave. He, he was just he, which out which out means Darth Plagueis will be inspired by the lesbian space witches to create Anakin. That's what that yep. is. Yo, Man. he could save Plagueis, others, but he can't no. save himself. Plagueis didn't even create Anakin. He's That's gonna be inspired like the... to try from them. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Are we gonna talk with Basil about what the fuck he just did? Nope. Nope. All right, oh, we're just moving just on. Leave yeah, leave him on the ship. He's out. not a little. He's just hanging out, and that's fine. Yeah, the little fucking was, saboteur. He was just it, gets was it actually meant to be that he was trying to help and he fucked it up? Don't that... have no. any clue what we were supposed to draw. That's from how that. I help. Is I just start yanking wires. We found Master Sol. He's turned his transponder beacon back on. Oh, thank God, Mog. Mog, return us to reality. Where is he? Brandok. Oh, he is on Brandok. Okay. Gather as many knights as you can without raising alarm. You anticipate a confrontation. Well, remember the last time that happened. <laughs> they all died. Oh my god, man. Wow, the moons are once again synchronized. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, oh, I, I've got nothing for where the hell this is going. I have no idea either. All the way back home. 
it sounds like Osha right now. Osha wants to save Soul from being killed by May, and Chimere wants to fucking kill him. But they're traveling together, and whoever gets there first wins. He has. Everyone has these buttons that just do anything with no checks or balances or anything. He can use the force way better than her. He can just push her aside and go get Soul. Then again, Soul is not like shit. Yeah, Soul's like power level changes every. Yeah, day. it depends if they nerf him. That's true. <sighs> what are the odds of them all showing up at roughly this same time? Oh, they're so proud of themselves. Like, everyone comes back to the where it all started. Where it all began. Yeah, like, they're on different planets. How are they going to arrive at roughly the same time? Why would May well, have even landed anywhere well, near this place? What happened was Sol got to Brendock and sat in orbit for forever while May woke up and he told him a history lesson. Mm -hmm. He told her a history sure lesson. evil bitch got killed. Just, this would absolutely be a please do not think about it situation. No! Soul's gonna die and it's gonna be so lame. It this is, is a Damon yeah. Heron Hall moment. He's gonna get oh. haunted. It's so annoying because I actually like, I'm frustrated with every last decision they've given for him, but I, I like the actor enough that I'm like, it could still do something with him, you know? Getting this elevator operational is the only way in. Unless you want to climb. This elevator was broken 16 years ago before the entire building was set on fire. <laughs> And you're just gonna oh make God. it work. Also, look at look at how scared. much destruction has happened here. Like, why do you even assume that the elevator can be fixed? Surely there's like Who a service pay? like ladder, right, that you have to climb up. Maybe. Yeah, they'd have to. Like be. maybe the lesbians, the space witchery, this weren't is, big on safety. This is where it all started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh no, this place. The, the This is the famous, iconic scene. Where he where decided he, had to he couldn't save May both of them, even though he absolutely could. No, he could only save one. He saved the good one. Couldn't be done. Yeah, but Rags, that's the irony. He saved the bad one in actuality. Because they're going to switch. Really? Oh gonna my gosh, we're going to see someone right there. Oh, come okay. on. What the Are you serious? That? He couldn't sense her, I guess. All right. I guess he couldn't sense her. She wasn't forced to she even climb? See, oh, what see, she see, climb? she's wearing she's wearing light colors. And Osha's wearing dark colors. That's Whoa. Very hey! Maybe it'll be uh, like the inverse, like the end of Ladyhawk. Man, they're really dragging everything out, aren't they? Yes, someone looks around. You think this is very profound. You see, they remember evil, what though. happened here. Remember when you locked me remember in this room and tried to burn him? me alive? Yeah, remember, remember when, when you when fired you, things? Remember when you killed that droid? You killed him. <laughs> <laughs> the show There's never no power shit. running for those wires. No. Oh, remember oh, I, guess, I guess there is. So okay. My, my no, God. just touch, just touch just the two superpower. wires together. Yeah, it's just a superpower. It is a superpower. Just touch the wires together and it opens right up. No, they set it up. She's a mechanic. Yeah, that oh, a mech she's a, she's a actually. Mm -hmm. Please, she got a degree. Yeah, in mechanology. Is that actually <laughs> just... <laughs> so, I, How long are we going to do this for? Thank you for leading me to her. We make a great team. Oh! Oh, he, he put oh, on look, the things. cringe mask with a cringe voice as well. We make a great team. <laughs> Rematch! Oh, ho, ho. but nothing can happen until we hit at least halfway. Well, I like colors. Yeah, I like colors. I like red and blue. <laughs> like, so just, bored. It doesn't. Nothing can happen yet. It's, it's just no, we have to wait. This is just wasting time until like May and Osha show up. Yeah, they're yeah. gonna draw the attention of the other two and some bullshit's going to happen. <laughs> that looks pretty Don't bad. Don't do this. <laughs> oh. Don't do this. That wire Crouching works. tiger, hidden retard. <laughs> oh. they're, they're not hidden. <laughs> they're not man. hidden, not at all. I will destroy you if I must. Yeah, you could have destroyed him must. before, but you pussied out. Oh, if you must. Oh. You kind of must. Ooh. Probably should have done that to begin with. So there's... He's got two little crystals in there. I guess so. Maybe he like loses damage on the first lightsaber when he does oh, that. Oh yeah. Man, I feel like you could have won there, but you just decided not to. Why? 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 Oh my you, god, Luke Kang! Slow mo, please. Why did you allow him to retrieve his yeah, other it's so fucking stupid. 
Oh my god. Oh look, it's like a boomerang. Yeah, the big Superman punch. That's a good move. What's what, that? Why? why this is so. Why did? Yeah. Why did he take his lightsaber down to do that? Not only that, but like, what is? Yeah, like he just got him back again. So what's the point of that? Remember, how Smiler's Where force power was this, like then? enough to overpower Soul and all the other Jedi, but nowadays nothing is going on there. But now Soul is stronger because he's on Brundock. This is him. where it all began. <laughs> beat Milo. That's I don't care about mean it's all dude. over the place. Like, if you were asked who's going to win out of those two, is I don't know. Whatever the fucking show decides. All of this death. Oh, because you didn't want me to become a Jedi. Because of you. Oh man, she sucks. I didn't do this. Well, you did set you, the fire. You, yeah, you did. <laughs> you did. He blamed me. Soul never blamed you. She tried to teach me to accept that someone that I love could be capable of this level of destruction. Not blame. That's that is that's He's that's blaming. kind of that's kind of blame. He just didn't use that word specifically. I could never learn to calm my negative emotions, my hatred of you, my grief. Over our mother, so I never became a Jedi. Ah, Thanks for letting me know. There you go. Right. She's because she's gonna be a Sith because she can't control her hatred. Oh. Thanks for letting us know. I couldn't have figured this out because there's nothing to figure it but out. You see, with. Thea, one one's the good one and one one's the bad one, but then actually, no, good one's the bad one and the bad one's the good one. This is oh, like, all right. It's like, and I guess in the end, you got what you wanted. Soul killed our mother. It's like fast food storytelling. This is worse. <laughs> it's it's true. Fast food, like, nourishes you, technically. I saw it with my own eyes. He's lied to you. It, and it, it tastes feels, good. It fills you yeah. well. <laughs> well, sometimes. Well. How could he teach you to control your negative emotions? He's the reason you have them. That is a good question. You. How could he do that? Soul did the mean things. You have to understand. You didn't fail. He did. What's what's she doing? What's happening? Acting. <laughs> What, yeah, was uh, is, What's uh, what was that? What's happening now? What was that noise? That, ooh, that, was a, <laughs> that was a Nazgul scream. Yeah. <laughs> it totally was. You need to have Naz Aragorn at the window. Nazgul <laughs> shriek into slide kick is my favorite move. I like that a lot. <laughs> Betrayed by Pip. No, Pip coomed. <laughs> Oh, what I thought that are you awesome doing? Tonight. What are you doing? Okay, I'm confused. I thought one of them had a pretty good use of force power and the other one didn't. Well, yeah. <laughs> one of them just no, but has she's far angry. better training. Oh, look, it's so... mirror. Oh. oh. Yeah. This is, so, this is so fucking cringe because oh. they grew up completely different lives. They would not be using the same fucking moves or skill set. <laughs> This is not a fucking Obi. Wow. This is bullshit. Ew. This is not an wow. Obi Wan Anakin Revenge of the Sith fight, right? Yeah, Where, this, like, this is really good. So much time you saw the slow mo, didn't you? Dude, that match oh. cut was off, like in timing. Yeah. Now you pay for what you've done. Oh, they're not here for me. Probably the that's the oh, Jedi. That's, oh, that's, that's the, the Jedi. Right they're right here now. Right here they got here in five minutes. Okay. Wait, so Soul Rindok activate the beacon the to bring in the Jedi, so he knows they're coming for him. And, and in 30 minutes, they get there. Holy yeah, of course. Fuck. Why not? I'm surprised oh. it took that long. I'd really Ow. like it if the sound Ow. Oh, she oh, disappeared. Okay. Oh, she's there. just gone. We get, she's gotta gone. get all our characters in the same room. We're getting there. You guys still aren't allowed to do anything yet. Yep, yeah, just keep wasting our time. Come on. <laughs> This is such a- yeah, it is. It's just a total waste of time. The only reason that either one of them will like win or lose will be because the writer decided at this point that they should lose. That completely missed. Oh. He's this trying is to bring- okay. he's trying to deactivate, deactivate his deactivate, lightsaber. Deactivate. Why don't you just Turn move your lightsaber Turn forward and yeah. do it You just move it forward. <laughs> Wait. Oh, his lightsaber got Did something caught. happen? His lightsaber you got, got his lightsaber. Oh, look, fight's not over. Crystal. Fight's not over. He's, he's still there. He's alive. He's Get him. Off, he's got, yeah. he's got the bottom gonna do? Yeah, he had another lightsaber. You have... Now you he's have two... the What the fuck is... Why are you doing this? What's happening? Kill him. Commit Seppuku. Kill him. Oh, just kill him for fuck's sake, soul. Kill him, he's evil. Kill him, he's evil. He's evil. He's so evil. Kill him. Chancellor Smilo is evil. He's too dangerous to be left alive. Unironically, <laughs> yeah. kill him, kill him. You need to kill. The That's so funny one. that he had a backup. Oh, 
Oh, for oh, fuck's oh, sake. Oh. Did she seriously oh. just take his lightsaber? You are joking. Wow. How is she? Wow. Soul, use she the defeated force. Her without, she defeated him without a weapon. She did it. Use the force. Just get it. You have more force than she does. This was definitively proven. Oh, is it that broken? Just broke it? Did she just seriously just break it by throwing it? I don't think it's broken. I think they want you to see that crystal. I don't like. Hmm. I thought just the pick crystal it back up. Was just... Use the fucking don't force. Don't tell me we're getting a Technicolor lightsaber. I want him to face the High Council, the Senate, the Republic. Well, he already wanted. wanted to be fair, yeah, he wanted that. Wanted. Yeah. He wanted to do this. Yeah. He wanted to do it from the very beginning. It was Indara who encouraged him to do the different choice. He did. I did the right thing. Yeah, mm. Souls in the clear. Soul never did anything fucking wrong. I wanted to protect you both. From the fucking evil ass mind control lady. They're never going to acknowledge it, are they? Talk about the Nazgul. You and the Usha are the same person. Man, so you've turned your back on Smilo. And you I... haven't picked your lightsaber back up when you totally can. I believe she used the force to create you and the Usha. What is, okay, so, I don't, I don't even know what this He's means. He's not doing the useful information at all. Talk about how much they attacked you. Do you have any idea what kind of power that is? Not about power. Oh, see, he couldn't pick up his lightsaber because someone else is going to pick it up. Is she going to be... She should be in frame. They should all notice is that Is going to stab him in the back? You killed our mother. I... Oh, she's, she's going Sith. She's so... And then mm -hmm. May is, like, conflicted. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but, like, come on. He was co totally justified. He's not going to mention it, is he? He's not going to say anything about it. He turned into a spooky... She event. tried to Monster. kill you, May. She tried to you were like, disintegrate you. Were you were dissolving. You were dissolving. Is that true? So, you, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta say the thing that happened with the disintegration. You gotta mention it, buddy. The Nazgul. The screaming demon. Her. I was protecting you. It was the right thing to do. Mention Kelnaka, the mind control. Explain how, man. If it was the right thing to do, why didn't you tell the Jedi? I because Indara ordered him not to. In... Without me, there was no proof you were created in this way. That's not the stated That's reason. Not the stated reason was to protect her no. from knowing the, the truth of what happened, right? That's what he said. I must face the council. Why would you do that to her? After everything this little girl has lost tonight, you take away her dream as well? They would have sent you away. You were too old to train. They never would have let you become a Jedi. It wasn't to stop her from being kicked out of the Jedi. Why does he not remember anything about his own life? I did what I thought was best for you. Stop talking. Oh, come on. Oh, You're for fuck's actually... sake, she's gonna kill him. It sucks. This is it. He's not said any of the things he was supposed to, because he can't. I did everything because I love she choking him? My god. You're not, so you you're not serious? serious. You're not serious. Is no this way. seriously what her, we're doing here? Her vision of the future was her seeing herself killing Soul. Oh. He's a Jedi master. Stop oh. stop hit her with your force. You use the force, motherfucker. He is a Jedi master. He is powerful. God, this is so Oh, shit. it's so boring. It's so boring. This is so dumb. So you just failed to explain anything about the context that would have exonerated him at all. You guys want to do what, anything? What? What is this music? This is a fucking injustice. Oh no! Why is it, why oh, is it no! Turning around? Oh, <laughs> Seventeen no. minutes to try to do it. God, this is so. Fuck this. This is shit. I, oh, the, no. the, oh god, the lightsaber crystal. It's okay. <laughs> Isn't she so he's you. saying kill me? Not okay. Wait, is he suiciding? Is he tolbing in? <laughs> he's just letting her do it, I guess. Yo, why does it take you so long to die, bitch? You have to be fucking kidding me. What That's how Soul joke. dies. <laughs> wow. Emotion. From this clown? Emotion. From this fucking clown person? Did they actually manage to make each Jedi death worse every single time. The first one yep. was a quick knife throw, second one was killed himself, third one killed off screen, fourth one, please kill me. <laughs> you... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, this show sucks. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck uh, off! She's turning oh, to the dark side, guys. Can't you I, see I, it? It's <laughs> it's red. It's red. It's red. Oh my god! It's red. Red. 
That's red. This whole like lightsaber crystal bleeding. It's a Disney Star Wars thing and it's never made any fucking sense. Yeah, get a choir. It's so retarded. <laughs> Jesus Christ, and people will share that clip for the next month. This is the best thing ever. I swear to God, get Mog in there, he'll sort it out. You. He so. senses him. I guess that Cortos's helmet does actually do something to protect him from being sensed by people now that, like, is that the... Because all of your force is in the brain. <laughs> that's totally her force. That's, that's like the confirmation that that's the Padawan, yeah? Why are you still here? So, you little saboteur fuck! They never accounted for how he did that. What if the little rat pulled some wires? I'm a good writer. This is difficult. Oh, sure. Come with me. Come with me. We can rule the galaxy. What is May's role now? I can't. Fuck you, show. So they're just like friends now, and they get to go. Wow, what does they the really show think, think about the morality character? of what just happened there? I think it was a like, bad to do. All I've learned is all the fucking oh, people one. as part of that Brendock mission, none of them understood what happened. They were all like filled with guilt because they didn't understand the events as they happened. This is how she survived the first time, I guess. But yeah, I don't mad. care. What are you holding like, on to? I, just, I, just, I don't give a shit. Yeah, I don't These care. These people, they've done nothing but it, horrible things. They, they're the main characters. Their motivations make no sense. No one's invested in them. People just want to see they've, them fucking die. They've caused four very innocent and powerful well, Jedi and, to just and fucking also die. And on all of the other Jedi as well that got killed by Smilo. Why does Master Vanessa the only one with her up to no good hood on? What's going on? <laughs> Mog would never do that. No! Mama! No, Mama! Just get it over with. Can we have credits? I feel like we've earned them. You should not have brought him here. Kill our Get the twins. They jump down the pit. It's the bottomless death pit. You too. Search the premises. Only two of you search the premises. Okay. Like in a circle? The rest of you set up a five-click perimeter. A uh, five-kilometer okay. circle? I'll go this way. <laughs> How are you going to coordinate who goes in which direction? She said five clicks. That's enough. Five, five clicks. Yeah. There you go. Uh, five... Like oh, perimeter. Milo's just right there. He's just right there. I'm, Hello. Just, I'm actually just, very yeah. annoyed <laughs> that Soul is just dead. That, that was so shit. Mm -hmm. No, he's, 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 he's creeping like his master Plagueis. He deserved better. This was fucked up. Couldn't give him a good death either, could you? You had to let that clown kill him. Is she gonna kiss him? No, she's <laughs> gay. <laughs> Ooh. Man, like oh my gosh. Did he like pop his helmet off for a second so that she could sense him and then- He had like, to adjust his hair. hair. So now like, what's the cover up? What? That's like my next question is like, yeah, well, how did they explain exactly. everything that happened? So- Are they gonna lie and they gonna, gonna say get a space in mind or something? This doesn't just look like there's one the perimeter. There's one leak God left, damn it. and it's Basil. He's the last person alive on the Jedi's team that's seen Smilo Ren. But oh, the one true. person in the Jedi Order that could talk to him so, died. This, well, I'm, I'm not even kidding. They're perimeter, gonna have to guys. kill Basil. They actually mm -hmm. have to. Basil's gonna have to have an unfortunate accident soon. The Boonta Tree. They sat here. Don't I don't care. care. I don't care about this. That's this is where he made the poison that killed Torben. I should just choke Soul to death. I don't care. Yeah, well, he poorly explained why he killed his, his demonic Nazgul mum. Do you want to say sorry for setting the place on fire? I'm sorry I started that fire. I can't believe that they're playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. character okay. development. We did it, guys. Why are they playing wonderful music? <laughs> These I two utter it. assholes are horrible. <laughs> what? The show what is like doing? they're the heroes, they're the good ones. The hooray, they. You're with me. I am. Who taught us that rhyme? Oh, they're, oh, they're back together. Boy. Look at it. Like, shut Five up. Five minutes after she choked someone to death. Can Smilo because kill them both? Because he did the right thing. I like Smilo oh, look, more than them. she's saying it back. I thought you made it up. What? I, I don't can't care. believe it. It was probably some they... evil asshole. It was Horny Lady, speaking. right? <laughs> we haven't seen Horny Lady. Is she coming in? If I can find you, so can the Jedi. <laughs> You gotta so die. Kind of you gotta shoot him in the head. Saboteur, fuck. I just don't understand. This is not what they were ordered to do. We'll explain what Soul did. They'll have to. Even after everything. Oh, really? And you gotta explain what you, you did and what you did as well, huh? They, they, bo they both know who you are. You don't need that thing anymore. What if they see your eyes? <laughs> not about when they find out how powerful you are. We will meet the same fate as our mother. It's not it's about protecting... power, you fucking weirdo. <laughs>
He's gonna wear it to protect himself from the green bead. Vernestra, yeah. What do you want, Osha? Yeah, let's let's enable you. Oh yeah, yeah. you need to <laughs> give him more ability. You need to be able to make. Well, this so I'm happen. confused. Why don't the three of them just leave? Yeah, they they could just let my sister go, and I will train with you. Let her go. Let her go. Go where? Is, is he still trying to kill her? I don't even. <laughs> God. So she's just evil. So Osha's we, just I'm evil. sorry, have we not seen this very scene now four times? I can attempt to wipe her memory, remove any trace of you or me. Excuse me? I'm sorry, no, what? You can, you can uh, do no, what? you will do no such thing. What? You'll kill her. Oh, you can do that? You that, can just that remove will, people's that memories? That will kill her. Permanently. Do it. Quickly. She, oh, okay. Uh, what, May? What? <laughs> Why are you please? remove any what? trace of this show from my memory? You're gonna remove you all remove traces all of your all sister all... and Smiler Red from your brain. Do you, you understand that? I can't lose you again. You're not. That'll make you massive will be gaps gone. in your life, right? You're won't just be you, a totally well, different person. Won't, yep. she, won't she be wondering where yep. all these gaps in her life are? Not just her, but every all the Jedi. They'll find her and be like, so your memory is literally broken. So, like, Osha, dude, I... So yeah, she's evil. She's just evil. She's just evil now. Yep, she's evil. There's there's nothing complicated about it. She's just evil. <laughs> oh, hugsies. Oh, 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 what do you mean, I find, will find you? you? Just go with them, you weird You could leave. just go with them. What? Why are we doing this? I'm sure Basil will sabotage the Jedi when they're following She'll you be put be in fine. prison for crimes that she clearly doesn't remember for whatever reason, but still, like, why Why is this the plan? As above sits the stars. Also, can I you be like sure Sm that you're going to wipe her full memory? I feel like Smila could just merc all those Jedi, to be honest. Yeah. But that would be even more to cover up, This I is guess. the force power yeah. we can do now, by the way. This is just something you could do with the force. You could just force... Yeah, I don't remember things. you could it, force this, this memory is, erase. It, Holy this shit, is, you look I, like me. I give you you, and you give... Wait, isn't she literally creating new memories right now? Holy yeah, shit, a, I have a twin. She's like, wow, the first thing I ever remember is this person looks exactly And then like the Jedi, me. if they mind reader, they'll see this. Bro, how funny they would it be that. if she was literally, like, catatonic now? <laughs> she's just, like, like, like a mongolo, she's just dribbling on the tree. I don't understand, I don't get it. I don't understand the whimsical music, I don't get, like, oh, this is so emotional. She just choked someone it, to death. It does feel like I'm out of sync with this show more than usual. Lay down any weapons that you have and surrender. Oh, Mog, you're so powerful, <laughs> Mog, buddy. You're under arrest. Mog, do something pathetic. Pathetic. Come on. Oh, Mog to be leading oh, the interrogation. Boy. You better yeah. be Jedi <laughs> Master like, Mog next season. Like Master Mog. Jedi Master Mog, <laughs> like leading the interrogation, just like, now I, I have a few questions. Would for you like you a coffee? I can get you <laughs> yeah. a coffee. What? What is? I don't even know what's next. Coffee. What's gonna happen now? Everything's fucked. There's gotta be. There has to be a cover up. Leave us. Please sit, May. So, you don't have memory. That's weird. <laughs> you know why you're here. They say I killed someone. They don't remember. How do they know whether that's Osha or May? What if I she's lying? Tattoo on her head. Is that even enough anymore? What do you remember? Fire. I'm seeing a man. Wouldn't the senator be like, you have the power to erase people's memories. That lets you get away with anything you want. It's hard to explain the issues I'm having with this. It's, it's, there's so little information for so many characters right now. Everything is fucked. He killed my mother. Your last memory is from when you were eight years old. You erased that much? Holy shit. You did just return her to factory settings. That man who killed your mother was a Jedi. He was a kind, compassionate man. And I'm going to blame everything on him. And he did a terrible thing. You didn't no, do a didn't. terrible thing. No, he, he didn't. didn't. No, he fucking didn't! I saw it! You showed it to us! You are the one who showed us! Four Jedi were stationed on the planet Brendok. They discovered a force cult of witches. A force what cult is everyone of wearing? They're the Hunger Games Star Wars. A conflict ensued. There were many casualties. It is very material to you to explain the conflict right now. They're going to ask you as well. When the truth threatened to come out, a rogue Jedi named Sol killed his accomplices. So he's being blamed for all of it. Oh, oh my wow. shit. Wow. 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 What the Holy hell? Holy shit. I'm sorry, my friend. Why is it better that a Jedi killed all the Jedi than a Sith, or rather a rogue Jedi? You know what I mean? I think in light of these events, Chancellor, we cannot wait for a full Senate vote. Yeah, there Which you go. Which one is worse? He's beginning, like, he's beginning a review now, because you just said a Jedi did it. It was the work of one flawed 
man. Why? Why did she frame? Yeah, that's your account. Why did she that's, frame Soul instead of just saying. saying the guy who did it did it? How is this better? Yeah. Where is Master Soul? He was found dead on Brandock. Where is his uh, body? By the way, his body. Basil. Oh, you got rid of the body. Interesting. Basil was there. You can read his mind. She's done. You can bring in a three PO protocol droid, and he can translate. No, Basil. no, you just read his mind. Basil was there when when it Smiler destroys. killed everybody. He justified every selfish step with the love he had for your sister. This is in, there's so many, it would take a while to explain how wrong everything is right now. None of this works. None of this works. None of these pieces fit together. I need you to help me find someone. Who? A pupil of mine, before he turned to evil. This powering Obi-Wan's line. Yeah. Who was a pupil of mine until he turned to evil. A pupil of mine. Before he turned to evil. Shut up! I'm gl I'm so glad I'll never see these two ever again. I can't believe this shit, man. What an awful ending. <laughs> like, this is actually mega shit to your ending. This is awful. Our expectations there were low, but holy fuck. Hard. If they look at twin sun setting, <laughs> I'm gonna kind of trigger. Do a kiss. Go on, guys, kiss. Right, You're, evil. You're both evil. You're both terrible, no, no, evil, they were, awful people. Rags, remember what Leslie said. The, these guys to the Jedi are the rebels to the Empire. Think about that. So, yeah, they're the good guys. What if Plagueis came, like, on the other side of her and just <laughs> hold her other arm? He holds the hand. I'd be here like, too, hello, guys. I'd be here too. Oh, God. Sorry to disturb you, Master. Oh. It's Yoda, isn't it? It's gotta be. Uh, or what if it's Yaddle? Uh, you got any more than that? We, no. We've implicated Yoda in your fucking nonsense crimes of the show. You, so now Yoda covered this up. I was, about, I was about to say, Yoda. you're not even kidding with that because he would be able to sense this shit. The mere existence of this show just like damages so much. Yep. This is incredible damage. It's like it, it only serves to damage what exists. Cripples the hell out of everything. By more talented people. It crippled itself too. All of its own characters are yeah. fucked. No, I can't believe it's it. Not again. <laughs> Oh, the fuck song. that. This might be the it, most pretentious oh, man, yeah, it's, project. Man, yeah, it's... It might be. It's, it's tested in me, fact, this last it, one. In fact, it's not it might be, it definitely is. Yeah, this is the most pretentious one. They think it they're thinks so it's clever. so fucking good. Have you ever considered that maybe the Jedi are bad? We will convey this through our main character choking him to death. Going back to episode one, you have Vanestra saying, we've got to sort this shit out before it gets out because it'll undermine the Jedi's position as it currently stands in relation to the Senate and civilization in general. And then her final act is to frame all of the deaths of the Jedi as, as Soul killed them all, because that's better than admitting there is a Jedi out there that became Milo Ren, her apprentice, obviously, and he's killing people. For some reason, that's the better thing to say. Well, that Soul, the a genuinely... trusted Jedi master, killed a whole bunch of Jedi. Is the takeaway actually supposed to be that she's just covering her own ass? She doesn't have to reveal his nature slash his being an apprentice. She can just say he's been taking out the Jedi. He's a force user. And we talked about this in one of the other episodes. She can say, hey, Senate, he's a guy who could use the force. He has a lightsaber and he was never trained by the Jedi, as far as we and know. Look that, and look yeah, what happened. He's been killing look us. Look at how much we're needed. How much, look just, at how, just, and then how the you Jedi send are. her to go get him. She can kill him and be like, yeah, got him. He had no idea who he is. Doesn't matter. He's dead. Because in this How universe, it? It, they don't have to record things. You don't have to have proof of everything. Basil saw it. Basil yeah, so this, alive and he saw it. To so me, that's the huge Yoda. fuck up that I think they've forgotten is Basil saw all of it. I know he's mm -hmm. a gooba creature, but he still has eyes and memory. And of course. How, how do they explain and, a lot of things like, where'd Soul's lightsaber go? That's kind of weird. Like, what about that crashed ship? that uh, actually landed pretty close to well, him. That man, that's if you speak crazy, huh? to all of the people that have surrounded all of these events throughout this season on all the planets, ask them about who's been going where and what have they been saying and why has anything happened. You'll get some interesting fucking information. Also, like, isn't it entirely viable that one of the dozen Jedi that came with her there, that they would have sensed, you know, the presence of the dark side? I mean, she did. None of, nah, I, they, they, I think everyone's retarded. Anything. Everyone's retarded for yeah. sure on the sensing. They've been, they have been include. fucking with power levels throughout this whole season. In just general. Switching things off and on whenever they want. How can they spin the story that Soul single-handedly managed to do all of this? Like I, said, I, I really wish they like had him back there to get an autopsy. Like, oh, he died from asphyxiation, and they like try to invent some story if he like died while <laughs> fucking having a belt around his neck, jacking off or something. <laughs> They're actually going to have to argue in season two that, that Basil works for Vinestra one hundred percent. There's not going to be a so, season two, but I sure hope lie. there isn't a season two because it really, really, really bugs me that they've written a story where like Soul he wanted. To to own up to his mistake, which again, stabbing a lady who was turning into a spooky ghost and seemingly disintegrating a kid. Yeah, I mean, obviously he made a mistake there, right? He didn't even want to
want to do it. And then he got pressured by Indara to do it in order to help Osha. And then he, like his just reward for that is he gets choked to death by her. She runs off to become a Sith. May gets her mind wiped and is completely removed from any accountability for the choices that she made. And then the green lady frames him. Is what it? the hell is that? Soul, Soul might be the most, one of the most wow tragic characters in all of Star Wars at this point. Because yeah. if at any time Soul said, yeah, read my memory and it'll confirm what I'm saying. And then they read his mind and they're like, oh shit, no, dude, you were like totally justified. She turned into a ring wraith right in front well, of you. It's just, May was disintegrating. You know, it's not just the fact that Soul had all of this happen to him that's completely unjust, but that all of the characters who died mm -hmm. by Osha's hands and by Smiler Ren's hands have been robbed of the no justice, justice. They deserve. Yeah, no yeah. justice. They just get killed and they're just going to be rotten in like, a, on a forest, and that's is it, that. Is it's it not finished. safe to say the people? I'm not. I'm trying not to be hyperbolic, but the people who wrote this, their morality is actually fucked. Why would they hey. be playing all of this like whimsical music of like, oh look, Osha and May reunited? It's like, ah yes, the murderers reunited. This is the story of like Osha breaking free from like oppression. They Osha was that. tricked by. Well, I know. Well, they didn't. That's, do a that's job, the thing, but, right? But that, on an individual their, level, that's their frame point. On a like a institutional battle level, it would be the the Sith trying to be able to grow and be themselves, be free. But the Jedi keep crushing yeah. them, and then of course the criticism of the Jedi as a whole and what their role is, because they think they're so fucking clever. So that whole speech they had from that guy that just summarized their whole idea. You know what he said is essentially what her pitch was when she was making this show. She's like, yeah, "What about a show that shows the Jedi are actually not as cool as you think they are?" But like, it was totally They've incoherent though, that because since... like the nature of the failing was not even it wasn't even the institution. They went to a planet. A bunch of stuff happened that the show believes that they were at fault for, even though we all saw what happened. They turned into spooky ghosts and then possessed Kilnaka and made him try to kill his friends. But even if we assume that what they did was bad, they chose to do that and they kept it from the mechanisms that are meant to keep them in check. We got it confirmed. They said, no, you can't go and you can't fuck with that culture. Leave it alone. Exactly. And then so Indara like, personally said no. And then they arrive at the gates and they find probable cause, what else can I call it, that a child is in danger. Are they supposed to leave children to die if they can sense they're in danger? Is that what a Jedi does? Like, There are so. interesting questions to fucking ask here, but they didn't even bother and it's so bizarre that you would show us that, show us the collective institution saying no, the master of the whole operation saying no, and then one character who hears the, the, the cries potentially of a child saying, shit, I should investigate, and then kill someone who looks like they're, I say looks like they're killing a kid. It was confirmed by Leslie Headland, she was, she was converting them both into the force. No offense, but I mean, previous, what was it, episode four? Four, I think Jackie says death is just it's a, it's, converted it's, into the force. There's no into bigger the honor. There's no bigger honor than watching someone transform into the force. And so, uh, if someone yeah. says like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa," I was just converting them into the force. I'd be like, "Okay, no." no. <laughs> can you can, can you transform them back, or well, is this a one way trip? We've never gotten the answer for why the fuck that was her choice in that scenario instead of just telling everyone to calm down. It is actually very clear as the episodes progress that they didn't really have much of a plan for Smiler Ren. You're totally right. Like he feels completely superfluous here. Yeah, his story is apparently going to be. Season two, his story wasn't supposed to be in this those, season. So. That's oh well, how it makes felt. sense. He was here to delay Soul and then to stand awkwardly in the background while like Osha, May, and Soul were working out their own stuff, and then be like, "Lol, yeah. you want to be a Sith?" Oh, and also, I guess you know something worth like Darth Plagueis. You fucking kidding? <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's like hiding in the cave. He's hiding in the that. cave this whole time. This now does recontextualize everything about the creation of Anakin Skywalker because now now we have the implication that essentially Darth Plagueis probably got the idea to try to start fucking with midichlorians because of lesbian black space witches yes. who are more powerful than anyone we've ever seen and we're able yes. to do this thing. And there's two ways you can go with it. There's one way that is like, okay, either they have no idea what they're talking about and they actually think that Darth Plagueis created Anakin, Definitely which that. did not happen. Darth Plagueis was fucking with midichlorians and the force literally on its own created Anakin as a response to Plagueis. Plagueis' experiment failed. The force created something that would create the downfall of the Sith. So either they don't know that or they're going to change it to Plagueis actually did create Anakin, and the entire idea came from the lesbian force witches. This is a trend that you should expect to continue with Disney Star Wars, of pillaging characters from the EU that they decanonized because they didn't want to deal with it, and then like warping and twisting their story to where, if you were to look at it and say, oh look, it's uh, Thrawn, but it doesn't matter because it's not the same story, not the same context, so who fucking cares? Oh look, it's Darth Plagueis, but it's not though. It's your version of that character, which it's is going to the... be cringe. And they, and they try to get the iconography to keep Thrawn, you interested. Yeah, to get the look right to get everyone in and then you'll see the work they do with him and be fucking sad or mad or both don't the two cameos in this case feel particularly desperate that you throw right in at the end with absolutely no connection to the story before Darth Plagueis and Yoda like yeah you want to watch season two I really don't on the note of Yoda this means 
that he's got direct connection. I thought he was on holiday, right? I thought we were going to just <laughs> argue that. Just before you even like get into that part, I do think that one mysterious phone call that Vernestra had when she was like, I need to speak with him. And the person on the other line's like, well, it's a bit unusual, but we'll see what we can do. There was a, a random conversation like that before Mog or some other fuck walked in a door. That had to be her asking to speak to Yoda, even though he might have been on sabbatical or something. I, I don't I don't know. Well, in that case, then we're gonna, we'll have to wait until this story continues. God fucking forbid uh, to find out yeah, what, well. what they'll have done to Yoda, because this whole thing makes no sense whatsoever. Hasn't done since the beginning, of course. But now what would Yoda make of all of this when she informs him of the entire situation, right? Indara is assassinated by someone. I guess he's she's blaming that on Sol. Sol killed her and then came back to Coruscant the same fucking day and then was like sent on the mission and volunteered to go and get what they assumed was the eyewitness who actually... How does this work already? Like, step one, how does this fucking work? They had an eyewitness confirm it was May, not Sol. And I, everyone I, on that I, ship I, saw Yord and his Padawan find her, arrest her. How was this not all on record? This was the investigation. They found her, then they, they realized that she had a twin who was evil. Saying mm -hmm. that Sol killed all the Jedi doesn't account for every part of this investigation. What, what about on Forest Planet? Did Sol kill all of the Jedi on Forest Planet, is what she's saying? Yes, that's what they're going to try and argue. He killed every Jedi. And that is actually what Mog theorized when they first got there. So like, just like, nonsense. Like, there is just nonsense, yes. Like that. I said, not, it doesn't, none of it makes any fucking, if you rewatch this show, it will fucking collapse. None of this makes sense, and all this makes the, well, it, it makes the Jedi look like everyone else is. Are they saying that like, Soul you know, convinced really Torbin to take the poison? But there's a bunch of witnesses there. Yeah, Soul was with the bunch they, of Jedi. He couldn't even yeah. have done it. The implication seems to be that there's just no mechanism for an investigation to ever happen somehow. Like, there the show just doesn't But there's so many witnesses that know yeah. so much. Literally. Star Wars any... cannot have two things. It cannot have journalists, and it cannot have detectives. Any amount of investigation into things that are actually happening, and everything collapses. Well, the show relies on the word of someone, and no one ever following well, up And telling anything. us, it's all been covered up. Yep. I'd, I'd imagine that if you pitched a show where, like, some bounty hunter Funny. goes looking into all of the stuff that happened here as, like, some kind of grand conspiracy, the people in charge of Star Wars would be super into that. It's just the specific framing of any institution having the capacity to do anything whatsoever Any, in terms of finding out what happened. The Jedi Order is massive in terms of probably their funding, their respect, their prestige. They would have legions of people who keep records, who investigate stuff. We don't know anything more about the Jedi in this show other than they're insanely incompetent and insanely stupid. That's all that they've done for the Jedi. We've lost an opportunity to learn more about this world and learn more about this era in particular. We get nothing. I think it's become very clear. All of us understand with perfect clarity exactly what what they were trying to do and they failed hard. It was miserable to watch and it made me legitimately unhappy to see not just the element of this much money and effort, it, it's all wasted and it's all thrown away on this script. $180 million to make this pile yeah, man, of that's garbage. Insane. This is the worst thing that Disney Star Wars has ever made. For me, like if we're voting, it's going to be this Obi-Wan Kenobi or TLJ probably for me I get to figure out what is the worst thing Disney Star Wars did. I guess if you're talking about in terms of its impact impact overall on the franchise and things like you have an argument about like the Kenobi series or Last Jedi. I'm talking about if you're just talking about straight up the worst written, most poorly executed piece of media that they've come out with, this is it. Incoherence versus time, like as a ratio, this one is impressive. I can't believe that we're at this point, but like Ahsoka kind of escapes a lot of criticism because so little happens in yeah, a lot like of it. Yeah, 80% of Ahsoka yeah. was just walking and pausing and nothing. And the rest of the 20% was dumb bullshit. Yes. But at 80%, because nothing happens and people just stare into space that's not technically a fuck up it's just wasting my time <laughs> no one will cry for soul that's like the big fuck up as well because the show believes he did bad and as they said as much he's a he's a bad guy and he was so wrong to kill that evil ring wraith lady when she dissolved the child you should have let her do i guess that's what they're saying you should have let her do that yeah just because you don't know what's happening and have good reason to believe it could be very bad for you and the people you're trying to protect doesn't mean you have any right to act, I guess. How many fucking well, times goes... are they actually going to have an It's Red payoff in these stupid ass products? That thing is so stupid. This is a Disney Star Wars invention. The idea that that's how Sith essentially create their red lightsabers is they pour their evil into it and uh, it 
needs the lightsaber and turns it red. I've seen it happen one time because Ahsoka, who the most special person in the world is, she took a red lightsaber and purified it with her energy. That's why she has her white lightsabers. Oh. That's literally how that happened. The red lightsabers were synthetic. There were no naturally occurring red crystals, and that's what the Sith used. What if you're jealous? Does it turn green? Luke Skywalker was actually very jealous <laughs> of Leia wanting to be with Han. That's why his lightsaber is green in Return of the Jedi. People are saying this is the introduction of Force Choke. But they're saying like this is the oh, first man. time that anyone's ever Force Choke. Yeah, people anyone. are discussing this, how this, this is apparently the intro. The, 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 that's why uh, May and Smilo are like shocked at this because they don't know what's happening. So in 10,000 generations or whatever Obi-Wan Kenobi said in A New Hope, no one was ever like, oh, we could use the Force to choke someone. There's obviously like no confirmation of that in this show. There's no way. I don't but believe it. But, but don't it's believe like, it. it is the first, this would be the first time canonically that we've seen it. The earliest um, timeline. I don't think that yeah. necessarily means that that is happening. So this show invents mind reading and mind memory erasing. Are those two powers? We've that never had, well, so Kylo read distinctly from Poe. Right. Exactly where from BBA was. That's a Disney invention, which was a fucking mistake from the No, Disney. yeah, I th I'm pretty sure Kylo invented the mind reading as opposed to mind Mind, like feeling detecting you know what i mean like yeah, what vader does you, you can always get feelings of what people are thinking i'm fine with detecting of, are you, feelings are you, are, you, are you printing out yeah. like a report of yep. exactly everything they know can you get a location not necessarily but you can definitely get impressions and kind of understand the gist of things there was something called essentially a mind rub that was introduced it was not used by the jedi necessarily it was used by a different sect of force users basically you could use it to make somebody kind of forget like a guard make a guard kind of forget that they saw you as you're passing by kind of a form of mind altering in the same way that like a Jedi mind trick, but really you're talking about short-term memory effects. Not it's I'm going like to erase the last thing. 16 years of your life. That's insane. And it would make yeah, the Jedi seem super evil that they have access to that kind of a power. And if their approach to it is the same as their approach to mind reading, they're very fucking blasé about it. That type of invasion of a mind to literally erase like so much of it, that should be a dark side power because it's just so fucking invasive and intrusive. It's just I would crazy to that me that in a if, good world. if a Jedi yeah. investigator of any kind read this woman's mind, being May, who is the one, the current suspect for having killed all the Jedi, or at least the ones that we knew of. The current story is that she did kill Indara, so she must have, have been working know. with Sol, and Sol killed himself, but also erased her memory? What the fuck is the official story? As far as they're concerned, May could have just been lying and playing dumb, and there's no check on anything, they don't do a mind so this check, is the thing. they don't ask questions. They have to read her mind to confirm what you, like you said, that she truly doesn't have any memory of it, and if they do that, they will see Smilo Red walking away to his ship in her, in her mind. They'll see Osha and Smilo. And then they'll be like, after hmm, they the mind. that's fucking curious. Looks like Soul wasn't working alone. In much the same way how in the real world, the police and detectives, they have to have a warrant that's given by a judge to let them go to places to do certain things. In this show, you could have had like, hey, we know this person probably saw something and they're not telling us, so we need to get a warrant from a re Republic Galactical judge man that lets us read this person's mind, but we've only got a certain amount of time to hold this person in custody before time expires, then they can leave. So that's the clock of the show and they have to actually work on getting that warrant to read someone's mind. Doesn't sound like lightsabers swooshing at That's each other. That's true. Vanestra is so fucking stupid because she said that the four Jedi conspired to keep the secret, that they had done the evilness. That's going to be much more of a controversy on its own than a guy with a red stick killing people. And then you have on top of that, Sol, when finding out that the truth may come out from the team that decided to keep it a secret, he killed them all. That, again, much worse. And that this has been a secret for, what, 16 years? Is. That's insane. The controversy is is exploded. You didn't have to say any of that. You could have said each of these Jedi have been cut down by some monster and we're still trying to find him. We know he's out there. She told us explicitly over and over again she is trying to prevent the Jedi from losing their standing with the Senate or whatever have you. But then she tells them a story that's possibly the worst version of events. That's and then, the frustrating so, thing about it, right? Is because it's the work of an amateur writer very clearly, but it's an amateur writer who thinks they're extremely clever by doing yeah. what is essentially very treaded ground at this point. Like oh, yeah. Was. And then, of course, there's the underlying cruel factor, which they acknowledge in her saying sorry, but that uh, Soul, tortured by those events, forced to keep it a secret, and then his friends start dying one by one, does everything he can to prevent that from happening, and then essentially commits suicide, and he's blamed for all of it. Fucking hell, okay. That makes her incredibly villainous in a different way than May and Osha. And um, so unnecessarily villainous. Why? I don't get it. Why would you make her evil like that? Oh, to lie about well, him, to Well, if she is evil, him. and season two is about how she's a 
fucking secret Sith herself. That's one thing. But I, what I'm trying to get at is just pr pragmatically, why did she do this? It's against every single thing I could only imagine that moves her forward in life. It doesn't satisfy any goal. I, I guess it maybe protects her specifically. It's the exact same scenario both ways. Either she says nothing about this mysterious man who's killing people and that she'll hunt him down herself because she's blamed on him, or she does this whole cover story and he's still out there and she still has to kill him. You understand what I'm saying? She hasn't what, had to good? lie. Now she has. So if she if she told the story as she knows it to be true, she can omit the fact that she knows who Chimera is and go after him, kill him, none the wiser. But now she's told this whole set of lies, Chimera can actually prove, as well as fucking Basil, that it's not true. And then she's fucked. I don't want to watch Yoda chop her head off. You know, when you introduce a plot device sniffer dog character, it kind of behooves you to not forget their existence when you even keep them around in the last episode to randomly create drama in order to have the story happen insane. the way you want it what to. What was up with that? Why? Yeah, what was going on? Soul doesn't even go, "What you little fucker, what, what were you doing tearing out wires? Even the idea that they set up that scene where it's like, I'm going to go in between these rings. He can't follow me here when he doesn't need to. You could have just stayed above and tracked your ship like the entire time. Ships do have particle shields which protect them from very small space debris so that you don't run into like a tiny little thing at speed and it just puts a hole in your hull. However, they're not meant to deal with that type of fucking damage. That would be insane. Both of their ships, especially once they kind of went in their twisting motions, they would have been fucking annihilated and destroyed. What a weird fucking section where Sol was about to explode it. I don't even know what the fuck I was supposed to think about that. I thought it was trying to gonna try and track your beamer. It certainly looked like uh I'm it glad that like there's confusion targeting. on this <laughs> because whether he's trying to capture her or kill her in that moment is a really big decision and I don't even <laughs> we're not even in agreement as to what he was doing because we don't What's know. What's insane is he could have just stayed above the uh the ring and followed her indefinitely until she comes out and then done whatever he wanted. What's particularly crazy is he could have just told the Republic hey there's a Sith. He wanted to to contact them to tell him everything mm -hmm. but he keeps like prevent yep. the amount of times they wrote it so he couldn't or wouldn't or should like it was just, it was it was pathetic they've already destroyed anakin's legacy as a character with what we've witnessed in the sequels and stuff like that now they're destroying his origin like they, they, they're Why doing not? everything they can well as you said right they, they went everything. after the credits that's how fucking angry they are with star wars at this point what did you like about well they don't like it. they don't give a shit about it but like what is it that these people enjoyed about star wars if the stuff that they introduced is so like fundamentally against everything that it was they like that it's popular and they wanted to be a part of that thing that was popular and so they said that they liked that thing that was popular but really they just wanted to change that thing that was popular into their own platform as you tack on more and more of these disney additions to star wars as a whole that little segment of it that's actually really good and beloved it just gets it's a smaller and smaller portion of the entire thing now i will say um this show has a weird quality of making me really apathetic but also pissing me off it's the soul stuff and the admittance of that that bringing in that one character to just explain the point of the whole story. It's like uh, two people having a conversation on the other side of the room and you don't really care about it, but every once in a while one of them just says something that's factually inaccurate <laughs> and you're like, oh, fuck, God. But you don't really care about the conversation, but still like, oh, Fuck, why, why do you say that? Makes you it's want to care. Stop ruining good shit. Stop it. Another one why bites the fucking dust, am I right? Like, how many times are we going to do this? <laughs> what I mean, me, is, I mean, like, culturally, how how are you going to keep doing this? <laughs> Come on. How are we going to do that we can spend this much money on stuff that's so crap, persistently and continually destroy a franchise, and yet seemingly find new and creative ways to do so in the process? I think at this point, the only kind of positive thing that can come out of this show is that we get a spin-off buddy cop comedy with Mog and Basil. Um, <laughs> I think that that might if, be if the only redeeming this, quality. Mog will be back. <laughs> Well, that's the Acolyte. And $80 million. That's Holy what it gets you these days. Christ. Eight episodes completed. A miserable show that... <laughs> Just what could, what could be said that's not ever been said. That was horrible. A miserable show sums it up quite well, I think. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Goodbye. Fuck. You lie! What'd you bring me?